Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blonde Wave Podcast. Today, we finish our rankings of every single show that we have reacted to. Which is a lot. Which is about a hundred. A lot. About a hundred. About. Man. Uh, you guys ever use a, there's like that app called TV Time? And it no. tracks, like, you can track, yes. like, shows and stuff you've watched and movies and stuff, too, and... It can I've tell you it. how much of your life you've wasted watching TV. <laughs> I have that for podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> wasted. Uh, I mean, sometimes it is, right? Because sometimes you're like, damn it, why did I watch that show? It wasn't even that good or something. But Yeah, maybe. but sometimes, rather than wasting your life, you can, the opposite, make a living. No. Like we do. <laughs> I suppose that's true. <laughs> Calvin is out today. Uh, he's out with a family emergency, but mm-hmm. we do have his tier listings. Yes. yes. So his voice will be heard. It will just be quiet. Mm. Yes. I am making this YouTube video live so that everybody that's interested in checking this out can get here. Yeah, I, we're about ready to start. I thought Calvin was gone because he got injured filming that, that video we did. Mm. <laughs> he did. The electrocution was one step too far. Yeah, we couldn't break air, but we broke Calvin. <laughs> so. Yes. So, um... We've gotten through quite a few shows, but this is not necessarily where they're all going to end up. Uh, We are going to get through the entire list, then we're going to revisit some old shows, and then we also want to hear from you guys as well in the form of polls that Mm -hmm. we're going to be running. But also at the end, where do you think we missed the mark? What's spot on? We're probably going to run long today. We're Mm going to go until it's finished. Yep. We don't have that many shows left. We'll see how it goes. But it's not going to be too hard going long. Because we're sitting in some comfortable chairs. I was just gonna say, man, this is really comfy Le- leaning back like this. I feel like my spine the, is like perfect. The pillow is so nice. Yeah, I love this pillow. You got with the razor. The razor. Oh yeah, we Look got the razor. razor chairs. Yes, we were sent some razor is- isker. Isker. Isker chairs. Which is so close, it sounds like to Iskandar. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, really. if you add some more syllables and change the letters, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I'm just I'm having a hard, hard time just not falling asleep. Oh, oh. Perfect posture. Well, that uh, berserk from the Dreamcast game music pumped me up. You're all pumped up. So let's get going. Mm. All right. Well, well what we is going with? to be the first one, Rick? It's a good question. Let me get into my list here. Well, we missed one. Uh, we got to go back to the eyes. <laughs> Invincible is too oh. close to call. Too close oh. to call. Too early to call. Too early. Uh, we've have started reacting to that we have those reactions come out monday 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 monday, monday. you're gonna be able to get the first one on youtube and the next four on early access also keep in mind too while we go through some of these there will be a uh ranking poll for you guys and we can mm-hmm. see where you guys kind of vote and position things on your own so yeah make sure to vote in that as well all right but we're starting things off proper with sherlock mm. Sherlock. Mm. Now, we weren't all in the reaction, but I have seen this. I've seen, I think I've seen it all. I think I've finished it all. This is one of those, uh, there was one where like they kept coming out with them, so I was like, man, have I seen it all? And I went back through and had to watch it again, and I, I caught up with everything. Mm-hmm. But Aaron, I need that undo button. Oh, dear God. What's happened? <laughs> Did you break everything? I went to move Sherlock and everything. No! Rick! <laughs> what can I do? I don't think um, the undo button's there yet, Rick. No, Aaron. This is terrible. I'm it's looking coming. over at Rick's screen, and it's not great. So while he works on that, maybe we <laughs> well, should say uh, we have been adding a lot of shows uh, to our YouTube schedule. It's a pretty packed schedule. Yeah. Some right may now. say too many. It, some would say too many, and uh, you know we're you know we're happy to provide a lot of content because not everybody watches everything, you know. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, you know, don't expect just because we're filling it up as much as we can. Don't expect that it's always going to be as full as it is right now. We just are in a time right now where we're like, yeah, let's let's do some stuff because I really want to check out this or people seem really excited by this. Let's do it. You know. All right. Sure. So, did you get it all fixed? I did. Yes. All right. We could have also spent this time talking about Sherlock. Nah. Could have done. It. <laughs> so what does Calvin have to say about well, Sherlock? Well, when I looked over there, it was real fucked. So I was like, <laughs> he's gonna take a while to fix all that. <laughs> gotcha. Um. Well, Calvin, we want to start with where he placed it. He Before said that, that he Desmond thought... says the YouTube bid doesn't have the right link. I keep putting Patreon down. Fix it, Eric. Jeez, Eric. Um, Calvin said that he believed the casting was perfect for H&W. Mm-hmm. Whatever, H&W. Whatever that means. Holmes and Watson, I guess. Holmes and Watson. Yep. 
I was like, H. That I don't know what the sense. H was. W, I was like, Watson, that's, what's H? Um, he thought the casting was perfect, which, yeah, I did enjoy. Uh, yeah. Benedict and um, mm, Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo, that's, I, was his uh, name? Martin, uh, Martin something. Martin Freeman? Freeman. Freeman, that's it. Yeah. Martin Freeman. Mm-hmm. I did like uh, both of them. I thought they did a good job. Absolutely. Uh, Moriarty was good. Cal- he was much different. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but very good. Uh, Sherlock's brother, Minecraft. 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 Yes, <laughs> that game was the brother. <laughs> um, Calvin's placement is placing it at an A. Mm. An A. An A. Man, that sounds pretty reasonable. I was yeah. very skeptical of the show when I first started watching it. Uh, I absolutely love the original stories of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Some of my favorite fiction that's out there. Yeah. And it was a much different take on it, uh, taking in the modern era. Sure. I, I did enjoy the way they used like phones and texts and all that kind of stuff in there too, like, like the way they kind of pop it up, up the the way they would show some of his like investigating some areas and stuff too a little bit. And yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I think some of the later seasons though might have kind of fallen out a little bit for me. Yeah, the first two seasons I really really liked. Um, after that, not quite so much, which is a shame because I really like those first two seasons. Sure. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it goes into S. <laughs> Although I do agree with Calvin that I think. Uh, those two actors are very good. At sure, Sherlock and Watson. And yeah. it may, have, I mean, if it was anyone else, I might not have watched the whole thing like I did. You yeah. know, like those two, I think did a very good job with that. I mean, it still isn't um, Basile Rathbone a Sherlock for me. Like he's still my favorite Sherlock of all time. But they they did a great job. I'm, I would say the thing that's putting it at least at B and could push it up to A is I thought it was incredibly well paced three episodes a season you know like kind of mini movies mm-hmm. sure like i don't know I, I feel like that was really cool too um and you know i mean british television tends to do shorter things like that more serialized things like that so oh sure i, I enjoyed um, that because it is you know you weren't there wasn't a whole lot of fluff in that in that yeah. show you know like doctor who doesn't do 20 episode seasons yeah. or anything they do like 13 ish or so mm-hmm. or, um guys there is a poll currently up poll it's up. up right now Right says now. Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I would probably put Sherlock at probably like a high B for me. I think. I think some of the later seasons don't quite work as well as mm-hmm. the earlier seasons do. Mm-hmm. But I I watched them because I loved uh, Martin and uh, yeah, Cumberpatch as mm-hmm. the main characters there. You know, so I think that's where I would kind of place it. What What are you guys thinking? Uh, I would probably say B. I mean, I really, really enjoyed it, but there was never anything about it that made me like, oh, I got to go back and rewatch that and look up fan theories or anything, you know. So I'd probably throw it at a at a high B as well. Hmm. I my original inclination would be in the A tier, but I think it would be a low A. Low A, yeah. And because of that, I Hello. feel okay putting it in B as okay. the tiebreaker. Sure, putting it right there at the like a higher B kind of ranking. I could see that. I think it works okay. Fit it right there in the B's. But if it just been the first couple seasons, it might have been an S for me. Sure, yeah, I, I can good. see that. I think the first few, like especially the first two seasons, I thought they did really good. Yeah, you know, I definitely wanted more. It wasn't until like I had a break. And I came back for the next few seasons, and maybe that's part of it, where like there was a long gap in between some of those seasons, and I was like, I don't know, this is okay, but it, it just it doesn't feel the same as the first few. All right, well, we are getting <clears throat> on to our first Star Wars show <sighs> with Star Wars Rebels. Oh, okay. Star- wait, Rebels? Ah, oh, interesting. Star okay. Wars Rebels. Got it. Hmm. What about Star Wars Clone Wars? No, it's The Clone oh. Wars. Star Wars Clone Wars is the 2D that came out in 2000. The screws up a lot of stuff, and people are like, you missed this. I'm like, it's coming. Yeah. I also saw someone be like, Umbrella Academy. I'm like, that's yeah. in the U's. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't I don't blame anybody for messing that up. And we messed up. We put Defenders in, but it's The Defenders, so we messed that one up. <clears throat> I just went with what Rick said. Also, um, the logo here, maybe there's a the in there. But if it is, it's very small. Star Wars The Rebels? No. 
Uh, also, for Sherlock, the uh, vote came to A, B area. Gotcha. With C being second. So they're gotcha. looking probably more in the B area. Mm. I mean, there's so many things I want to talk about with Rebels that we cannot. <coughs> now, I can leave and go downstairs for a little bit. No. Well, I'll just say I really like it. <laughs> if you want um, me to do that. All right. I m- feel like. My favorite parts of Star Wars Rebels have been stuff that Rick hasn't seen. Sure. No. So, all right. So I think we need to kind of talk about the Star Wars shows in general and kind of place them where I think that we need to have those go. Cause also Rick, we have resistance, which I know you haven't seen at all of. And sure. I know like me and Eric have seen that one. And Clone um, Wars. and I think out of the three of clone wars, rebels and resistance, resistance is probably the lowest of those three. Sure. Um, I do think it's geared towards kids. Yeah, so even like, though it stars our boy. I mean, I love Christopher Sean and like the voice acting and stuff is great in it. But, like, it doesn't necessarily push things, I don't think, as much as, like, what Clone Wars and Rebels does. It is the show where people are like, hey, what should I watch? I'll be like, oh, you got to watch Clone Wars. You got to watch Rebels. Hey, do I need to watch Resistance? You don't got to watch Resistance. It doesn't necessarily add as much as you would hope. It it does do a really good job with, like, here are characters that aren't Force-sensitive Jedis and stuff, and they're Mm -hmm. just... They're just normal people kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's art style isn't necessarily the best either. I felt like the ships moved really slow, especially, d- you know, because it was a show that <coughs> focused on ships and starfighters. That was strange to me. It's because um, you just watched The Fast and the Furious. Oh, that might have so been fast. why. That might have been why. <laughs> it goes so fast. I Wait, think for they, resistance for me, watched? like, I think what it does, it, it, it does what it's wanting to do. Yeah. It has the art style it has. It's not, I don't think it's necessarily bad yep. i think it's geared more towards younger kids which some people would say clone wars was maybe yep. initially but even still like as it goes on there's definitely dark mature things into season two and three you know like you, you get you get uh, a, a sith killing someone and then kissing them you know like that's not necessarily like this for kids yep. you know? uh, i would put resistance <clears throat> as much as i love christopher sean it might go close to like blood of zeus defenders d level for me D level. Yep, and that's as a huge Star Wars fan that has watched through that twice. <laughs> sure, no, I definitely think I, I was sitting somewhere around the C category area just because I think like, like I was saying, what what it was going for being a kids show, it doesn't necessarily push. I don't think any boundaries of like what Star Wars is, and it doesn't necessarily add to the lore so yep. much. Where like you were saying, like if someone was like, hey, what do I need to watch to make yep. sure I'm caught up and ready for whatever, I don't feel like it necessarily adds to that clone wars mm-hmm. i think makes the prequels better you know i think rebels helps enhance some things for like you know moving into episode four yeah for resistance leading you into like the new sequel uh, movies i don't think resistance necessarily does that as Agreed. a whole so I, I i'm kind of in that low c kind of category i could probably say pushing it into d is okay yeah <coughs> um i would probably go just because of um Hmm. Cl- Clone Wars and Rebels are. I mean, one is a straight up story with the same characters every episode, pretty much. And one is like an anthology series with different things, different focuses. Sure. Some highs, some incredible highs, some mids, you know. Yeah. Same thing with Rebels, though. I mean, I probably would. Which one would you put over the other? Um. For me, I'm I'm quite certain that I would be looking at Rebels being higher than Clone mm. Wars. Okay. Uh, I think. One thing I love about Rebels that you don't get from watching Clone Wars, um, especially as someone who's watched the movies at the time they've come out. Yeah. Like if you've never seen Star Wars and you want to watch chronologically, yeah. it works better. Mm-hmm. But if you know what happens in the movies, there's so many characters that there's there's no stakes. Yeah. There's no there's there's nothing that you're worried about. Mm-hmm. When like sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen to the like you know like they're not they're not gonna die. You know, Rebels introduced all new people that you'd never heard of in any of the movies, mm-hmm. but yet it still had some fun connections and stuff to the universe you knew, and it, it has added and done some different things too, where it's like this has added to the lore, and it didn't have to ride on the backs of a Luke Skywalker and it has Steve Bloom or a. Yeah, yeah, sure. Steve Bloom and stuff is in there too. So <laughs> I definitely think, like, for me, I feel like Rebels I'd put in A almost S. Whereas mm. Clone Wars I'd probably put in like the B, maybe A, like somewhere in that category. Mm. Um, I definitely think both are above average as, as far as like their storytellings, yeah. the things they do, like the animation that they progress as they go through and stuff was fun. But Rebels for me is above Clone Wars, I think. I get what you mean. <clears throat> I am close to going A for both. Because while I agree a lot on what you said about Rebels, um, I enjoy the art style more in the Clone Wars. 
I actually think that its animation is sometimes better than the Clone Wars. Not necessarily its art style, but its animation. Mm -hmm. um, also, Clone Wars was just... It had such huge balls sometimes, like, where Rebels sometimes would hold back on, you know... You, you're talking about, like, some of those dark themes some and of the, stuff, some right? Of the, like, I mean, it could be dark, but it's never necessarily... I don't know, like, sometimes clones just die terrible, terrible deaths, and we move the hell on, you know? Sure. Um, I feel like Clone Wars wasn't afraid to go there sometimes, whereas Rebels it, it premiered on Disney XD, and it was a little softer, a little more geared for a younger, tiny bit younger sure. audience. Not to say there's anything wrong with that, because it also went to some crazy spaces. But I will probably put both an A with Clone Wars, like, a pixel above Rebels for me. Really? But that also has to do a lot with its later seasons, the Umbara arc, yeah. you know, uh, Man the Siege well, I mean, of Mandalore. The, the newest season of Clone Wars was mm -hmm. was so much fun. Like, yeah. uh, sure, a lot of people don't like the, there's one yeah. arc in there where they're like, kind of like, oh, I don't know. Sure, no. But I thought, like, what they did with a lot of stuff was so much fun. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Some of the character stuff, like, I, I like a lot of what Clone Wars does. For me, Rebels is just a little above with... I think I think the characters, the stakes. I think the stories they tell. Like I think there's some still really good things Absolutely. in there. Where like they don't, maybe they don't go quite as like maybe dark them thematic and whatnot with a few yeah. things. But it's still, as far as like looking to thread a needle between like this is mm -hmm. made for kids, but also we want the older mature audience to enjoy it. Yeah, I think they did much better than like Resistance, which Absolutely. is made. I feel like that's made more for kids. Yeah. And less for the older, mature audience. I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, I also, what puts it a little tiny bit above Rebels for me is just what it does for the characters of the clones. Mm. From oh, yeah. what it used to be That's to what great. it is now. Like, you just feel like you understand so much more. You love them. And when you watch Order 66, you still hate it. Sure, That's yeah. Stuff. No, it's like, in t instead of them being another battle droid group, right? Yeah. Like, instead of them, like, they were just things there kind of yeah. like there were droids that's one army clones are the other army mm -hmm. but clone wars did something else with clones where they gave them character and you made them feel for him and you, you just there's so much more story in there which is great so Have i'm definitely done? okay with them both being in the a category um i mean I'm, I'm honestly close to go s with clone wars but i don't think i should because i need to remove my I'm trying not to be biased, huge right? bias for Star Wars. <laughs> I already did that with I'm Agents of Shield. I'm almost getting a handicap. <laughs> I already did that with Agents of Shield, where I don't know if I was biased or if I just, in my mind, I feel yeah. like it does that well with everything. Yeah, you know? and but, we'll revisit some stuff at the end here when we um, go through. Have Calvin you, obviously didn't see Resistance, so he didn't have a vote for that. Yeah, um, he was putting Rebels at a B. Okay, but he also hasn't seen it all. Um, and Clone Wars. Now that he's finished that, he put that at an A as gotcha. well. Gotcha. What do you say, Rick? <laughs> um, did you run the poll for Clone Wars yet? I did one for Star Wars Rebels, where okay. they placed it in an A and B. Gotcha. So uh, for me, like the crazy thing about the Clone Wars <laughs> is it made me care about the prequel era. Yeah, it did that for a lot of people. If I was ranking the prequel movies, it would be way, way down in this list. Yeah. Uh, the Clone Wars is so much better. It's so good. <laughs> we can uh, agree on this. Yeah, the only thing that does worse <laughs> is the music in some of the fights. Yeah, Kevin Kiner was told and directed in the beginning of it for music to go, like, do something way different. And people were like, that's not Star Wars. <laughs> so he got better as he went. But he uh, he really brought it, I thought, for, for later seasons. But I can agree that beginning seasons kind of lower it down a little as bit. As far as comparing the two, um, Clone Wars certainly has had some arcs that are far above anything I've seen in Rebels so far. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it has some arcs that are way below. Sure. Yep. It has some arcs that I straight out disliked. Okay. Sure, uh, I can see that. And, there, which, and then, I want one that you trip disliked. Any Jar Jar? Oh man, all of it, man. But what Wait. about whenever oh, he was like man. juggling, so Mason? the Modians couldn't see? Yeah, and they all could get they could get supplies to Ryloth. What about Mason Jar Jar? All of it. Oh, okay. Mason disappeared. <laughs> do, you, do you do you have one arc that you like? This one I really enjoyed. Um, without diving too heavy into like spoiler categories, or I, mean, anything, I don't know but... their names. <clears throat> uh, a lot of the stuff. With the clones. Mm. Uh, I really like the one... The Umbara arc with General Krell. I did really like that one, um, but I, I like the one where they were stranded. When they were stranded. They were stranded on a planet, and they met a clone. Oh, Gregor. Okay. okay. The, the, that was that's the, the droid uh, arc, isn't it? That's the droid yeah. arc, yeah. That's the... Uh, a lot of people don't D like that arc. D-Squad? Yeah. Right? But I, I, I like that one. That was good. I like yeah. that one, too. I like that. I mean, um, I like Domino Squad a lot. <clears throat> yeah, Domino Squad's great. Ahsoka stuff is great. Ahsoka stuff's great. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's hard to judge it when it's like looks because mm -hmm. it gets so much better. Oh, it it's does. It's night and day. As it goes on. Mm 
Um, I'm so excited for Bad Batch next week. Is that sure. next week? <laughs> That's next week. May fourth, oh. which we'll be covering that too. Uh, Hell yeah! As they come out live. So I think <clears throat> I don't know. I think I put Clone Wars. <sighs> it's hard for you to talk about Rebels because you haven't seen some. It's hard for me to talk about Rebels. Yeah. It's hard for me to talk about Clone Wars. Like some of it was great, mm-hmm. but I don't feel like any of it was close to anything that's in S tier. Sure. Some of it was just not good. Yes, but let's factor in an incredible moment we had when you realized that the Gungans were coming to save the Mon Calamari. I think I put in B tier. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Bagonka Donk? Bagonka Gonk? What about that one? Bagonka Gonk. Okay, so we had A's for three of us and one B, so I think that puts Clone Wars in A. It does? Mm. Uh, Rebels what, is As of a, right now, where do you feel about Rebels? Rick? So Rebels, I, like, yeah. I... You know, Star Wars will always first and foremost be the original trilogy for me. Yep. And so Rebels feels like Star Wars. Mm. It's got the music. It's got the um, camaraderie. Yeah. It's got, like, the crew, right? Yeah, like, the yeah, in, like in the first yeah. movie. It's got the crew. Yeah. Um, it's got Steve Bloom, which takes <laughs> it up at least a tier. All in its I own. like what he's saying. <laughs> um, That's me. <laughs> but it is early. Like, yeah. Sure. There's been some good arcs so far, mm-hmm. um, but only one of them has really connected emotionally with me, I feel like. The others have just been you know, fun adventures. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Uh, w- which is not bad. Nope. But because there's nothing I dislike, I think I would also put it in A. Mm. I would also put it in A myself. Okay. Aaron, what do you say? You said A? I'm fine with putting them both in A, I think. And Calvin uh, had it. Calvin had Rebels in B and, and B. Clone Wars in A. All right. So we're like, the, Rick and Calvin were switched. Solid, <clears throat> solid placements. I'm fine with that. I feel bad for Resistance, but... I feel bad for Christopher Sean. Uh, yeah, I love Christopher Sean. He the looks voice, great in that jacket. The <laughs> voice acting was, was great <laughs> yeah, in that and good. stuff like that, too. It's just, for me, I think it's the stories that just yeah. don't quite push the envelope as far yeah. as I was hoping, I no, guess. You're right. It was cool to have Oscar Isaac back in there and have Domino Gleason and, you know, some of those characters come back and play. Yeah. But I love Matthew Wood in all of his roles, but he does not play a good Kylo for me. Really? Yep. Hmm. He does better when he's in the mask, but outside the mask, nah. Um, he does I will LOS, say yeah. that we had, for Clone Wars, 50% voted A, B, while 44% voted S. Wow. Mm. Okay. Clone Wars. So, Clone Wars definitely up there for our uh, for our audience, which is good. I, I mean, I love hey, Clone if, Wars. if Rebels is a high A, I, I said, like, I'm, I'll go S, but I don't want to appear, you know, like, oh, Eric, Star Wars, of course. Mm, you know? No, yeah, and I, I get think, that, too. <laughs> but for me, I think Rebels, for me, is... Yeah. Is shifted the other way. You know? you it's mean. funny because like yeah. Rick and Calvin are the opposite, and you and yep. I are the opposite yep. of like where we put our. Yep. I think I, if I would have watched Clone Wars younger, it would have. <laughs> Dude, that's the best. Been much like, better for me. Too. There's a guy that had a series of articles where his kids only watched Clone Wars, up to a certain point. But Anakin was their hero. Yeah. And then he introduced them to the movies by watching four and five. They hear Anakin was killed by Darth Vader. Fuck this guy. That was my hero. <laughs> And then they watch five, and their, their their minds are like, no fucking way, no. Then they watch one, two, and three, then six. He said it was the best thing that's ever happened to him. It sounds pretty After great. his own kids. <laughs> sounds pretty great. So, yeah, definitely uh, it's something that you can watch with the entire family. Anyway, so both in A. And it looks like Resistance, uh, 48% says D to E. Gotcha. It doesn't deserve an E, but I think that it's low, low C or high D. Yeah. While twenty eight percent put it at an F. Gotcha. Wow. Okay. Next up, Star Girl. Ooh. Star man. Girl. This one's gonna be a tricky one. Star Girl is a DC show not connected to the Arrowverse, though kind of loosely is. It is a <laughs> yeah. uh I like the one fight scene you showed me. Yeah, we did show you a fight scene. <laughs> I will say, like, I was very impressed by that. I was pleasantly surprised as to what that show did because I yeah. wasn't exactly sure what to expect. And the things that I wasn't quite like, it did more than what I thought it was going to. Yeah. Um, and like, like there's, I went into it with the perfect way, slightly hesitant and being like, I don't even know if I want to watch this. I don't know Star Girl. I saw her show up in Legends and and Smallville back in the day. 
not really excited. But that show did it for me. No, um, it had Luke Wilson, and he was so good in that. He was so good. I love like the yeah. the role they had him play and the yeah. way he played it. I I loved. I thought it was so good. Um, but Sportsmaster <clears throat> was probably the best in that. Sportsmaster was the the way he played when he wasn't Sportsmaster uh-huh. and the and fight then, choreography in that what, episode two. The fight they had with Sportsmaster and. Uh, Tigress? Is that who it was? Tigress, yeah. I think is who they had her as. Yeah. Um, the, the fight they had there with that was was so much fun. Like, sure, like, some of it was a little bit CGI and stuff, but, sure. like, the, the choreography and mm-hmm. the, the planning ahead of what they did was just, it was a fun fight. And I just enjoyed it. Yeah. We were just, we had a fun time just watching that. Yeah, story wasn't anything <clears throat> to write home about, but it was incredibly well made. And, but the... How they didn't have to go super serious because no one's like this is this character is sacred and you've you've screwed up the lore. Yeah. People are like, all right, yeah, who are these guys? Oh, this was fun. Mm. It's a solid B for me. Yeah, I, I was think. thinking like it's easily a B. Like yeah. it's no way is it an S. Mm-hmm. Um, I th- what I was expecting is probably for it just be like a C average yeah. kind of thing. But I think some of the stuff they did with it and like the characters mm-hmm. and stuff and. Maybe some of the story was a little wonky, but the yeah. characters were fun. Characters were good. You know? And I think sometimes you can have a little, like, wonky story, but have good characters, and you're, yeah. you, can, you can push a show with good We've characters. We've only seen it one season so far. That's all that's been out. It was mm-hmm. paced pretty well. It wasn't overly long. Had some good music. Had some fun characters. Uh, had a great opening scene. Uh, but, yeah, what puts it up so high for me is its inventiveness of choreography. Yeah. I think that was really good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good stuff. Calvin had nothing to say on Stargirl, right? Calvin nope. was not in Stargirl. Well, the next one he was in. Was it, it's not even on this list that I'm looking at. <laughs> Steins Gate. Steins Gate. I'm just going to put that one up here. Also, I'll say real quick, Stargirl voted 57% AB gotcha. from the viewers. Steins Gate. I don't know how to talk about Steins Gate without spoiling anything. Yeah, I know. Like, anything. One of the best dub performances I've ever heard. Because we didn't even know the, the premise. Yeah. And I feel like... Man, we got a lot of anime up here. That's the way to watch it. God damn, <laughs> Steins Gate. Steins Gate's so good. Okabe is one of my favorite characters yeah. ever in anything ever. Yeah. Like, he's top three. Such I think. a fun theory show, too. Duh. The mystery is so good. The The genre that it's in, yeah. it's so hard to write that well. Uh huh. But it writes it so well. Yeah, it's it definitely does. fun. Eric and, and I have had a lot of time stuff. Yeah, and we have talked about that mm-hmm. so many times. Yeah. That I think it's a fun show where you can start theory crafting about all kinds of different stuff, yeah. throwing things at walls, and that's one of the fun things about it. Some but I think it, I think it can work or can't work based on what you think of Okabe. I think if you like Okabe's character, I yeah. think it really helps it. I think if you don't like Okabe's character, then like, I don't think it works as well. Did anyone in this room not like Okabe's no. character? No, I personally liked Okabe's character, but I have so, heard people being like, you know, Okabe doesn't do it for me. I, I don't, also he's too over the top. He's too much. Rather than be like, that's the point. But also, the thing I really like about it is that that actor was also the scriptwriter for the dub. Yeah. So he got to really just, I don't know, like have a lot of control. And I mean, his talent is what made that show good so, go so good for me. And speaking of the script, like that show is funny. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it is in a way that I feel like is a tough thing to translate. Yeah. And it nails it. Like that that show evokes every emotion. Mm-hmm. Like it made me laugh, it made me cry. Boy, did it make me cry. We had some crying. Made yep. me angry. It also had some moments where I'm like, wow, they went there. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, there there are some fun there's some fun and there's some sad stuff in there yeah. that I do like. I I think that I could I think I would place this at A. That OP's so good. Sure. Yeah, I do like that too. Mm. I think there's a lot of good things for it. I think there's a lot of theory crafting you can do. Yeah. I think the story overall makes pretty good sense too. Like mm-hmm. sometimes you watch stuff and you're like, what the hell happened? And then yeah. other times you watch it and you're like, okay, things kind of gelled together when we get there to the end of figuring out what's happened, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I'd put it at an A tier. The only yeah. thing that like isn't as tier for me, and it's because of the nature of the show, I feel like, in that it doesn't. It's not crazy and over the top, so you don't like notice the animation. Yeah, true. Like I feel the true, animation true. is perfectly solid and does exactly what it needs to do, but because of the nature of the show, it's mm-hmm. just not doing the things that Gurren Lagann and yeah. Mob Psycho are doing. Mm-hmm. 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 But yeah, it's an easy yes for me. What Calvin put it at? S. Calvin oh placed Steins Gate at an S. He had no note, but he just said S. No note with it, just S. Mm. Aaron doesn't like anime. What does that mean? 
<laughs> you know, like anime. I don't think of anime as like a singular genre. It's just a, another medium. Sure. And then I have genres where's, inside of that. Where's the Rick doesn't like live action? Who's typing that one? Yeah. <laughs> where's that? Where's that? Hey, I rank comment. One Punch Man low. I rank I rank that. Star Wars Resistance at D. You tank that. <laughs> I had no problem with that. No, I. Uh, I mean, part of me of not at first wanting to do these uh, these rankings is just because like. I know there's going to be people that are going to be like, but this is the thing that I like, and you know, well, every and be show upset is by opinions, but you know, every show is someone's favorite, right? Yeah. Like, you, you pick one show, someone has that as their favorite yeah. show they've ever and watched. And people are super welcome to uh, go and make their own tiers and share them online and all that stuff. But this is Blind Waves. You two say S. Aaron, you said A. I, I easily will put it at a high A. I think mm. I, something about it. I don't know what it is. It doesn't reach. Like when I think about some of my favorite stuff, like it's not there for me. I really enjoyed it, but like I enjoy My Hero Academia much more, and it hits me much more with so many different themes. I think than what Steinsgate did. Hmm. So yeah. like I don't feel like I, I feel like, like my... looking at some of these other ones up here in the S tier stuff. I'm like, man, I feel like those ones are definitely up there. Steinsgate, I'm like, for some reason I'm thinking, I'm like, I feel like it's, I don't feel like it's quite there. I feel like for the me. writing isn't nearly as strong in My Hero. And neither is no, I. The, I mean, I honestly, the main agree. Character I honestly agree, but I think everything it tries to do, it does well. And then I think it, it does everything highs. well. I mean, I think everything Resistance did did well. It just mm -hmm. didn't push story yeah. further or anything either, though. But uh, I think that's why I put it down where it is. When you compare it with other Star Wars stuff, so when I'm looking at, like, and not even just, like, you know, if I look at, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Black Sails, like some of these other ones up here and stuff, too, I think that those really kind of push some different things and stuff and while this is also the theme they're going for it's not the first one to do it it's not i don't know if it necessarily pushes it further than mm -hmm. other ones have but i think it does it well you yeah. know so i think that's why i've kind of put it like an a section yeah. I, don't know. I could i can probably look to push it towards an s because i definitely enjoy it right. but something about it just i, I feel like yep. i just need to pull it back just a little bit I can't have everything be an S. Like I can just go and like no, all we, these are S's. You're you know? right. We can't have everything. Be Every well, show is an anyway, S. Anyway, I'm I'm <laughs> grading mine as an S. Because <laughs> right. I mean you're right. Like it's it's better written. It's a better show than My Hero. It is a better show. than I my care hero. for My Hero more, but it is. So I would put it there. And then again, we're gonna after we're all done, we're gonna be going through this and and maybe doing some balancing. And well, I don't know if we said this. We will be here until we're done today. So if we go long, we go long. It's true. Send it S. That's how we, we're always here until we're done. I know, but like for reals though. Like we were done last week. For like, real, we're done, Eric. guys. See you later. We're for reals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back on the live action train. We have Stranger Things. Steins Gate. Ooh, we forgot the poll. Oh, sorry. Sixty-seven percent said S. Yeah. S. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. I, I like really Stranger like things. Stranger Things. Yeah. Um, despite it being live action. Yeah. It's a hell of a show. The only thing I don't like about Stranger Things is Netflix dropping it all at once and no one talking about it after two weeks. I don't like that. <laughs> I also don't like uh, the one sister character. The one sister character. Oh, the, the older one? No, oh. no, no, the young girl. The skateboarder. Oh, of, okay. The um, wizard. The What's what? her name? I can't okay, remember. I'm trying to think all the names right the now. The little red-haired girl. The little red-haired girl. talking about? No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. No, she comes in and like the end. Damn, I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Is her name Max? Max. That's exactly who I'm talking about. Little red haired girl. A little red haired girl. Oh no, you mean uh, he's talking you about mean the, Lucas's that girl, sister, Lucas's right? Lucas's sister. Yes. Erica. How did I forget? Erica. Yeah. That it's yeah. my name. Not a big fan of Erica. Gotcha. Uh, I yeah. like Erica. I could picture who he was talking about. I couldn't think of the name. There's only one thing I didn't like, and it was the never-ending story bit. I liked Max. <laughs> the singing? Yeah, I, I thought I, I didn't really love it, and then it went on for four and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, love. Oh my God! They're going to the next refrain. I love that you didn't love it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it made it so much fun. Um, man, Stranger Things. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, I mean it's, it's kids so in the good. 80s. They're playing yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. It speaks to me on a deep level. I get you. All the kids do a fantastic job. Like, I love the way Hopper's they try amazing. to explain the unknown with what they know. That's fantastic. They nail that time period. Uh, Joyce, right? Joyce, yeah. Joyce is so fucking good. She's fantastic. Winona Ryder. The music. 
The music's fantastic. Hopper, it's amazing. Hopper's great. I like Hopper. Uh, I love uh, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like Steve goes on a journey. Yeah. Steve Holt. He becomes Steve a mama. Holt. <laughs> no, is that, uh, but you know, yeah, he does do. <laughs> he's pretty good. Right. Like yeah. there's that guy from season one to season three. Yeah. yeah. Very different. He goes mm. on a journey. And, Which, I, and I like that in the show. You don't always get that with characters. Sometimes you're just like, that's the same thing he was last time. Um, that's got, what was it, Bill, was it Billy? Billy. Billy. Yeah. And Eleven. From uh, Power Eleven. So good. I know. Friends. I feel like it gets, I feel like the last season I watched of it was its weakest season. Yeah. Though I mm. liked Billy in it. I really liked Billy, though. Yeah. Uh, no, but what like, about uh, the only thing about it is that people don't talk about it enough because it fucking goes away. That's true, and that's one of the things with Netflix, right? Is like yeah. the Netflix things, like they're around for a little bit and then they're gone, and you don't hear about it until the next time it comes back. And mm-hmm. maybe it's that month. Maybe that month is when you hear about it, and that's it. And after that's gone. Um, but we had to. I mean, we watched it week to week, we so did. it was just like any other show for us, right? Yeah. For us, sure. Yeah. No. Um, oh yeah, Russian Terminator. Russian, Russian Terminator, Terminator was great. There's there's been some really good stuff through it. Where would I want to rank it? Well, how about this? I'm gonna look at where Calvin put it, and then we can start from there of seeing where Calvin he went there. said B. Calvin put it at a B. I'm at an A right now. I think I'm at an A too. I think it could easily be a D. Whoa! No, huh? one punch man, Whoa. this thing. <laughs> what? I can't. I, Rick Kogios was Rick me? can do it. I can't. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think uh, it's definitely an above average show. Yeah. I it also so. plays with that nostalgia. Yeah. You know. So like on purpose, yeah. Is it you know it's trying to play with all that and the like? I don't want to be biased because I enjoy Goonies and I mm-hmm. enjoy like eighties movies mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think I'd put it at a. I don't think it's in an S. No, I think no, it I has its so flaws. Either. There was some stuff with the uh, L that I didn't like yeah. in some of this in one of the seasons. You know where I'm kind of like, where's this going? And it didn't really go anywhere. You know, I like, felt like some of the Russian stuff was a little too long. Yeah. I think in, I don't know, A, I'm in the A, B category. I think it could be, hmm. Dude, that ending is season one. Oh, my God. I feel like just the fact that. Season one's great. It's kid actors. They don't annoy the shit out of me. Yeah. I got to bump it up a tier. Yeah, you're really, you're correct. (laughs) It is hard to get that, I feel like, right? You are correct, Like, when you get, especially, like, that age, right? Like, Mm. these these are younger kids. They're not, like. Yeah, they started off. They're not high school or college kids. They're they're younger kids, and you're growing with them, right? So, all right. I think I'd put it at a, I think I'd put it at an A. Mm. Mm. A, send it. What's chat thing? Chat has theirs at, where'd it go? View results. Stranger Things at an A, B by 72%, and 14% said S. Mm. Okay. All right. Back to superheroes with Supergirl. Hmm. Supergirl. Um, Tell you what. Supergirl's better than Batwoman. I it's agree. not as good as Arrow. I think – no. I don't think so either. I think it's uh, – I don't know if it's as good as Flash. You know? Like, and, I mean, f- yeah, Flash has been on longer, so it's had more opportunities to have stinkers. Well, what season are we but on for Flash? Flash had uh, eight, seven, yeah, now seven. Flash. And we're on six the for Flash. Supergirl, I think, right? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, Eric, it's the I Rick. I did. <laughs> what happened? He couldn't find the Flash, and I'm like, it's the Rick, the Flash. Anyway, Supergirl. Uh, Aaron, you react to this. Uh, I've reacted to a bit of it in crossovers. Sure. Though I still watch it, I haven't caught up on this season yet. Um, um, I mean, this season's okay. Yeah. Um, it's I enjoyed the last episode a good bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we're also kind of coming from that pandemic uh, issues and stuff that they had, so they had to do similar stuff with Flash, right? They had to wrap up the last season basically yeah. and do some weird things. Um, the whole did, wait, did it not start? A few results. The poll's going. Why are people saying poll? Uh, I, I have no poll, Aaron. The poll's up. No, I, I have no People poll. have voted already. I don't have a poll. I, I have no I'm poll. I'm not even logged in. But I'll refresh, and maybe then I'll have a poll. Um, Aaron, where are you thinking? I'm kind of low C myself. Uh, if I'm, you don't see the poll, refresh, and it'll work. Um, I'm – so one of my things, like, I felt like – like, Arrow, I had a lot of fun with. I thought it was it was good. Yeah. It, it had, like – 
some pretty good characters. Mm-hmm. Choreography and fights were a lot of fun, and that's what it did like pretty well, you know, mm-hmm. for most of it. Yes. Um, Supergirl doesn't necessarily have the choreography side of things nope. because they do a lot of. It's a super powered person. There's yep. CGI. Mm-hmm. The fights are just kind of there. Yep. I think they do a lot of the character stuff pretty well, mm. um, and I like the character side of things. Now they did have their first season, which was kind of like eh, mm. over on CBS. Yeah. I felt like when it came over to CW, it kind of started doing a little better. I mean, it didn't, um, like, I really enjoyed it when they had the Flash crossover when it was over there. Sure. Like, yeah. that was pretty good. Um, so. I also really liked season four mm. of Supergirl, I think it was. Like, that was probably my favorite season that they've done. Gotcha. And it just it flowed well. The pacing was there. Yeah. They had pretty fun villains. It was a different dynamic than, like, mm-hmm. all right, well, here's an enemy you have to go and punch. Sure. It was like, how, how does Supergirl, like, someone all-powerful, how do you fight – X, you know, like sure. what do you do for that? Yeah, and I really enjoyed that theme. It's, um, a, it's better than the Supergirl movie. I was gonna I, say, are you including the movie in this no. discussion? I hate that movie. Okay, I don't <laughs> think it's, I don't think it's above average. No, I don't necessarily know that it's below average in some cases. I'm kind of in the C, maybe to D. No, I, I with you. The, like honestly, the only reason I really watch it now is just so I can keep up on other CW stuff. Sure. In case it comes up in the stuff that I really like. Right I get now. that. So, I'm really hoping this season because like season four was my favorite. Season five didn't quite do it for me, and I was hoping like maybe season six will kind of yeah. bring that back around, especially with it ending and stuff. And maybe hey, the way what? it does the last season. I'm looking at stuff and see, and I enjoy all those things more than Supergirl. I think I would go D. See, I did this earlier with S, and you were like, nah, put it there anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> that was my prerogative. You can keep going. I'll go D. I mean, I think it's better than Batwoman. Mm-hmm. It's not as good as Arrow. Ha- yeah. Have we done Flash? No. Nope. Not yet. That under, is the Flash. The under Flash, the you Flash. idiot. <laughs> Man, I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Uh. Um, I think I'd put it in the – I can put it in D. I definitely think it's better than Batwoman. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm leaving myself room to probably put Flash in a C section maybe when we Got talk it. about that. I'll see. Sent it. I'll see once we talk about it more how we how we place that. I don't that, like so. to acknowledge the letter D, but I have to put it in D. Put it in that one between C and E. Mm. Filling up that D. Uh, we had 54% vote for D and E and 33 for C. Gotcha. So. All right. What do you guys think about Superman and Lois? Oh, fuck. Is okay. Too, is that too early to call? No. I don't think so. I mean, we've got five episodes of it. We all, yeah. I'm fi- I mean, have we watched some of these other things more, but I don't know. There's something about that show, especially because it is like a character that's been around for a very long time. You can judge it well, whereas some of this other stuff, I just don't know what to judge it against. Sure. Um, I, I think I put it Superman and Lois. I mean, I'm between B and A for it. Like, honestly, I honestly. think it's one of the better things. It's one of the best things that. Uh, the Arrowverse is done. Granted, it has a lot of time to, to screw up, but when we watched that first episode, I was like, there's no way they're continuing this quality. You can't yeah. do it. They're not going to do it. Oh, no. It's Dude, Superman. There are shots that feel like, like Man of Steel quality shots in it and stuff. Yeah, but like you like it, Rick. Yeah. Like, if you, like you can't <laughs> – like, you might not like Man of Steel. Yeah. But the cinematography in Man of Steel is pretty good. Oh, yeah. You know? And there's some stuff in the Superman and Lois where, like, mm-hmm. man, that felt like Man of Steel. You know, as far as, like, some of the shots and things they choose to do. Did you do. believe a man could fly? I mean, it looks like it, yeah. yeah he flies. You know? yeah. He's he flying around doing some superhero stuff. That was the rule for the first farm. Superman movie, right? It's like, yeah. you have to believe a man can fly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, John Williams lifted that heavy burden about that music. <laughs> this one doesn't have the music, in my opinion, but it's still really great. Um you know, I, I mean, I, I also just loved the idea, because I knew nothing about the show other than the one trailer we watched. And having been a Smallville fan my entire life, the show's premise is Superman and Lois move back with their kids to Smallville. So I really nice. enjoyed that. I became very excited, and I've been excited and enjoying it ever since. And so, the characters are pretty good in it. Yeah. Like, I think Speaking the character- of what Rick was saying about kids, those kids are great. Sure. I mean, I don't even know how old they are. I like, get they so annoyed with kids. They could be, like, 19-year-olds playing yeah. 14-year-olds or whatever. But they, they but do the writing of the kids. I they mean. do a really good yeah. job as far as, like, what, the, what they're mm-hmm. – like, they feel like they're the right age. They act well. They, you know – I'm not like these are – they're so yeah. annoying or whatever, you know. Nothing like that. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm between, like, a B and A kind of category for this. Yeah. I think it's above average, especially when looking at, like, what – what all everything's going. I think I'm going to put it at B. Mm. Cuz I also have Arrow in B. True. 
and I really like Arrow, and mm-hmm. I don't have that much time invested with Superman and Lois yet. Yeah. Um, but it looks good, and I'm enjoying it so far. So I think that's where I'm going to put it for me. Mm. Um, I mean, so we'd have – I'm looking at, like, comparable shows, Legends, Daredevil. Yeah, I agree. We'll put it B. I mean, compared to yeah, – I mean, I well, love – it, Also, I, it's only been five episodes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've only had a few of those episodes for, like, Invincible and whatnot too, you know? Yeah. And it's like, uh, I think I'd put these here, but I don't know mm-hmm. yet. This one here, I'm like, I feel like it goes here next to maybe Arrow. Yep. Uh, that is one that I'm like, what's I can't wait to see what we do with that next year. Yeah. Yeah. Which that would be interesting, too, is coming back here and being like, all right, we have finished how many of these now? Yep. Berserk! After getting a good feeling, you know? <laughs> yeah, Berserk is now done. Dexter is on here, right? Like, there's a whole new season of Dexter coming out at some point. Like, uh-huh. true. that may alter that entire section there. Or, yeah. So. And humans will come back. No. No, it will, will not. Uh, Superman Lois voted 76% at A to B. Gotcha. Damn. We got a B. <laughs> a laptop crashed, so that's coming back up. But I don't need it to tell you that the next one, which I'm sure Calvin has something to say about, is Supernatural. Ooh, man. Talk about a show that has a lot to be judged. It does. Because it has 13, 15, 15, 15 seasons. 15 seasons. 15 seasons. And not all are the same they're not of the same quality yeah no. there are some that Hell are up no. here there are some like there are some seasons i'd probably put it e or f but then yeah. there's other oh, ones yeah. i'd probably put it s or D- a you know one to five like there's just such a, a <laughs> fluctuation i feel uh-huh. like it runs it. the gamut it does it's uh well, there was another show where it's like it has had so many opportunities to do really well and do really bad but even it's bad stuff like is treated like shitty horror <laughs> which is bad but good sometimes you know sure sure but sometimes just motherfucker you've had this conversation 12 times in a row at this point in the season i don't trust i don't trust you sammy well they'll be they'll be the same thing where it's like guys 10 years ago you guys found out don't keep information hidden from each other why are you still doing it 10 years later you've learned this you know like and that would be such a frustrating thing sometimes but some fantastic moments throughout that that you have to get to sure no i mean there are season four premiere man oh it's one of my favorite episodes of all time Uh, i really enjoyed season 11 a lot i think i hated season eight sorry i think the ride from seasons one through five i probably would put at like s or a absolutely because it was written to end at season five and they got it like you want to do more uh maybe meanwhile season 15 (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) like i think that just was so good that uh, the way it paced itself the the brotherly bond you had, the story they told. Like, I think I would take, if I had just one through five, I'd probably say, like, S tier for Ooh, that. Ooh, really? But I get you. tossing in all the other stuff, too, Yep. It's so it fluctuates a lot. Sure. There's some seasons that just don't reach that height, and there's really? other ones that are pretty good. I Agreed. heard they're we, quite handsome. We had, we had a quite. <laughs> they're handsome. quite. Goodness gracious um, me. There was, I mean, there was one season I remember too. Like we started yeah. reacting to it on the channel again. Yeah. When it, at one point, and mm-hmm. it was because there was a season when Eric and I were, had been just watching on our own time. We're like, yeah. damn, that was so good. We should have reacted to this. Yeah, let's start. Like, why didn't we react again. to this? And we started reacting to it. And we're like, and that, this is not as fucking good as what it was. That fucking guy that was playing. Yeah, yeah I know, oh I know. Was just, <laughs> like, what the hell is I, this? I, I left. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not doing anymore. He stopped. He gave up. I had to come back later. <laughs> um, I think. Uh, you know, I will he, tell he, you that Calvin gives it a B. Calvin gives it a B. You know what ever got old, Aaron? Them figuring out names to call themselves when they were like FBI. I love when oh, they do that. This is Ford and Hamill. This it was, is, we're Simon and, uh, Agent Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah. <laughs> they, never got old. They, they would just name themselves different things all the time, and it was so great. And I loved it. It was like Gus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it would be like, uh, <laughs> what was the, uh, there was just one guy on his own. He's like, I'm Agent Beyonce. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Calvin did rank it at a B. He did. B. I don't know if he's finished it. No. He has I don't not. think he has. No. So he's got some great characters, though. I th- Crowley? I think, man. From, um, it's so hard Luke. for me to think about. I'm, good omens you're good talking omens? about. And I'm talking about the OG Crowley. Okay. Yeah, not Hello, boys. It's hard to get more OG Hello, than boys. Moose and Squirrel. <laughs> the good omens. I know. I get you. But you don't understand. <laughs> See, part of me wants to put it because of such highs and such lows that yep. I want to kind of just 
go in the middle of like sea or something, you know? See? And it's like overall, like some really mm. good stuff, and there's some not so good stuff. The characters, though, the characters are what kind of make it mm-hmm. and carry. I mean, if you didn't have Sam and Dean, it wouldn't have made it the way it did, yeah. you know? Um, characters are the thing that matter to me the most. Mm-hmm. Yes, but I've seen. Also, I would got I got very frustrated that it's like this is a new monster never done before. Oh yeah, what's it look like? It's got weird contacts and teeth. Oh. Yeah, Did what's this one? <laughs> oh my gosh, this one has different eyes, and different fangs. teeth. <laughs> and what's this one got? This different... one's just teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and this one sucks. <laughs> uh, um, like, these motherfuckers just turn the teeth. I think I like, had like the Wendigo and shit. You know, That's sure no stuff. and. And then they don't use it enough, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, I don't talk, it costs too much money. Yeah, I probably would put it at C. Me too. I think is where I would go. I'll put it C. Just because of like, I love it's Sam the... and I love Dean. I agree. And I love. There's so many other characters I love. I could name off like so many characters. Yeah. Because they're so good. But... The thing is, putting it in C, I think is fair because it has those great moments. But I mean, the longer you go, the more you just like you know you don't get as excited anymore because you have so much of it and. That is a consequence of being super fucking duper successful 15 seasons. That's a, I mean, that's a lot of seasons. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Yeah. So, exactly. Like I said, I, if I took, if we went through, I could probably rank all the seasons. Me too. Of like, yeah. here's where they rank S to no, F tier. Yeah. Some of them know? are fucking D or E. Some of them are S tier. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, it, since it fluctuates so much, I think putting it C just, is just, just C's because fair. of like, there's, there's highs, there's lows, but yep. the characters keep it at least somewhat consistent. To be at least average enough to continue through until it ended. You know, I'm a, I'm a little surprised. What does chat think? Uh, chat for Supernatural: forty nine percent voted C, twenty seven percent voted A B. Gotcha. Thirteen voted S. That's definitely one of those shows that I get the feeling that it's a lot of people's favorite show. Yeah. No. Yeah. For sure. <coughs> definitely. Oh man, you know what it did the best of any show? It had a great at the at the finale of every season it had a previously on but the previously was started with kansas carry on my and it's the road so far and it would summarize the whole season i look forward to that more than anything the whole season nice. those are always fun and then they had they went to comic con they had kansas come out and play for their whole crowd fuck yeah <laughs> that's pretty great it's real great stuff all right next is swamp thing oh, oh, this was a sleeper hit for me. Man, it's hard to judge because it didn't finish. It didn't get to finish. So. It just edged me. <laughs> like, what was there was so good. So good. What, it had no it, right to be that good. It didn't. It had no right to have the atmosphere it did. Like, I mean, unfortunately, the best thing about it, its atmosphere, is what got it canceled. That damn swamp set that it was, was so hard to store. Because it looks it. so good, but <laughs> yeah. it costs so much. Like, ah, eh, we're done. Yeah, like some of that effect work for like the body horror, body horror. Some of the best great. stuff I've seen in forever. Yeah, sure. And as a TV show. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, and it was comic book. It just was. It, I wish it would have been longer. Yeah, you should have been. I wish there would have been another season yeah. for it. Um. I mean, it, dang, I don't know. Character wise, pretty good. And we should. I, I don't want to say too because people were talking about like I didn't watch it. There's no conclusion. It is worth watching, even if it doesn't have a season two. Trust me on Definitely. that. Definitely, like you will be done and be like, "That was a good show. I'm glad mm-hmm. I watched that." Yep. Watch it in October. I was surprised at how good it was yeah. and how much I enjoyed it. Um, I know we also kind of had the same idea of like, I don't know, they're not going to do any more of it. Maybe we shouldn't watch it. Yep. But it was still a good. We ate our words with that. It was I, good. I, of, I did, it was a good fun ride, you know. Mm-hmm. Um. So, uh, I think maybe the best thing to judge against is like a firefly. Well, at least Firefly had a movie. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they wrapped it up somehow off. or some other way. I mean, you know? Swamp Thing has fifty years of comic books and True. probably some of the best comics ever True. made. Sure, <laughs> it, it it utilizes some of that uh-huh. scare factor with some of the stuff. Yep. Like, there's some of those swamp scenes are just terrifying and crazy, mm-hmm. but awesome too. And and just some hype moments of him tearing motherfuckers apart. I know. Like, man. Yeah, tear that it's fucker like, apart. Fuck yeah, nature. <laughs> you know. <sighs> Uh, mm. Calvin said Swamp Thing A, and then he has a note. I can't believe it was canceled. In all caps. In all caps. So Calvin has that as an A. Man. Um, an A. Like, um. unlike Firefly, 
How, how many episodes did Firefly have before it was canceled? 12, 14, something like that? Well, it was close to Swamp I don't know. Thing, right? I don't remember. Like, I, I yeah. feel like I got way more attached to the characters in Firefly than I did in Swamp Thing. Yeah. It looks like 14. 14? 14. 14. So I don't feel like the character work in Swamp Thing is as as strong. Mm-hmm. But the effects are out of this world. Yeah. Visually, it, it looks great. Yeah. Right? Like, it looks so good. And the good. story was fine. Like, it wasn't anything too crazy, but it was just getting started. It had Chick in it as the bad guy. It had remember, a pinball machine. Remember Chick? What? Do you take lists? Like, do you have a list of, like, shows with pinball machines? tattooed Henry? on his I don't back. Know, no pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> they use that reference, pinball. Uh, Calvin has an A. What are you guys thinking? I'm definitely above average. I don't think I'm at an S, mainly because yeah, oh no. I think not, because not it S. didn't get that finish, no. I, I, I can't put it at an S for anything like that, right? No, so no. I'm between I'm, A and B. I'm between A and B, too. But it's where tough. does it belong? Mm. Um, I'm going to go B. I think I'm going to go B, too. But I don't like it. I'm not happy with this. Calvin myself. went A. I'll go. I'm looking at shows on A and B. It's a high B for me. I think it's a B. Yeah. I think it's only a B through no fault of the show. Nope. They did it too well. They did. TV wasn't ready. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, happened. and see, that could be one of the things, right? Like, wasn't George Lucas like, he's like, I can't do this because technology yeah. isn't there for like a Star Wars TV show or anything, yep. right? Like, now exactly. technology is getting there. They, they wrote 100 scripts of a Star Wars Underworld show. And he put it on the shelf. He's like, they can't see it yet. It's not ready. <laughs> 100 episodes. 100 episodes. Damn. 100. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> there are guys that had that on their resume being like, yeah, I wrote 100 episodes of a Star Wars show. Well, and she George used Lucas that time to me. beef up those prequel scripts a little bit. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Next one is Sword Art Online Abridged. Oh. Mm. Which I've seen Sword Art Online, but yeah. I've not seen Abridged. Um, This, you know, Abridged shows are hard to judge compared to all of these professional grade shows. Though we do have Dragon Ball Z Abridged up there in A. It is. Where I think it be- uh, belongs. I had seen Dragon Ball Z and still put it there. I have not seen Sword Art Online. I did watch the Abridged. Well, I just it, it wasn't was, for me. It was like a reverse of like what we did with the, the DBZ. Yeah, because like it was. Calvin hadn't seen any of it, and I hadn't seen any Dragon Ball Z either. Yeah. So like you had, and we mm-hmm. were watching through it, and like, what is it? If you haven't seen it, can you follow along? What's it like? Sure. It was kind of like an experiment. We're like, well, let's flip it around because I had seen Sword Art Online, and I had fun with Sword Art Online. I thought it was like it was one of my earlier animes. Like yeah. my my earliest ones are probably like Pokemon or Digimon or stuff like that when I was really young. Mm-hmm. Um, but Sword Online was, you know, after I had kids and stuff, where I watched yeah. it. I'm like, you know what? This is pretty fun. I like this. I need to maybe try to find some other ones. But then we yeah. started doing Blind Wave and stuff, too. And I was like, well, I can't watch nothing, you know? <laughs> sure, I get you. So doing a bridge, we were like, well, some people say, like, a lot of people have problems with Sword Art Online. Let's watch a bridge because I loved DBZA. Yeah. Maybe Sword Art Online on bridge fixes the issues also, that they have with like, this. And a lot of people said, like, oh, it's just as good as that. No, yeah. And they're like, oh, it's so good and it changes character stuff and does this and that. Because a lot of people have issues with it was the a main. different team, right? Yeah, it was a different yeah, team. Yeah, it was. Um, a, lot of the protag- a lot of people have issues with the protagonist of Sword Art Online being too generic, right? Like, not there's yeah. not enough character there. And it's, it's too easy to just fill yourself into that role. Yeah. Which I think is what they were maybe were going for. Mm hmm. A bridge was supposed to change that to where it has character. Yeah. I didn't enjoy the character. I didn't either. And I just I just feel like maybe the production of that was just skewed younger than me, you know? Yeah, sure. I just didn't resonate with any of the humor. Like, if it was funny, I don't care. I'd still enjoy it. But their idea of humor was just have these characters scream really loud for a long time in every line, in every sure. scene, and argue. And that's like the cardinal sin of comedy. Sure. <laughs> I think out of the shows, like we've watched some shows that I think have been not good. We've stopped some shows that I think have been good. Yeah. I think this is one of the few shows where we're like, none of us are enjoying this. I'm going to, I, I, we're going to stop watching it. So yeah. I think because of that, like not a lot of shows where we're like, Inhumans wasn't that good. But we had fun watching it and we finished it. Sure. Because it was a fun thing. So we're on a bridge we just gave up on because See, it just wasn't enjoyable. Yeah. I'm looking at Calvin's thing and. He just put Sword Art Online C. I know that. I, I, is he talking about the Abridge or is he talking about Sword Art Online? 
I don't know what he's talking about. I must assume it's a bridge because you guys never did Sword Art Online. No, yeah. but he has watched Sword Art Online. Yeah, Maybe so he's he forgot might be about thinking it's the wrong thing because I, I will put I'm it. I'm gonna tell you, F. man. Like I did not enjoy it. It's an F for me. It's an F for me. It's an F because it's an it F didn't. For me, dog. It did. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it. I didn't think it was funny. Yeah. We gave up because it, we all hated it. Yeah. We, yeah. We gave it up. That's that's the worst. <laughs> we did. We finished in humans. Yeah, we did. We finished heroes. And we we, Eric and I heroes loved the first reborn. heroes, you know? Re- reborn <laughs> yeah. did not do it for us, but we finished it. Yeah. Because we were at least attached enough to the characters and stuff, too. Yep. With this one, it just it wasn't fun. Finally at the F. So that one is an F. F. Uh, I will say 51% voted F, 22% voted D or E. We'll assume that Calvin was... Yeah, we're going to veto that C. Even Regardless of what Calvin <laughs> thought of it. If Calvin <laughs> wanted it to be an S, I'm saying no. Because in, yeah. uh, in the list we give him, it, did, it does just say Sword Hour Online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, another F. 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 So we're finally in the thes. The 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 uh, time everybody starting with the boys man <coughs> boys is some good shit <laughs> <laughs> amazon boys. knocked it out of the park with the boys yeah they did man i mean you know it, it, it's one of these shows that like hey you know these characters that you've loved for your entire life and you're like yeah and it's like well due to copyright reasons we can't use them but we can make wink, some- wink. You know who we're talking about. What if this happened? Sure. What if they were? What if we looked at him through this filter? You yeah. know, and it does it so well. It does, and it's there's it's it's easy to make those characters where like I hate these characters, but I still want to watch them. Yeah. You know, and there's also ones where like I just I enjoy some of the character developments of some other characters too. Mm-hmm. That whether they have powers or don't have powers, just seeing yeah. where they go and what they do, and it definitely starts off with one of those like. All right, I don't know what this is, what to expect. Yeah. You know, it has a comic, but I was like, I didn't read mm-hmm. the comic. Yeah. And then you get to a point, you're just like, what are we watching? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is easily an easy A for me. I don't think I'd go quite S, but why? Why don't I? But the only thing that hurts it for me yeah. is I think it's, it's not the show's fault. Yeah. But when we started, I feel like we were doing a lot of shows with teams yeah. who were not – Super gelled together, sure. Fought a lot, and mm-hmm. it had really worn thin on me by I get that what point. You mean. Yeah, sure, I get you. Um, but if I had just watched the boys and I hadn't watched Titans and Doom Patrol and stuff like that, yeah, like I might feel better about it. Yeah, I get what you mean. It made but such I, a great villain. I was just done with that trope by that point. Yeah, Titans really fucked you over. It did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there later. We're in the tease. I definitely think that the boys. <laughs> Does a lot of things good. Yep. It has a lot of like moments where it's unbelievable. It's a great reaction. It has show. some fun stuff. Yeah. It has some things I hate. So it's I love. visceral. Yeah. You know, like it's got Billy fucking Butcher. You know? Which is great. He's so good. He's so good. Um, Carl Urban. I think I would. Mommy's home. <laughs> I think it's an easy A for me. Yeah. I think I agree with that, Eric. I think. Yeah. I think an A listing for the boys for me fits me fine. Where like it's above average. It hit points that I wasn't expecting it to hit. Um, I had fun. It has some I, trend. Like the dolphin moment with the no. Spice Girls. No, I was thinking about that too. When I was thinking about stuff, that was what I went to in you my know, head. like that's amazing. I, that, like how, you don't get that anywhere else. So I'm going to go with A. We also, that was what, two seasons of it so far? Yeah. There, I, I don't know how many more they're going to do. I don't know where the comics take it or anything. Mm-hmm. But like it definitely could be. Yeah. Like depending on what they do with it and the, the route they take. Maybe you have an A. Maybe it goes to S. But they could yeah. also drop the ball. Maybe it drops to B. You know, I don't it's know. It's a high A for me, I think. I think A for me is where I'd put yeah. it. What Calvin you, put it at A. Yeah, I think A too. Um, and that's despite, like, the main group lying to each other all the time. Yes. And, like, keeping things from each other. And just all the things that I grew to hate yeah. because of a certain show that we will watch later. Rank, yes. Uh, oh, rank Mother's later. Milk is so good, too. No, that we'll he watch is. later. Mm. He is good. You're going to watch that again, Frenchy. right? Frenchie. Oh, God. Frenchie? Uh, um, no, yeah. We're already at A, Eric. You don't need to do yeah. okay. I'm, just, keep I'm allowed. No, you're not. Stop it. <laughs> give up. It's an easy A. Easy A. So, uh, voted from the viewers here. 51% said A to B, while 42% okay. said S. Ooh. Okay. The Next is The Crown. 
the crown. Oh, okay, so this is on here because I believe the girls reacted to one episode, and we really wanted to get to 100 shows. <laughs> but uh, so none of us here reacted to it, though I have watched all of the crown. Am I the only one that's seen the crown? I have not. I have not seen the crown. Yeah. I really like the crown. Uh, as I started to watch, I'm like, this is okay. And then, you know, as the characters get older and we go through the decades of the, you know, the life of Queen Elizabeth, they had to, they, they, they changed their actors. I was so mad. I was like, what? No. And I stopped watching for a bit. I, uh, yeah. That's how mad I got. I, I remember came, you coming in I the next day. I came to work day. just telling you, like, I'm so pissed. I'm pissed off. <laughs> Why? But then I was like, ruined my show. Like, Fuck it. All right, I'll watch it again, you know. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, it's good. It's still good. Um, no, it's been on my list. I've thought about watching it before, yeah. but I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet. Yeah. There's so one, like there's one episode that really affected me about this like uh this like mining disaster that killed all these kids kids in England and like just how the queen responds to those things like even her presence will like she wants to go there and support it even her presence will will destroy this town just because so many people will come to come see her sure mm-hmm. if she comes it'll be a mistake you know oh it's really good stuff really yeah and I have to say Matt Smith is a motherfucking G <laughs> and it was like it's the best role I've ever seen him in okay yeah hmm. like I liked him as the doctor I gotta, like I liked him in this better than I did like him as a doctor really yeah I got like this is the crown British royalty he's a motherfucking, motherfucking G, G. So, <laughs> I, like he acts that show so well gotcha um a lot of them do and it's it's a pretty great th- not great it's a crazy ballsy thing where every couple of seasons you change Every actor in your show, the characters are the same, but it's all new actors. And it, people have the same thing that I did, where they're like, "What? Yeah, Why? Sure. Makeup exists, you know?" Yeah. So uh, anyway, all that to say, I really enjoy The Crown. I think that it's really do, well done. It is a Netflix show. Do they, um, as they do that, is there mannerisms and stuff? Do they keep some of those amongst the actors for characters and stuff? Because like one of the things I like is, um, well, they're all we, playing we talked real about, people. We talked about yeah. Supergirl, right? Supergirl has sometimes flashed back to some history it moments, does. and the younger girls they have playing them, I'm like, man, I can really kind of feel like some of the mannerisms yeah. and the way they look and stuff feels like this character turns into that character. Do they yeah. do a good job of the crown? Where like, say Matt Smith is playing this, you know, this person, does it feel like they're the same character, or is well, there like a disconnect? I will say yes, it does, but for the exact opposite reasons you're talking about, they let those actors play the characters any way they want to. Really? But they're playing real people that sure. have a lot of video and you can study. So they're making similar choices, but different acting choices, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, it's similar but different, and it took me a bit to be like, oh, that makes sense. Sure. Because, like, you get that yeah. with, uh, was it, who was it? Was it Natalie Portman? Who played, um, was it JFK's wife? Or there was a president's uh, wife. There's mm-hmm. a movie. I want to say Natalie Portman, like, watch stuff maybe i'm thinking of yeah. another actress where like they were watching like the actions and the mannerisms and things she did and like she was like trying to portray how you saw her back then sure on film now it's, and uh it, it sounds like you're nailing exactly what they do that's yeah. okay well it's good that they do that then like you have like, like I, all I of them along the way are trying to do the same thing they have a jfk episode like they i, I love when they have the presidents in an episode because it's like clancy brown JFK was played by uh, C. Hall. Michael C. Hall. Mm. <laughs> really good. Huh. Anyway, uh, I think it's a solid show. It's not necessarily a react- reactable show, I don't think, so that's why we never really pursued it. But it is making the list because it, there is a reaction on the channel. Um, I think The Crown, I will put at a high B for me. A high B, huh? High B. Okay. All right. Yep. I have to take your word for what it. What do people say? Uh, Vote-wise, we had an A, B at 41%. Mm-hmm. 22% said S, and 21% yeah. said C. The only reason I'm not putting an A, honestly, is just because I always feel weird ranking something high when it's just me. Sure. So I think B is fair. Sure. No, I get you. Okay. I don't have that problem. I know. Um, apparently, it's Jackie. <laughs> I know. I see a high Q up there. <laughs> but you I have no it. problem doing also, that at all. I know you're hype. Maggie agreed. We disagree with a lot of things, but I feel like we always agree on our hype. Maggie also was very disappointed with Fruits Basket ranking. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. She only has two shows on this list, though. Yeah. She probably wanted them both high. Yep. Yep. <laughs> wait, wait, where did Fruits Basket end up? A. Well, come on now. Still, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> What's next? Next is The Expanse. Mm. Oh, God. 
Man. Fucked it up. We've, uh, how far are we in Expanse? What did we watch uh, last season? Season three, season. Yeah. episode something. The Expanse is, for me, similar to Black Sails in that every episode I love it more and more. And I already no. kind of like season one. Yeah. But season I did two too. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. That. Season three, I'm no. like, oh, fuck, yeah. And then we got season four coming up. Although I, I really do miss a particular character. Yeah. Sure. Agreed. That's the only thing that. Champa. It, it's not quite. Oh, God damn it, Eric. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> what? Did you say chocolate? No. Oh. Okay. Why? Why? You th- why did I say chocolate? Why do I think I did that? I don't know why you looked at Rick and go chocolate. <laughs> I don't know and why. He goes, oh. <laughs> That's a me response. <laughs> Dude, uh, I'm not kidding. I am flirting with S on Black Sales because of something that we watched I'm, a couple weeks ago. I'm glad you're flirting with S for Black Sales because yep. it's already up on S. Uh, it is. That's how much I that's how much praise that I mix it up with one of my favorite shows ever. So the expanse <laughs> I'm flirting with S. It for feels the expanse. It, ah. you know, it feels like a tabletop role playing game, yep. which it's nice to know that it was based off from. It was. That's exactly what it feels like. Uh-huh. And I like the camaraderie between the members of the crew. The effects have been really good so far. <gasps> yeah, no, the yeah. Fights in space, yeah. the fl- surprisingly the, good. The Some flying around, characters. the combat stuff with the ships and stuff is really cool. Ava Sorrell is like just a fucking badass. Like I I'm like, a really big Star Trek fan. Yeah, but th- those shows are not known for their space battles. Agreed. There's not, and there's not very often too where like it's like, all right, now we're gonna leave these characters and go show these characters. I'm like, son of a bitch, I want why? You know, I'm, I kind of enjoy seeing a little bit of everything they're showing. You know, like I appreciate how hard they push the. The sci-fi, yeah. The sci- how, yeah, how hard the sci-fi goes, and also, I feel like they do a lot of work to like specifically their world. Like, I feel like I get a good understanding of these vast, giant, empty distances. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it feels like a full world while being ninety-nine point nine percent empty. I'm between A and S for me. Yeah, like, well, well, because I haven't finished it, I feel like I, I I'm, I, I don't know hundred percent yet. Yeah, I really like what they're doing. Um, I also like in in my I keep I keep looking at S. I'm like, man, there's so many shows on S. It feels yeah. wrong because it should be a like a bell curve, and there should be. I mean, let's look know? at that later. Right now, let's put them where our heart tells us. Your and heart. I'm gonna and say at the end, A. He says A. Calvin said up. Calvin said S. Calvin said S. I say S. The all, the other thing too that shocked me about the Expanse is I don't know when I went from like being intrigued and being like this is a good show to being like. Man, I can't wait to watch Expanse this week. Oh, man, that moment was so great. When did that transition? Because it felt like I just yeah. missed it. It just happened. It right? just happened, yeah. No, yeah, it definitely it, – it has a good way of just, like, rolling through with the story yeah. and the characters. The one thing that I think feels weird is – it's not necessarily the pacing because the pacing is good. Yeah. But the breaks in the seasons and then where I feel a season finale should yeah. go don't match at all. And it's just feel, that part feels a little weird. I don't know what it is about See, it. See, I agree, but that's a plus for me. It, I mean, I guess because <laughs> like you, you, just, you just can't predict. Like, okay, you're, so you're not you know. expecting yeah. when the crazy stuff is gonna happen or anything, yeah. right? Like, I guess that's true as well. So, and I mean, it works for me too because we're we aren't we're not taking season breaks. Like, we ourselves aren't doing that. Mm-hmm. I wonder what it would feel like watching that live season by season and then having these summer breaks. You know, like what would that feel like? Because that would be way different. It'd be It'd be weird. It'd be weird, but it might be one of those things where, like, dude, we're in the middle of the season. Fucking anything could happen, you know? I don't know. So, but I can't judge off of that. It's an S for me, dog. Calvin says S. Uh, you said A. Rick? I said A. What's Rick say? I mean, I really, really like it. Mm-hmm. But, like, one of the tests I put it against is if it's, like, the last thing of the day... It's going to cost us to go over. Am I so invested that, like, I would watch it no matter what? Gotcha. I don't think it's quite there for me, Mm -hmm. like some of the other shows are, and all the ones in S were. Yeah. So I think it's an A, but it's a high A. Mm, Okay. Now where do we put it? We had, voting-wise... I think we just had to stall. 50% 50 of the vote went to S. Half. Uh, Half. 36% said A, B. Mm. Half, man. Half. Maybe what we should do is put it in A and reevaluate when we come back for some of the other stuff. Let's put it in S and come back and evaluate afterwards. It's the opposite of what I said, but okay. I mean, well, <laughs> chat feels fine. like a good tiebreaker. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's because it's on your side. <laughs> well, yeah. 
<laughs> just put in an S. That way we can come back later. Yeah. That way anybody coming in at this point, I'll be like, yes, thank God. Put in an S. All right, I'm leaving. Well, there's going to be somebody like, damn it, what the hell? Expanse is an S? They yeah. have the opposite, too. So we can put it there. There's going to be one sort of online abridged fan. It's I'm gonna putting in an S like, for Champa. Champa. For Champa? Okay. Yeah, damn baby. it, Rick. You just hell Ciampa. yeah. Let's do it. What's oh, next? It's Miller time. All right, Chopper. next one is The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. Ooh. Very <sighs> different from WandaVision, which we haven't yet not yet done either. Also, one of my favorite logos so far. Yeah, really it's pops. a great logo. I like it. I mean, the thing is, is like, I feel like I need to judge this against other movies because that's the quality it had. I get you. Quality is really good. It's kind of like what we talk about with Superman and Lois, where like sometimes you feel like you're just watching a movie, yeah. but you're, it's a TV show. But it's a TV this show. This felt the same thing. Like it's on Disney Plus as a yeah. six what, six week TV show, but it felt like the quality of just watching a Marvel movie. Yeah, there was it didn't feel like any difference. Yeah, I mean, I you know I, it delivered on on what I thought the, a follow up to Captain America would be. Because there's a lot of people, especially after the finale, being like, I don't understand why this is so political. It's like, motherfucker, it's Captain America. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, th- I think that it had to go where it went, especially with the black man wearing the Captain America outfit. Um, and, I mean, there's very few things I didn't like about it. I mean, Zemo, as a villain, was fantastic. Good. You well, know? And it wasn't even that he was a villain. No. Yeah. I don't, yeah, you say villain, I and I'm like, I don't know why you're talking sure. saying a villain. No, he, I wasn't, he wasn't, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, um, he kill a lot of people. He, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't make you a villain. Yeah, he's more, <laughs> have you seen Berserk? He was a better is, hero and villain. Is the than Punisher Jared. a villain, Eric? Huh? <laughs> is the Punisher a villain? Captain America would say yes. Well, it's all a certain point of view. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, no, I mean Falcon and Winter Soldier. I thought like it had some really fun fights. Yeah, I always love the way Falcon fights, and they kept changing up different things and adding new things. Where I'm like, dang, that was a fun way to do that. Mm-hmm. Um. But also, like, the character, the camaraderie between, like, the two main characters there. Yeah. Um, there was – there's one thing I'm not sure about, which may be because of some disorder stuff that has occurred w- with the way Marvel has released some movies and TV shows sure. and stuff. Where I'm kind of like, is there a disconnect here on this story beat? Or is it just, like, we're going to touch on this later on, you know? Sure. Um, but most everything else, like, the themes they cover, the legacy – they cover like legacy and history. They cover racism. Mm-hmm. They cover uh, I don't know fanaticism, uh, uh, PTSD almost. You know, like yeah. uh, uh, guilt and like sure. all these. There's so many different things that they kind of touch on and stuff. And I think it does a lot of that really well. I mean, for me, like I just there was a certain point where I just lost investment in the MCU. It was just too much for me. The movies weren't the quality that I really wanted them to be. For me. Yeah. Um, and, like, I was dreading watching WandaVision, and that didn't bring me back in. Mm-hmm. But by the end of Falcon Winter Soldier, I was really into that show and that story. Yep. Which I wasn't at first, mm-hmm. but it did hook me. I get you. And it's something I didn't really expect to happen. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So, with everything it does in the story it tells. And the themes it hits, mm-hmm. like wh- I'm trying to think of where I want to put it. Um, it's definitely in the top half, right? Yeah. Like I'm not looking at F, E, or D, leaper, and anyway. French leaper. I mean, I feel like it would have been easy to take the easy route and not cover those difficult subjects mm-hmm. and just make it all hype all the time. Yeah. Sure. And a lot of people probably would have liked that better. Yeah. But I appreciate that it didn't do that. Me too. I like what it did with Bucky as well. Like, you know, I mean, he doesn't have the presence that he had in uh, Winter Soldier, the movie, mm-hmm. because that's the fucking point. <laughs> you know, the Winter yeah. Soldier is a killing machine. How do you go from being a killing machine to being someone that someone looks at you and says thank you for saving us i think it did it very well so i'm a high b low a i think no calvin is at an a within his list sure calvin is at an a um hmm i'm trying to think because like falcon winter soldier i love i love the story it tells and i love the themes they hit because rick you're right they easily could have told pretty much the same story 
and avoid some topics, but they decided to touch on those. And I, I like that they chose to. Um, I also like that they chose, like, the characters they chose to put in there, like you say about Zemo, and, like, it was so good to be able to have him in there playing yeah. the role that he played there. And I like that a lot. Um, you know, it, in some ways, I kind of feel like it's a superhero version of Lovecraft Country. Yeah. I feel like maybe it belongs in the same tier. Hmm. I don't know where Lovecraft is. B. Is in B. Um, I mean, trying to, too, like, I'm trying to look at, like, some of the other shows that are here. I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier, like, I think as a whole, I enjoyed it more than a lot of the shows in B. It might be up there with some of the A. Like, Daredevil, you know, like, I like that one a lot. Hunter Hunter. Like, I was always looking forward to watching it. I was so excited to see what the finale was going to bring. Um, I think I might enjoy it more than, like, Arrow and Barry and, you know, some of those kind of shows. So I, I think I'd put it at A. Like, I get what they were going for with the Flag Smashers and trying to make them sympathetic and, like, trying to get Sam on board with mm-hmm. their stuff. But I feel like they didn't show us enough of the world and the people suffering in it sure. to justify their position. I think sure. that's fair. Like, I, I feel like you. if we had seen more of that, maybe it would have worked more. Yeah, but we, because we, we they didn't, told, it felt a little yeah. forced. Sure. Um, we're, we're told of what's going on. You don't get to see mm-hmm. the, the repercussions of what have happened from the, from the events of MCU as well. Yeah. So I think that's its biggest flaw for me. Okay. I uh, definitely see that. There's another thing that I had um, with one of the characters where I was kind of like, I don't know where we get from here to here kind of thing mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. that I was curious on. And that might be a thing that they're seeding for later that we dive into more, maybe. Uh, or maybe not. Like I said, that might have also been something. I, kn- I know there's been something where it's like, well, there's a there's a little bit of stuff kind of here in like Black Widow. If, you know, like Black Widow yeah. should have been out already. If I know what you're talking and about. Then, well, I don't yeah. know what, what the reasoning is, but I know that there is some stuff like, well, Black Widow yeah. should have came out already. This might not into mm-hmm. this or that, you know? But I don't know what those necessarily are connected to. Um, I, I can see you, B being reasonable for yeah. me as well. I think it's an above-average show. Me too. Right? And like, I'll I don't tell you think this too. Like, a lot of the seasons that we've watched that have been heavily affected by COVID, this one was as well, and sure. you don't feel it. I don't feel opinion. that it was. Like, they had to drop some stuff apparently, but... No. You know, like, I don't feel it. So sure. I'm I mean, about good with that, maybe yeah. some of the stuff they dropped or some of the things we have mm-hmm. issues with, but we don't know. Yeah. But it didn't feel like the, that was the issues they mm-hmm. had, you know? So, sure. I'll go, I can go with B. Yeah. I'll um, go B. That's Calvin had A. Up. I'm going with high B's. B. High B. All right. High B. I mean, we can say high B, but yeah. really just, is it low good, high good, or great? <laughs> I'm going to give me another water while you guys discuss the flash mm. the flash uh ab was t- 73% for falcon the winter soldier okay the flash <sighs> man this is also like one of the like there was arrow and then there was the flash you know for for cw superhero shows and i enjoyed i've enjoyed both they both have had their ups and downs with seasons with characters Absolutely. with different things I mean, The Flash has the same problem as Supernatural, where it's been around for a while. It has some high highs for me, like season one, season two, incredibly high highs, and then later seasons, you know, it still has heart, but it sometimes doesn't have brevity. It is too long. It does not need to be 22 season episodes, but I feel that way about all of these shows. Sure. Almost all of these shows. What show have you watched that, like, I think it benefits from having 23 episodes? I mean, (laughs) you know? No, I mean, I agree with you. Like, one of my favorite things that happened in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was that when they did the pods Mm -hmm. of those, they still had their 20-some episode season, Yeah. but they almost separated them into smaller segments and seasons mm-hmm. where like you're not treading a lot of water you don't yeah. have a whole lot of fillery kind of stuff and you're you're telling the stories you want to tell but also connecting them so well um that's why also like supergirl one of my favorite seasons of that was in season four yeah which is crazy because season four is almost always the cw like this is the worst season of mm-hmm. people don't like season four of arrow people sure. don't like season four of flash but season four of supergirl was my favorite season that i think they had at all mm-hmm. and that was because they did that kind of category, you yeah. know, that, that potting of it. And uh, Flash hasn't really done that. I think it could benefit from that. Mm-hmm. The closest it got was last season, which I thought we were on a good track. 
and but then, then crisis happened and, you had and then crisis this, happened it, and then we just yeah. lost it all pandemic all that kind of stuff whatever mm-hmm. i don't know what the reasons are and stuff but i mean for me i mean even throughout the whole season the whole series the whole series has had high highs mm. um it's just had some not like nece- for me not necessarily bad stuff just like okay serviceable plot to get us from point a to point b which sure. is season beginning season end um so for that despite the high highs of season one and two which i recommend i mean i think you can watch season one and just enjoy that and have a good time and not even worry about going past it you know because it's so good but i mean mean, we've introduced so much too i mean i love gorilla grot in this universe and i love uh leonard snart so much you know sure so High highs, Tom Cavanaugh, his motherfucker, he's so good. He's really good. If you're gonna say motherfucking G again, motherfucking G. Hey, I, I, I reserve everyone that can't to certain be a, people. You gotta use some other letters, okay? No, I'm not saying D. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean one of the things you say kind of, I think hits it. Like a lot of what Flash does is serviceable, right? It keeps it yeah. enough where like it's not where it's like my least favorite stuff, but it's also not always my most favorite thing either. So. Um, I kind of talked about it a little bit last time when I was talking about Supergirl and stuff too and moving it down to, uh, mm-hmm. when I put it at D, I think. Yeah. I think Flash I'd probably put around C. Me too. Where, like, I don't think I enjoy it as much as I enjoyed Arrow as a whole. No. But I think I liked it more than I did yeah. Black Lightning or Supergirl or mm-hmm. Batwoman or any of that, you know? So. Yeah. Um, I will say, too, one of its strengths is its theme song. Sure. Like I think that it's the music Flash's as a whole. theme song, fit for the Flash, the character, might be one of the better. I'm not saying like I love that song so much. I just think that it's made for this character so well that I'll never not think of this song when I think of the Flash. We watched the Snyder Cut. They had a fantastic, uh, fantastic Flash music and Flash stuff, and I was like, this would be better with that song, <laughs> you know. So I just want a special shout out Blake Neely's theme for the Flash it is so good. Uh, but that being said, I am extremely comfortable putting it in C. I think C is fine for me. Yeah. Uh, voting wise, we had sixty percent voted for C. So twenty one percent. Do you remember the Flash theme song? A B. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. You know. Flash. Ah. ah. All right. Calvin so has nothing to say for Flash, right? He no, you or Calvin have not been in the Flash. What we got next under the? Uh, I don't know. The Handsmaid's Tale. Oh, is that in there? Yeah. Did anyone? I don't. Think... None of us have okay. watched that. None of us have watched that, so we can't. Too early to call. Getting rid of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rid of that one. We right. snapped that out of existence. Next one is The Haunting of Bly Manor. Oh, man. Or I can't speak to this. You'd prefer to start with Hill House. They're both right there. Well, I can kind of talk about both, I guess, here. Do so, it, Aaron. Now, you guys never watched either one of these, right? Uh, Even I did yet? not. No. Um, it was definitely something like, I, I, I love watching some scary stuff, uh, especially with Melanie. I never get to watch horror movies. I love horror movies and all kind of stuff. Um, and watching stuff with Melanie is, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's annoying. And I understand, too, because people in the comments are also like, oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. But other times they're like, tell her to it, shut it, up. It definitely you know? it's was like, like <laughs> I get there you. was, like, people like, I love watching this Melanie, and people being like, I hate this. Yeah, like, tell her to shut up. You're ghosts, ruining Jesus. the show. And this, you know? So I, I get you there. I, I, that's what I have to live with. That's why I don't get to watch horror movies. And as I'm sitting at my computer yeah. all alone, headphones on, she didn't get to see anything. The thing that I always made sure to tell people that were like, why is she faking this? I was like, that's not fake. No, that's not real. That's her for any yeah. horror movies and anything. We, I, 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 I try well, during Halloween and stuff all the watch time. Watch our Haunted House um, vlog that yeah. we did. Oh, yeah. She freaked out doing the whole thing. <laughs> um, with that said, though, going into um, the haunting uh, shows, what I expected it to be isn't exactly what it turned out to be. Like, there are some scares and there are some jump scares, but especially the first season um, touched on some very different themes like each character is kind of suffering from different like whether it's drug addictions or uh depression or you know whatever and like that's a theme throughout the 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 show on those characters and it's also implemented within the story and stuff really well um and also some of the cinematography in uh especially the first the haunting of hill house was very good um there's one episode where they just did this 
like Eric and I love one shots. We talk about the one shots in like uh, Daredevil and stuff that they did for the hallway scenes. There's not action scenes necessarily in this, but Haunting of Hill House, Hill House had an amazing one shot sequence that was done so well and also implemented like not jump scares, but definitely kept like the theme and the feel that they wanted the to tension. have for it. Yeah, the tension was there and stuff. And it was done so well to where like. I, it's so hard to explain, and I don't want to ruin it either because it's just a good, it's a good moment, and I loved it so much. Um, with the two of them, I think that I enjoyed Hill House more than I enjoyed Bly Manor, even though Bly Manor also had a fun story and some good characters and stuff like that. It it lost some of the elements I feel of like the scariness that Hill House did so well with its themes and its jump scares. Okay. Right, whereas Blind Manor just it had a really good story, but the haunting aspect wasn't quite there, and it turned into a little bit more of just like here's the themes and the story we want to tell around a ghost story. You know what I mean? So, um, I think Haunting of Blind Manor I would probably put at like a maybe like a high C, okay. but I'd probably put Haunting of Hill House at an A. All right. Ooh, interesting. Now, um, do you have any idea where Melanie would put these? Oh, man, I don't know. I, I, With the scariness and stuff of it all, I know that she wasn't a big fan of all that, of course. But talking about some of the stuff they did and some of the stories and stuff like that, too, like I know that she did enjoy it. I think she would definitely say that they're probably above average. I think she could probably, she'd probably put them – if she didn't go A, I could see her going as high as B. Uh, okay. with them but I think that those are I think they're fair like the Bly Manor is definitely serviceable as like a fun little ghost story show to kind of watch and it has the, the it has a little bit of the feels the tension isn't quite as good as what Hill House was and I think Hill House nails the themes better the story better and jump scares that they have throughout really well alright so um, we had um, A B for uh, Bly Manor, and it looks like Hill House is still going on for the voting. It's not got too long on it, so I'll give it a second. But right now, it's looking like A B is going to be the lead of that as well. Okay, good stuff. Calvin had nothing to say for that. Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> Next one is the legend. Of Korra. Ooh. Oh, damn. I, my mind went to Legend of the Hidden Temple. I don't know why. Legend. I went to Legend <laughs> of Zelda, baby. No, the Legend of Korra. Mm-hmm. So we have Avatar The Last Airbender up at S. Which I've seen and agree mm-hmm. with that ranking. I've not yeah. seen The Legend of Korra. Yes. So this I, would be me, Aaron, and Calvin. I, I enjoyed Avatar The Last Airbender oh. a lot. I also enjoyed Korra. Korra is a, it was a fun show. It's in the same universe, yeah. and I enjoy that as well. I do think Avatar The Last Airbender is ahead of Korra for me. Um, I think there's just some things, and I think part of that might also be due to um, some of the issues the show had was the people creating it had yep. no idea how long they were making their show mm-hmm. go for. Sometimes they're like, okay, this is your last season. They're like, you know what? Do another one. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what? Do another one. So the, the issue is like where Avatar The Last Airbender is a – three season journey for these characters telling the story they want to tell yeah the legend of Korra is like each season there's a story there's a story if you okay. stopped on any of those seasons you don't have to watch more it kind of just feels like there's where it ends and while that is good I think it also kind of loses what I loved about Avatar the Last Airbender sure so I will agree with you that I think overall the last Airbender is a better show but I think Korra does a lot of things better than Avatar Last Airbender, i.e. its villains. I mean, granted, Zuko is a fantastic villain, but Korra had some amazing villains. Also, its animation was was out of this world. No, I agree. I agree the animation. I loved its animation. That that's like the animation does not bring it down at all. I like its character designs. Um, Nor does the villains of it or anything. It's it's more so just the the, the overall flow of the whole mm-hmm. series is just, it loses a little bit of it because yep. it, it's each one is a, uh, 
it's like a restart. Like if you yep. watch any season Agreed. at any point, I don't feel like you're necessarily losing or missing out. Yep. You're just enjoying a fun season or yep. whatever. So I slightly like its setting less than Avatar. Okay. You know, the modernization is a little something that I don't love. I do like though that you're seeing progression Me too. from here's what you saw in yep. Avatar Last Airbender. If you skip skipped ahead how many years Here's where you're at next, you know, yeah. and I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. You're seeing like, and it makes sense. Technology that the advent progress, of bending, and how it, yeah. it has improved because of things we saw in Avatar: Last Airbender makes a lot of sense. Um, I mean, its music is totally great. Mm -hmm. I personally don't like Korra as much as Aang, but that's only because I mean, Aang is. Korra might be a better character than Aang, but I just don't like Korra as much as Aang. I mean, she's flawed. She's heavily flawed. She's very aggressive. She's a teenager. And as much as I think like that's well-written sometimes, I just didn't enjoy it as much. Um, especially because, you know, I don't really... I don't really get too much on, like, you know, shipping characters with each other and stuff like that. So I'm not saying that that was a focus of the show, but they certainly focused on it far more than... An avatar. Bridgerton Eric. Oh no, that's different. None of those characters looked as good as the Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Duke's great. Um but I really liked uh I really liked a lot of the lore that it presented. Uh I loved those the beginning episodes. There was two beginnings part one and beginnings part two. Oh yeah, sure. I loved that. Those are great. I love that as well. Like those um, are some fun stories. But I have to say, like some of the best moments for that show or one of the best moments has in my head is when it referenced the other show. <laughs> so like some of the best moments are because yeah. of what occurs in the first one kind of thing, uh -huh. or like making references to characters you knew from the first one rather yeah. than relying on its own. Right. Those yeah. moments wouldn't be as much if you only watch legend of Korra. It has my favorite first one minute of any show we've ever watched. Favorite first one yep. minute because we watched, you know, avatar started out with the four benders doing their moves sure. and sure. we're watching it we're like, wait a minute. <gasps> We know this person. Oh, oh, oh. And then it comes in with, you know, what's sure. his name? Tenzin's voice actor. Oh, JK? JK Simmons coming in and giving you, like, that monologue. Yeah. I've never been more excited <laughs> than in that first one minute. So, anyway, all that to say, I'll put a Korra under Avatar, but it's how far under do I go? Because there were some things that I liked. I really actively disliked a huge part of season four because i thought it was just ridiculous and it has to do with a titanic thing aaron oh okay yeah, yeah. sure <laughs> like i actively disliked that um i like the characters i disliked some stuff i'm at a b you're at a b for it i think okay um maybe I an mean, a i don't know i mean the, I mean, the, the animation is so fucking good. The show, like I said, what I, everything I liked about it, I liked yeah. a lot. The thing for me that I felt like the worst part was just the how it felt so individual for each of the seasons. Yeah. Um, I love Avatar Last Airbender having this, like, it's like a journey, you know? It's an adventure mm -hmm. of these characters, and they just flow from one season to the next. And you're like, oh, I just want to see what the next story is going to be. Sadly, Korra couldn't do that because nickelodeon or w yeah. whatever it was was like yeah just do one more season and they're like all right let's write one more season like oh let's do one more season all right let's write another season but we've already planned this to stop now you know so yeah. i think i think had they been able to make a story how they wanted to and make them flow from one to the next i'd have loved it just as much as i did avatar um and because the villains are so much better yeah. than what they have in avatar last airbender because of uh i mean the characters and stuff are good too i, I mean I, mm -hmm. I don't hate Korra or nothing like that. I think no. that she's a good good avatar who's learning. I was I from a, so frustrated with her, but that's the mark of a good character. No, can, yeah. It's like, come on, feeling. just uh, yeah. So, I think I'd probably put Korra for me at um, uh, say, I think I'd probably put it an A. I don't think it's an S tier show. I think because of mm. behind the scenes issues they had, but I think it's still good. I think it's up there for me. You know why I might change to an A? Because I was saying B, maybe A. I'm not sure. I loved... I, I love Amon so much. No. Going more into Amon, I didn't love as much, but this the I loved Amon so much that I might be convinced to go to what no, I love that Just for that motherfucker Zaheer by himself. was great, too. The Zaheer things they did great. in uh, the third season yeah. was, was just so cool. And Korra, the progression, right? Yeah. The thing we're talking about with like the modernization, mm -hmm. while that might not be as great, 
the yeah. progression they go with bending and stuff too of like mm-hmm. well when you start learning that bending is this way in avatar if you learn more and do more what could you progress to and learn and figure out later on and yeah. there's some really cool stuff they do there so hmm. i would yeah. say a for me the voice acting also was top notch all was. around. I mean, Calvin didn't, didn't um, have makeup. Didn't watch Cora? No, he, he did. He did. Just, we didn't get on the it list. Was, it Damn. was missed. I tried to message him real quick. Calvin, real quick, tell us. But he's he's having a family emergency right now, so it's not that big also, of a deal. Also, if I recall, Steve Bloom, right? Come on. So, there you go. All right. right. <laughs> I'm on board. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, overall, uh, better villains that remain villains, I should say. Because Zuko is a different class of I character. I like Azula. Azula, I do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I. We're not talking about Avatar right now. I, I don't want to get people upset. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know what? Aaron has convinced me because I was wavering between B and A just because there are some things in Korra I I don't enjoy. I have watched Avatar: The Last Airbender. I'm not kidding. Six, seven times. Oh yeah, I've watched Korra twice. You know, and I will continue to keep watching Avatar: The Last Airbender much more. Um, though I will sometimes. Like, you know, type in, I'm going to watch this scene from Korra. Also, Zahira just flies really good, so I like that. So, hey. Sure. I guess. Okay. Next on the list is The Mandalorian. <gasps> boom, boom. Wait, did I do the thing? Legend of Korra, A, B. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting. Sorry. That was bum, a, it won A, B, 64%. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Uh, again, I'll I go with the. Huh? I have a lot of bias, but I have good reasons why I love this show. Uh, okay. I was say, we can go through all that. I was going to say, all right, S, move on. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. What, what do we got to talk about with the with The thing I love about the show the most is, and this might surprise people, it's production value. It feels like a movie. It does? And, yeah, Falcon the Winter Soldier did too. Yeah. But Mandalorian, holy shit. I mean, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, they just, they're in New York. I get it. Yeah. Like, they're on, they are there on you know these planets like i just believe it sure <laughs> okay. yeah. I, I mean he's always going to like low populated areas but it makes sense yeah he's on the he's in the the, the range he's the on the run field. i will you know? s- i will say like we t- i was talking about star wars resistance and how like overall i feel like it doesn't add a lot to star wars yep i feel the opposite about mandalorian because uh-huh. like sure like while you're not you're not riding the coattails of skywalkers and all this other stuff you are still going and you're seeing more parts of the galaxy. And that was one thing yeah. that Resistance didn't really do. Like, they kind of stuck to, like, here's where you kind of are. And they didn't really branch out too far. Mandalorian is different, mm-hmm. going all over the place. Mm-hmm. You're meeting new characters. You're you seeing do. new creatures. You're, yeah. And then you're also, like, sometimes you see familiar faces. Sure. You know? And I, I'm glad to, like, be able to add more to the lore of Star Wars as a whole. Agreed. And so far, Mandalorian has done great with a character who I can't see his face, but I feel when he's sad and I feel when he's happy and it's so good. You but know? And who it, starts it means, off barely talking. Exactly. It and it means so much when you do see yeah. it, you know? When you see uh, him just do, I will uh, cry Like right a head now, tilt, you know? Oh, man. See, that's the only problem for me is how they did the reveal. Yeah? I hated that scene. Hmm. But everything else, I absolutely love. Wait. I will say that this show gets an easy ass for me there are a bunch of reasons but one of the highest reasons is a weird reason they saved the reveal of baby yoda from all of its marketing they didn't have any merch they lost millions and millions and millions of dollars because they respected the fans to be like they're gonna fucking love this (laughs) you know like it's the worst marketing thing they could have done in terms of making money and I know people, you know, like to say, "Oh, Disney, they're a money machine." This is what they did, and I respect that so much. That is a reason I put it at S. <laughs> the the other thing I think that I would put it an S for is that there are lots of people that I've heard where they're like, "Oh, original trilogy is where it's at." I don't like the prequels, yeah. or I don't like the new stuff, or I don't. I haven't heard anyone be like, "Man, Man- Mandalorian's uh-huh. trash." I've never heard that. Yeah. You know, some people who hated the new sequel stuff, sure, still love Mandalorian, and they're like, you know what, I give up on Star Wars, and like, but but I'm gonna mm-hmm. watch Mandalorian, <laughs> you know, like, and yeah. that's crazy for there to be a show like that where people are like, you know what, I'm gonna watch this stuff. Yeah, I missed something about what you said. That what you hate the reveal in like the first episode? No, I'm assuming you're talking about a different reveal. About the first time you see a face, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. In the last episode of season one or whatever or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, whenever he's using the computer. Oh, that's oh, oh okay. That's, that, that's season two. Yeah, that's not even. The I reveal. get what you mean. We had a whole conversation. You go see about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
No, the one not not the one you're talking about with IG eleven or whatever. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm good now. Anyway, um also its music is so not Star Wars, but is. Does that make sense? Like no one's looking at me. Sorry, Sorry chat's there's, going there's crazy. There's some kind of weird bot thing happening in <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know what's going on. What's happening? <laughs> So uh, I think the mods will start doing some stuff here. We can continue going on. But no, chat just went crazy. And there was like, bots, just man. bots just showed up out of nowhere attacking. <laughs> okay. Well, so. well, our mods will take care of that. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, the Jedi try to attack the Mandalore way, and they're not gonna, we're not going to let them, okay? Fucking clankers. <laughs> Aha, <laughs> some sudden. Anyway, so let's go back to it. Uh, another thing I absolutely love is – Mandalorian's music, as opposed to Kevin Kiner's in the first couple seasons of the Clone Wars, the it's different, so but it's become a Star Wars song. You Absolutely, know? and it's so hummable. It is, you know. Oh man, I, no, I, I love that the show's not afraid to take it slow. Yeah, like mm -hmm. it has a larger, broader story. Yeah, but I, I love that it just takes the time to have adventures in the universe uh -huh. to let you experience these characters and what they're going to do in these different situations yep sure and, and that's th it doesn't rush things any it, it, i feel like it goes a really good pace sure and while some people i have heard some people are like man there's not a whole lot happening but that's like that's you're, you gotta go with the journey but they're on the frontier yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that, i guess that's the one thing like i yeah. haven't heard anyone say like they hate the mandalorian but mm -hmm. i have heard people say like i wish it was a little faster it's too slow sure you know that's, I, I, that's the only argument i've heard against i get you i think that's its strength I've, I mean, I have heard people say, like, well, season two relied far too much on cameos. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I mean, I completely disagree. I mean, those cameos, those characters in there, what did it mean to uh, to the Mandalorian and to Baby Yoda? It changed everything. And, and how does it integral. progress that character, yeah. you know? And it's important exactly. to that character. And it, the, the whole thing, like, it doesn't work without the groundwork they did on the first season Absolutely for those not. characters to begin with, you know? Sure. So I'll fight that opinion to the day I die. Yeah. Uh, easy S for me. I say S, no problem for me. Calvin said, Mandalorian S super ba biased, he said. Yeah. <laughs> he made the S into an ooper. Yeah. <laughs> super biased. Hmm. What do you think, Rick? I think it's between an S and an A. I really love the, the puppeteering work on it. I love... That story about what's the director's name? I always forget his name. For what? The guy that played the, Ron the client in the first couple episodes. What's his name? The old guy. Oh, I'm um, Werner. Werner. Uh, Hans... The bounty hunting is a complicated Werner? profession. Werner. Werner. Werner Herzog. Yeah. Werner. Werner Herzog. Okay. So they're like they're making that that show, and they have all this new technology, and you know the they're in the uh, the the George Lucas's garage per se. Yeah. And they're like, well, we think we're, I mean, we have the puppet, but we think we're going to do most with CGI. And he said, use the puppet, you cowards. <laughs> 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 and they're, and John Favreau's like, okay. And they did, and it was the best thing they could do. He called them cowards. I love it. It's great. It's great. So All S. Right. So I'm going to go with S on that then? This is the way. I don't know where Rick vote I mean, goes, but. Uh, yeah, my vote doesn't matter. It still goes in S. But. <laughs> The only Star Wars thing up there as an S. It is. And I'm, I feel fine. I think I would give it an A. Gotcha. But it would be a high A. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, but I mean, an S. the thing, too, is, like, I've enjoyed all of Mandalorian, where, like, I can agree, like, Clone Wars, I love Clone Wars, and I love Rebels, but Clone Wars, I can agree, has, like, some episodes that I'm like, man. Yeah. And, like, I'm sitting, because I've been going through those, and I'm watching them with the kids mm -hmm. and stuff, and I'm like, man, I hope they're enjoying this one, you know? Yeah. yeah. This one's very political. <laughs> you know? I don't know if they're going to enjoy it. I wish I had a droid episode for them or something. Dude, um, just an episode of him just like beating a bunch of Jawas up. That was so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> That's great. Like and I really enjoyed they, episode nine. Right. I like the Mandalorian more than I liked episode nine. They touch by far more. They touch on like some like like that was a train scene, you know? Mm -hmm. Like he's yeah. jumping on a train and beating, yeah. and then and they keep doing like these old west, mm -hmm. but in Star Wars, and it's so good. I well, love and it. It just yeah. it adds a little bit to the universe, like all the does. the sand people using hand yeah. signs. Yeah. Like, there's just, it's fun. I know that after season two had aired, we there was some, like, weirdness with uh, Gina Carano and all that stuff. But I also, I really loved her character in the show. I thought, like, this Rebel Shock Trooper from Alderaan was such a cool story. Grief Karga, I really, really enjoyed Grief and Carl Weathers, like, 
acting <laughs> in Star Wars fit. Sure. You know? Yeah, I, I feel similar to, like, Carlo and Gina. Um, I think Bill Burr is higher. Higher. For me. Oh, yeah, I like yeah, Bill Burr oh, yeah, a lot. He's, oh, man, those scenes are good. Than either of those two? Mm-hmm. Um, I will Bilber say, voting-wise, we had 65% vote S, 31% vote AB. I do want to figure out who the three people were who voted F so we can ban them, though. Also, Frog Mom, <laughs> really compelling. Yeah. Frog Lady was the that was frog the name. Yeah. Frog Tits. <laughs> who, who Wasn't that a thing? Titties. Didn't we have Frog Titties? <laughs> it was our hidden clue at one yeah. point, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, my just, God. You know, a, a character you can't understand, but you 100% relate to. And the cutest kid. The cutest thing in this show is eating her children. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Where are we going to next? Next is It's on Fire. It's on Fire. The Promised Neverland. Mm. Whew. It's a well, hell of a season. We've seen season one of The Promised Neverland. Um, there is a second season out. There is. I hear there's a second it's season right? it's out. Yeah. I think it's out. Yeah. Um, um, man, like child characters, super sure. compelling story, invested a hundred percent of the time, mm-hmm. fearful every single episode. That OP is so good, that and I love really the good. way that it handles the camera Got as well. Da, 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 da. Sure. Like, like na, the way the na, camera na, moves na, 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 na. felt so much different from the rest of the anime that we watched, but yeah. it really built to the tension. I just love seeing those fucking kids with. Defiant looks in their faces. I love that, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I enjoy the character. I enjoy like kind of figuring out what this world is that we're in, and them learning what's going on, and being on that journey with them. Mm-hmm. Um, I love like how easy it is to climb walls in that universe. What a world! <laughs> like, I remember yeah. Eric. Hey, guys, we, we know. We know about that. What? You what? <laughs> I was like, guys, we know. We, we've heard. <laughs> Everybody, don't watch it next season. <laughs> yeah, we, um, we haven't pushed it. The uh, you know, there's there's just so many like fun things with the show, and like mm-hmm. there, it, when you first start, it's great too because you're like, oh, what is this? This is okay, interesting, yeah. okay. What the? What is this? It has an element of the mystery box to it. It does yeah. a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. It's not as heavy as some other shows, mm-hmm. but it's still fun. I like it yeah. a lot. Um, that fucking wall run, man. That's what I was. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. That goddamn wall did, run. Did you miss that? No, no, no. Like, I just real in the chat when no, I said just, that. No, I'm just thinking about it. I love how easy I said. I love how easy it is to climb walls in this universe. A fucking wall run, like. <laughs> but I still loved it. <laughs> um, and it also inspired a, a fun intro. We, I mean, we not inspired. We we made our own intro of that, which that was, was a lot a of fun. fun you know, and I enjoyed yeah. that. So the intro and the music is so good mm-hmm. for that. Um, I don't think I'd go as high as S for it though. No. Mm-mm. Um, but I can. I, I'm somewhere in between A and B right now. For for that, you know, um, and that's all solely based on the first season. I think I would go with. I don't know. May I go with B? For me. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, if I hadn't seen the last season of Game of Thrones, I would have put that higher. Sure. But I did. <laughs> so I did. So I have to count that. <laughs> I had to count it. Yeah. Um, Same thing with Dexter. If 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 you watch like some of Dexter, yeah. and you don't watch some of the later seasons, you might vote that higher too. Mm-hmm. You know. So. Yeah. So, I don't know. What are you thinking, Rick? Calvin put it A. It's on fire, he it, said. It is on fire. Like, it's tough for me to put things in S that I don't know the, the full story on. Yeah. And we, it felt like we were just barely getting started yeah. with the story. Mm-hmm. But the story that it did tell was absolutely amazing. Agreed. Like, I love every single character in that show. I love the story. I love the world. I love the animation and the camera work, and I love the music. I don't think I can find a fault with it. But I think I put it in an A. Yeah. A sounds good. Where were you at? Aaron? I said B. You said B? So I guess A is what where it's going. What did chat say? Uh, chat's vote put it in the A to B category, mm. 39%. Hmm. Because I can only put five options. Yeah, but twenty three percent said F, and fifteen percent said S. Sure. <laughs> so it's it's so it's, it's 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 all over the place. I can feel the anime bias pulling me towards S, towards S. But I, but I don't think it's quite there. Okay. I was like, I don't know if it's that is that high, Rick. Is it? I mean, 
I was so invested in that show. I just those little kids looking in defiance is so great. I I I, I often. I, I cried know. because I was sad. I cried because I was proud. Yeah. Fire. God. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so we're going we're going A on that then, right? I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. All right. Uh, and we said chat already. Yeah. Chat. We had 39 percent for A and B. All right, time to start digging up those holes. Digging uh, up them uh, holes. We're holes. Digging because the Punisher. <coughs> has made an appearance. Punisher. Digging up them holes. Wow. Digging up them holes. You, when it comes to the Netflix Marvel digging shows, holes, I think my top two are Daredevil and Punisher. Yep. Comparing all the other ones, like all mm -hmm. the other ones just fall below it. Defenders, yep. Jessica Jones, all that. Um, Agreed. Got to make room, I, aren't I? I really like um, Bernthal, right? John Bernthal. John Bernthal. Um, I really like him as Punisher. He does a really good job with it. It's a lot of fun. Um, and the story there is really good too. Like, mm -hmm. there's, I don't really have any negatives for it. It doesn't. I don't think it pushes high enough into an S for no. me. But I think it does everything it does really well. The Get out of my way, Madani. Yeah, like there's some good story there. Like yeah. it pulled in a character that was introduced in another show. Yeah. And then just continued his story and introduced and made it sure, did. like uh, all his backstory is there. His mm -hmm. current, like it was just done well. Like and the I, way they I did enjoyed Jigsaw. it. Um, I think I would just probably put it solid A right next to Daredevil, and I think yeah. both of those just did Netflix Marvel well, yep. and the other ones just didn't do them as well. I would throw it at A. Calvin said A because John Berthaw. <laughs> really? <laughs> he did. Interesting. I just love when he was just screaming and shooting a gun. Oh! <laughs> And it had a fantastic trailer. Metallica. Oh, what a great trailer that was. And we created our own music from we that. We did. We somehow combined Punisher and Holes together. I don't know how we it got did, that. It just <laughs> worked. We have a whole damn shirt about it. We do. So, yep. uh, yeah. No, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, mm -hmm. Punisher, I'm, I would say A. Mm. Calvin said A. You said A. A. Let's go A. A. Man, we uh, better not put any more in A. We were running out of room. Don't. We need to put some more in oh, you B can. and C. You can uh, tighten that up. Chat voted A and B. A and B. All right. What's next on the the Umbrella Academy? Is it mm. the Umbrella Academy? Yeah, yeah it is. Hmm. Look at the logo, Aaron. Fucking idiot. It's right there. Right there. Ooh, man. Um, I love the way this show would do its title in the show. It was always clever. It was always, <laughs> it was different. always clever. It was somewhere else every time, right? Yeah, it was always clever. Um, I feel like I liked season two a lot better than I liked season one. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember which one I liked better because there, there was definitely, like, I know I liked one season better than the other. I'm trying to remember which way it was. I'm trying to think of all the story events and what happened. Uh, the big problem with season one was just how they dealt with Vanya. Didn't two, though, kind of, like, revert back to some of the same? Like, didn't we deal with this stuff before in season one? We're doing back to it? It did. But I guess it didn't tread water as long, right? Yeah. I just like the, um, the, what do you say, like flavor of season two? Sure. Yeah. It just had a much different feeling to it than the first one did. I, I think the show gets a lot of comparisons to Doom Patrol. Okay. In that the characters develop and don't at the same time. Sure. You know? Mm hmm. Like, it feels like we revert back to a status quo, but things have happened. That's true. Yeah. No, we do. Like I do, I, I feel like one of the things like I enjoyed, I enjoyed season one and season two both. Yeah. But I do feel like there's definitely, like I said, there's that little bit of treading of water. It's like, yeah. well, the events of this don't necessarily matter, and now we're back to this yeah. point, and it, it kind of goes with what you were saying too, Rick, about arguing, right? Like, uh, what show was it where you're like, ah, we just had Titans. too much of that, right? Oh, no, no, the other one. You're right. like, we had too much of this because of <laughs> Titans or Doom yeah. Patrol or whatever. Yeah. Like Umbrella Academy, like kind of has it where like, oh, it's a, they're not a team, but hopefully they'll come together to be a team. Yeah. And you get through season one, and you get to season two, it's like, well, they're not a team, but hopefully they'll become a team. You know, like. See the thing that's frustrating, not frustrating, like Luthor's Luther's decision making is meant to be frustrating, but you still like, you son of a bitch, what are you doing? 
but it's supposed to do that to you, you yeah. know? But I, I sometimes I go, like, I'm not enjoying this now. Well, but then number five is so good. And it's a good indication that you're invested because exactly. you care like, about how I, he acts. I legitimately am highly anticipating what happens next. With, sure. the, season of, with the finale of season two, I'm yeah. like, ooh, okay, what happens next? Truly. Um, this would probably, for me, be a B right now. And I feel like part of the reason season I like season two more was because they were separate more. And we got each of them individually. Sure. And I like them all individually. It's just when they come together, they rub up against each other and it creates that friction that I'm yeah. just not a big fan of. Sure. But the end of season two, remember that one scene, though, in the first episode of season two, though, too? Oh, well, yeah. It's like, that was really cool, too. Like, when we get True. to see them work together, I like it. But That was cool, but also we, it just... We don't it always get to see them work together, though, you know? And that's it almost the felt like a promise of something that should have happened and didn't. The problem is that we don't get to see that. Yeah. And hopefully yeah. in season three, maybe we can, and it would be a lot of fun to see that. So because of that, while I still enjoy it, I think it treads water too much of the same kind of stuff. Yeah. And I want to move on and get these guys together. So Calvin I'll, say, oh, I'll say B. You say B? Calvin has it as C. C, uh, I hate looking at this list because I feel like it's not as good as Doom Patrol. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like it's average either. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's an A. No, I don't think it's an A. I think I, mean, I could go B. I also, though, like, if Calvin says C2, I'm not necessarily against it being at the C category. Yeah. Because, like, I also enjoyed it. I enjoyed The Flash, too. I enjoyed Supernatural, too. Mm -hmm. But there's some things I don't like and some things I do like about yeah. it, you know? Like, it's not that I don't like the show, but I think it might not be as high as some of the other stuff, you know? Yep. So I could also go C, maybe. I'm not uh, against C or B. And I mean, I, C actually, has some great you know stuff what? in it. There's some good stuff in C. I think C's a good spot. We need more stuff in C. That's the middle. I'm going C. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll go C as well. Yeah, I think I will also go C. All right. Voting-wise, 70% said A or B, while 21% said C. 6% said S. Okie dokie. The Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Okay, so, Aaron, you've seen some Walking Dead, though um, you, you didn't react to any Walking I, Dead. I don't think I've ever reacted on the channel for Walking Dead. No. Um, I have gotten... I've told you the last thing I remember. Mm -hmm. I want to say seasons, like, how many seasons are there now? It's like seven? Oh, my God. <laughs> how many seasons are... How many? Eight, right? <laughs> Eight? Uh, no, we're in season 10 or 11, aren't we? I don't know. Yeah, that's the problem. Ten. There are ten, <laughs> ten seasons. Ten seasons. I've gotten at least a five, yeah. right? Um, I, I think you're like in season eight. I think I'm gonna say seven. Now. I think seven. I got to the end of mm -hmm. seven. Gotcha. Um, I mean, this has the same thing as Supernatural, where you have the more you have, the more chances you have at high highs and low lows. The Walking Dead has, especially early on, some high highs, and then like let's say, let's just talk about like. Like, the way I feel about this pre this last season that we watched, granted, it has some COVID problems and stuff, but, like, two episodes out of, what, eight were Great. some of the best shit The Walking Dead's ever done. And the other ones were just, all right, that happened. okay, that happened, you know? So, like, this, this does this thing where it's just, like, the S-curve of this thing doesn't lend itself any favors, sure. you know? No, I get you there. There's just, it's... It's measuring out the good with the bad and stuff. And I do think, like, there's, you know, even the seasons I've seen, I'm like, ooh, I really like this season. Yeah. And then I'm like, ah, I didn't really like that season. And I'm like, ooh, I really like this season, though. And I'm like, well, I didn't really like that season, though. You know, like, and I've only seen a little over half of it. I haven't sure. even seen the rest of it. You know, um, The Walking Dead did what, this is going to be a great comparison, what Domino's did. Domino's realized that they sucked so much they had to change everything. And they did, and it was good after. It was. It was. Oh. That's true. Wait. Yeah. Domino's Pizza. Uh, okay, I was I, I was thinking of Domino's Squad. Nope. And I'm like, you're right. Ooh. They did, and then they they climbed the Citadel and they achieved it. They just had to change everything they did and work together. <laughs> you're right. It works well too. <laughs> but you're talking, about, and I'm like, wait, is he talking about pizza or Domino's? I wasn't sure yeah. which one. Like when people would say, "What's your favorite pizza?" I'm like, "Well, I'll tell you what it isn't. Domino's. It sucks." And then like corporate realized, man, we suck. You're this just, Eric Whitley guy just knows what he's talking Ohio about. Said, <laughs> and they changed everything. I feel like The Walking Dead had a period where, like, what, do you, what are we doing? And they got a new showrunner, and it really turned it around. They they took the story in a way See, that I'm like, ooh, I like this. I don't know when. I know we talked about Domino's before, and I don't know when you say they changed it. Yeah. I do remember, like, being at Rick's old place, 
and we would get Domino's, and I loved it. I had yeah. no problem with well, Domino's. I like ketchup on hot dogs. I'll tell you one thing though. I didn't have any problem with the old ones. You don't get. Well, either. you don't like bacon. What? But the box <laughs> at some point said like all new recipes. Yeah. All of, obviously, they had to change it. You they know what? themselves were like, man, we suck. You know what? I would even I would just put that in my boxes and be like, well, what? Oh, we can all agree you know, Napoli's is the worst. You know, we yeah. changed. We added a little bit more water. That's the new recipe. <laughs> like, that's it. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't want to derail wrong. this conversation, <laughs> but that's exactly how I felt about The Walking Dead. Uh, it is a. <coughs> I feel like it is a low B or high C for me. See, for me, I haven't seen all of it, so I don't have the gauge of the last like three, four seasons. Um, I w- I would say out of what I've seen, I'd probably put it at C, where it where it's kind of mm-hmm. in that middle, like it's a pack kind of thing, right? Like, it's, yeah. there's some good stuff I really like. First season, I really enjoyed. Sure, but it also the first season was what like eight episodes or six episodes or something. Like, it was really short, mm-hmm. and then later seasons got much longer, and I think that might have hurt them a little bit you know i mean yeah it, the walking dead to me is a victim of its own success if that makes sense it's just like man people really like us let's give them way 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 <laughs> more than they'll ever want like yeah, there's been off there's two old spinoffs i don't watch like yeah. even sometimes i'm like why are we watching this part sure you know but like well people like walking dead right there, we'll just give them more but there, it's like well yeah but you gotta give them the same quality for no more i also don't know how well like it connects with like what happens in comics or anything too, but sure. I do agree with what I've seen too. Where it's like, how long have they lived in this world, and they keep having zombies mm-hmm. sneak up and catch them? Well, you know, like I feel like if I lived in a world of zombies, for always, how long I'd be like, you know what, I'm sure. watching out for zombies. Yeah. I'm not gonna yell in the woods. I agree. You yeah, know? I, I mean, zombies are way less sneaky than like tigers or panthers. Sure. You know, yeah, sure. it, a tiger's people like live around s- those sneaking up on you and gonna get you and pounce. You I mean, know, just zombies the- like. The way the, the tone of The Walking Dead, it demands you to say, what if this were real? And if that's the case, and these guys have survived for 11 seasons or whatever it is, they should know not to do this. Uh, Carry yeah. a fucking spear. Quit holding your knife like this and putting out here, and, oh, my God, I got my elbow. How? You know? Like, it sounds some- like I would hate it. <laughs> You would like certain parts of it, but you I think know, it has some of the best deaths. part. I, I feel like the, some of the best days of The Walking Dead are behind it, though. And we'll look at Calvin's here too. Calvin put C only because the two episodes from this past season, or it would be a D. Mm-hmm. He's right. There are times where I'm like, it is that was so fucking good. There's one episode, Rick, that happened this season that you would love for so many reasons, but. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's a victim of its own success sometimes. M- kind of like Supernatural in that regard, in which case I just need to go middle of the road. Yeah, I would say C out yeah. of what I've seen. Mm-hmm. But I would go with more of what Eric and Calvin say too because they've seen more than I have. Yeah. All right, next one, which Calvin and I have seen and Eric has seen off camera. Voting-wise was D and E, 43% for Walking Dead. Gotcha. C at 37 <laughs> Kyle and I have seen Eric has seen off channel and Aaron has seen at least some of off channel The Witcher. Ooh. The Witcher. Okay. I have seen one episode. Oh, just one? Okay. W- one Jesus episode. Christ, really? <laughs> one. I watched one episode. It was <sighs> pretty good. The Witcher. So I'm a big fan of mm-hmm. the short story collections, which the show's based off from. I'm a big fan of the video games, yep. which has no relation to the show really, other mm-hmm. than the fact that it's the same characters in the same world. Um, I love Henry Cavill as the Witcher. And I didn't think I would. I, was, I personally didn't, but I don't know the source material as much. Yeah, I, I thought re- I'd be distracted that it's Superman. I was really worried seeing like the costume uh, test that they did. Yeah. I was like, man, I don't know. Yep. But he nails it. Yeah. 100% absolutely. I, I also think he nails Superman as well. Me too. Despite uh, he, that, And that's such high praise coming from you because yeah. you hate his movie. I do. <laughs> You hate Man of Steel. <laughs> I but do. he's so good as Superman. Now, I think that because I'm so familiar with the stories, um, that I do not I did not experience the problem that I think a lot of people will experience. Uh huh. And that I think it tells those stories in a very confusing manner, especially chronologically. Yes. Um I watched it by myself. Well, I mean I watched it with Jancy, I suppose, but there was I was kind of like loosely watching it, like not when you watch something at the reaction table, you're hyper focused. Mm-hmm. You're paying attention to every detail that you can. Mm-hmm. I kind of watched it like 
with Jancy, and then I had to watch it again. Just because I really enjoyed it, but I was like, I'm missing something. Because I got to a point where I'm like, oh, oh, okay, I get it now. But it did take me a second with my casual watching to understand exactly how this story was being told. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love the the character Yennefer. Uh, mm -hmm. um, me too. As far as, like, the short stories goes, I think they're maybe pulling some stuff from other books yeah. uh, that I'm not familiar with because – uh, a lot of her stuff I just wasn't as familiar with. But I like yeah. the way it was handled and the way she is in the show. Mm -hmm. um, I quite liked a lot of its choreography myself. There's one in particular. One in particular. That is amazing. Uh -huh. And I wish they were all like that. Me too. I don't understand why they're not. If they were all like that, yeah. the show would be way up there. Yes. Like, the choreography is not as consistent to how good-looking Henry Cavill is. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Because <laughs> damn that bass scene, Rick. Well... Oh. And then they, like, they show us that fight early, yeah. mm -hmm. and you, and then you're expecting it from them on. Yeah, and they I never hit it again. No, and it's a damn shame. Yeah, I'm really excited about a season two. Its song. It is a great song. Is a great song. <laughs> they it, they reference that in World of Warcraft. It really hits um, the Danny Lion character. Yeah, I feel like well, we haven't met a lot of my favorite characters from it. Mm -hmm. I feel like yet, and if we did. They didn't have any memorable spots yeah. in them. I didn't like a lot of the Nilfgaard stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't really feel much sure. for the main villain. Yeah, I yet. agree. But he also, I don't think, plays a very big role until you get into, like, the novels. Yeah. So. I just really like Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. 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 I keep saying it the wrong. Uh, Gerald of Rivia. I just love the way. Also, he... the only white wolf. Yeah, I get you. Well, well, I well. Mean, what about Bucky? Bucky. The... Huh? What about Bucky? Bucky? Bucky's a good white wolf. He's the Winter Soldier. Yeah, he's but the or white the wolf. Ice Climbers. No, I'll, that's reductionist. I'll nothing else. Okay, he's trying to rise above. No, it. he's trying not to be the Winter Soldier anymore. Okay? He's a white he's wolf. Sorry, he can put your name <laughs> off the book, right? Then he could be the Ice Climbers. <laughs> <laughs> he, there's um, only one of them. <laughs> no, I, I get what you mean, though. Uh, I just love the way he interacts. With strife in this like, fuck. <laughs> way. it's so fun. it never gets old for me. <laughs> it is really great. Yeah. It is really great. Yeah. Um. Damn. Like I love the source material so much, mm -hmm. and I really like the show. Yeah. But I don't feel like it's it's quite there. It's probably not quite there yet. But I I, I might put it at an A. But toss a coin. Also, to Henry Cavill in the bath, Eric. <laughs> I know you said oh, it before. Valley of plenty. <laughs> All right. Did you guys say Calvin? Calvin put it at a B. A B. A, a B. B. Okay. Is where he voted. Calvin's With no B. extra anything. Just yeah. B. Uh, with everything that you've said, I would put it at a between B and A, I would say. Uh, of what all, all, all I saw, I thought it was... Looks pretty cool. I, I could say B looks good. Hey, man, that fucking opening scene is awesome. I've only watched the really one. Good. Yeah, there's the, the very <laughs> opening scene and stuff, and the first episode was kind of cool and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just, me and Melanie don't get a whole lot of time to watch stuff usually at home, and we just kind of chill and watch. And yeah. The it times would... we do is where we, we're willing to fall asleep, and I don't watch something I want to watch because yeah. I fall asleep. You know what a weakness of it is? And this is going to sound weird. It would go down two letter grades if it didn't have Henry Cavill in it. Well, what if you had someone else, though, that could do just a good job? I know what I said. What if it had Sam Witwer? Yeah. No. Chris no. Sean. Chris or Sean. I mean, they're beautiful men, but the leather of their pants would not fit as well as Henry Cavill's. All right. All right. <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's a B for me, I think, maybe. All right. Well, I can live with it being in a B. Gotcha. But it has a lot of potential. It's only one season so far. Sure. Yeah. And there's more coming, right? Didn't they wrap filming for season two? Yeah, and there's like an animated show or something too, right? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. I don't know if it's connected to the same thing or not. But. The games are S, especially Witcher 3. Yeah. Uh, Voting-wise, we had 76% say A to B. The next one down was C tier. So. Outcast says, what if you had a cameo in it? Well, yeah, that's what happened to Legends. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we still in the, or does that we cover the? We are done. With the thus. No more thus. And I've moved on to this is us. Oh. This is this us, is huh? Us. Ooh, wow. 
I forgot we did have this on the channel a little bit because I was also in a couple of them. Yeah, I was not in these reactions, though. I've seen a good portion of the show. I'm a little behind right now. Me too. Um, I will say if you haven't seen the show, watching the first episode, like, by the end of the first episode, because I had no idea what it was really about. Me either. was like, here, watch this. And I watched the first yep. episode. By the end of the first episode, I was like, whoa. I was like, I'm so fucking in. What the hell? Also, I'm All right. super biased because Peter Petrelli. I do love Peter Petrelli, <laughs> you know, and you do many more. Oh, man. Oh, fuck, so right? good. Sing right? me. Yeah. Tangled? Yep. There you go. I don't go tangled, but I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, the, sh the show does some really good stuff. It does. And uh, I think I, there's, there's a point, too, where, like, it has, like, these little twist moments and stuff, mm -hmm. too. And I'm like, well, there's no way this show can keep having these twists. Like they like they do earlier on, right? Yeah. But it might not be every episode, but they do a pretty good job of being mm -hmm. like, you know what? Here's a new twist. And I was like, what? Well, how the hell do they do that? And it makes sense because <laughs> yeah. like there's not a lot of times where I'm like, what the? F the no way, really? Like maybe once or twice where I'm like, oh, this mm -hmm. is the way they're doing it. But for the most part, I feel like a lot of things kind of gel with what they're doing and what they want to have told as their story, and their characters are likable and. I, I want to be as good a dad as Peter Petrelli is in that show, you know? Yep. Like, Jack is such a good father and stuff, mm -hmm. I feel like. Even though they also show that he has his own faults yep. and his own like, downfalls of this and that. Yep. And it makes that character, like, I want to root on him so much. And yep. he fights to be a good father, you know? And mm -hmm. I like that a lot. So, oh, man. it's I, I might not go as far as S, but I'm definitely above a C on this show, I feel like. Just because of, I don't know how many seasons there are. Three seasons? Four seasons? I don't know. How many is it? Uh, I think I've seen like three seasons. Me and Melly are currently watching. We're catching up now because we're currently going through some of the shows now. Who's but. the actor that plays older Randall? Oh, he was in uh, Black Panther. Um, was he? Yeah, he was um, the brother that he goes to America in the very beginning. Okay. Actor for Randall? I can't think of his name. It is... Uh, Sterling K. Brown. Sterling right? K. Brown. Because he's also a voice in Frozen 2. He's so good. He like, is. That that guy he's great. is so good. I don't love Randall, but I love that guy. No, yeah. I don't know. There's something about that, the way he plays that character. He's so fucking good. I think he's great. I like him <laughs> a lot. It, it all, all the siblings, like all the big three, yeah. and the way they also cast their – because it covers, like – it sometimes goes back and covers some of them when they're younger and yeah, stuff too. And the decades. way it does that is mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. And I really like it a lot. Yeah, he was in Supernatural. He was in no uh, in. Do you remember in the very beginning of uh, Black Panther when he has to go to get his brother? It's like the king is going to get his brother from the U.S. or whatever. Do you remember that? I think so. Yeah. He's like that guy. Gotcha. Okay. Right. He's like the uncle or something. Anyway, like I was. That. I wanted to put it out there. I love that guy. No. Um, I, th I think the cast is great. I think the stories are pretty good. Um, it's definitely an emotional, like, it is. heartfelt, make you cry kind of, like, you're going to try to feel emotions is what they're going for. Yeah. Um, it's a show that <coughs> spins in its own tracks in a good way. Sure. Because, like, I know what happens to this person, but I still care what happens to them next, you know? Yeah. If that makes sense. No, I get it you. It spins in its tracks, but in a good way. I, I really enjoy it. It's nothing like, it's not my favorite show in the world. It's not bad. I... I really love episode one, and everything else is good, too. I do. Episode one just does such a good job, yeah. and I think it hooks you enough to where you're like, I want to see what yeah. they do with this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say B is where I would put it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's some other shows they have out there that they do, like, they're the heartfelt kind of shows and sure. whatnot. And uh, I think This Is Us does it better than some others do. Yeah. In my opinion. Um. I think I would have gone between B and C. I'll go B. You go B. Yeah. What's that? What happened to Doctor Who? I think I messed up oh. when I was re. Just um, putting the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, doing the layout. <laughs> gotcha. From last time. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it in B. Yeah, I think Doctor Who was in A, Rick. No, it was in B. Damn it, Rick. It wasn't that. Fucking listen to what I said. <laughs> Back up um, what's the vote? We had to rebuild stuff, guys. Sorry about that. For This Is Us, voting-wise, 39% voted at a D to E, 27 gotcha. to C. Hmm. Um, though, I will say this is probably the least voted show that we've had so far. Gotcha. As far as numbers of votes. 
So that maybe that's part of it too. I appreciate people who haven't seen it and don't really have an opinion on things not voting. I, I thank you guys. Yeah. All, All right. right. What's next? Titans. Ooh. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this one. I feel like if it was an F, I would enjoy it. <laughs> If, but it's not bad enough to be an F, right? Exactly. Is that the yeah, thing? Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Titan's production is too good to be it's, an F. It's too good. That's It's so frustrating. It is. I want to put it in F. I want to bury it deep beneath the earth. <laughs> but I don't think it deserves it. And stomp. There's been times where Get I'm down like... Down into the ground. Hey, this was cool. But there's been other times in Titans where I'm like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I get it's you. not that bad. Like the, no. the actors and actresses yeah. do a fine job. Yeah. <sighs> no. So I put I, it in an E. I get you. Rick, you know what? There is a nice little spot in E. There is. Just the right size for a Titans logo to fit into. You're right. Um Aaron, did you see what Calvin said for this? He put F and said even Iron Fist had ice cream and ward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see Iron Fist season two, I feel like got better. It did. Titans We've had two seasons. I feel like the second season got worse. Yeah. Even though they established such a good villain uh-huh. and some good things like, oh, my God, what are we going to go into next? This looks really cool. But then they just kind of, like, flopped it, and they could have done so much better. It's, I it, was so excited with that actor and that look for that no. villain. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, let's see what the fight's going to be like. And it, it fucking sucked. Titans I, almost ruined four or five shows on this list for me. <laughs> for, what? <laughs> four to five shows? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, any show that has like the main crew in fighting, I hate so much more solely because of Titans. Uh huh. That's um, how bad it is. No, I I get you. It's honestly, I think what it is is like some of the stuff could have been good, but because I don't know, I'm not even sure what it is that it, it's because it's not that I don't like the characters. I do kind of like the characters, but some of their choices I don't like. I don't know. I think it's a mixture of like the story. The like, story is dog shit the way the story flows with some of the characters doesn't work with motivations you know what i mean i think that's what it is i don't think it's the story is necessarily bad the story mixed with the motivations from the characters Uh doesn't work i I feel like i gave i think that's what it is i feel like i gave the casting of bruce wayne a chance me too like they missed they missed it it was so good in season one when we saw batman though do you guys remember how what happened to Wonder Girl? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. That's one of the things I dislike the most. I would. I, I'm fine with putting it in E. I think it's too good Though, to be an F. It's too good for that, F. And that's why uh, it makes me want to have a. Or it's too bad for F. Like I hate it too much. I'm so frustrated that it's not F that I want to put it at F, but I can't because it's too good. They like they they they. they it's put together well. It doesn't fucking make any sense. Remember the van? Yes, I remember the van. Wasn't it Titans 2, the show where you were like, this ballet sucks? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> when did you become an expert on ballet? You uh, should watch the reactions if you haven't seen it because they're really funny. I can't wait for season three, Rick. No, I don't want to. Like, for me, when, as we were watching it, I was just like, yeah, but just it looks good. Give it a chance, you know? And I, we gave it two seasons. I usually give things four episodes, Eric. I watched yeah, two I seasons. I We forced you to you be did. in season two. You did. But I got so much enjoyment out of it, Rick. <laughs> you can force me to do stuff. It's okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, Titans is an E. Hard I go with e. e. I think like if we go if we did that, like I'd probably probably the ranking they're in right now yeah. might have been like I don't know, man. I enjoyed humans. If it's more just on enjoyment. It's the lowest it could be. See, I, I'm not I'm not ranking these on enjoyment. No, me either. Because in humans, I, I know. it's a terrible exactly. show, but I had a lot of fun watching I that. I had more fun with Eric watching in humans. Like we had so much fun doing mm-hmm. that. It, it, that must have been like you watching the room, Rick. Right? Where you just watch it because you want people to see the ridiculousness. Like in yeah. human, we should watch in humans with Rick. He probably would love it. He probably would like <laughs> it. He probably would. You know, Son of a but bitch would look at him. You like in humans. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoyment factor, I can't take that into account. But I think the production value is great. I just the story and the characters just don't gel. It doesn't work that way, you know. No, sorry, right. not. Yeah. Uh, voting wise, from people, forty nine percent said D E category, thirty percent said C. 
It's got its fans, and I'm sure there's some people that are really pissed off right now. But I don't feel too bad about it. Fuck that. All right. What's the next one after Titans? Moving Rick? on. I'd really like to hear Calvin's thoughts on this one. Torchwood. Ah, oh, Torchwood. Torchwood. Yeah, it's a disservice. But and the what, the one last thing about Titans is if anybody's ever seen Akasan's reactions to Titans, they're amazing. Because his like as it's coming on, he's like edgy shit, edgy shit. <laughs> <laughs> During the theme song, and oh man, every time I look at that, I, I watch that theme song, I think of Akasan going edgy shit. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, what's next? We are moving on to Torchwood, Eric. Torchwood. So Torchwood. It's funny because Torchwood was a show that I had never seen. And when we're going through Doctor Who, yep. me and Lano talked about some things, and we implemented some other uh, Doctor Who spinoff shows mm -hmm. into our rotation of reactions because we had more time then and it was easy enough to do. Yeah. And it made some people mad because we also altered a few things. Sure. But I ended up enjoying Torchwood a lot more than I thought I was going to because we were I was just putting it in there to give some context for some stuff in Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. I liked some seasons far more than others. Sure, I can see that. What was that one, like, children season? Is there four seasons, right? Was that three, I think? Well, the fourth season was, like, an American season. And that was funny for different reasons. But <laughs> it was, like, Children of Earth or something. Yes. Like, that, that like, It was, a like, a five... It was, yeah. like, a five-episode series, right? Uh-huh. <coughs> that was the third one. So, I don't know. I mean, there's... <coughs> it, I've never had such whiplash from a spinoff show the tone of doctor who to th the stories they did in torchwood like i couldn't believe it mm -hmm. it's like it goes from like campiness fun of doctor who to like this Mature. guy like beaten off and then he turns into a bunch of dust no it's not even that <laughs> right it was a guy who was hooking up with a girl in the bathroom yeah and then the guy with a camera in the bathroom beaten off beaten to off those to people. Yeah. And that guy, not the guy beaten off, but yeah. that guy, yeah. he turned to dust yeah. and got sucked up by the girl or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, what the hell are we watching? It's like know. Black Mirror. It's crazy. It was, it, the, the tone, it, the sex goes, the, the, <laughs> the, the tone of it was so crazy. Hmm. But it somehow matched Captain Jack. Dude. So I, and I love Captain I Jack. I love Captain Jack. But, um... It's a weird show. Sure, it is. It had I agree. those weird zoom ins and blue lights. The 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 torchwood <laughs> zoom. We talk about that in other shows sometimes. Like they, they just did a torchwood zoom. It's like needless zoom, <laughs> <laughs> and then like these really like really blue lights in the background and stuff all the time. Is it um, like um like Tarantino zooms? No. Okay. No, these ones sometimes don't make any sense. Okay. Sure. Like his like makes sense. Like there's a visual language there, whereas sure. torchwood is just like the guy's just like and zoom in. Why'd you zoom in? Okay. I will say, though, like, though it was weird, and I don't want to say I want to take this into account, I still had fun watching the fourth season of Torchwood, even though people were like, ah, it's not that good, and it's not that. But it still hooked me. I don't know. There was just something about it that just was – maybe it was because we were watching it and we're talking about mm -hmm. some of the things that do make sense and don't make sense and everything, too. Yep. But However, I think it was season three, Children of Earth or whatever, was terrifying for me. Like, it was, like, truly horrifying in no. a, like, I mean, to me, I don't know, like, it was just so fucking dark and scary that if I, okay, imagine this is real, what would you do? And it was, like, a moral quandary, it was. quandary for me. It was, yeah. And that was, it was kind of good for it, you know? Uh -huh. hmm. I like that for it. Yep. Um, I love John Barrowman. John Barrowman's great. Yeah. A lot of the other cast is pretty good, too, right? Like, I like a lot of the other people that were in mm -hmm. that. Um, Owen. Owen. I don't know why I think of Reese, too. Like, yep. Reese jumps in my mind. Like, mm -hmm. I, he was good. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of where I want to put this one. I mean, its lows are pretty low. It didn't have, like, the highest of highs. I would probably put it, like, C myself. Calvin agrees with C tier. I think, I think C doesn't reactions, work. Though too bad the, the reactions were a lot of fun and i think yeah. they were they were good to do i yeah. think for the show and what i enjoyed of it i think i could agree with c because like i enjoy doctor who more than i enjoyed yeah Torchwood. i wouldn't put it up and B with doctor who. right i mean i honestly would put doctor who higher so maybe i would put torchwood higher yeah but in this situation i'd put it 
I'd put it in C. I just because I've seen the reaction of Calvin a thousand times. Yeah. But I have no idea what it's in relation to. No. So I want to watch the show just for that. Yeah. Because yes. I want to know what made Calvin feel that way. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> it was just a. It was a whole bunch of things that happened. Ah, <laughs> what what a thing. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, the Children of Earth stuff puts it up to C for me, I would say. Um, Wait, what did I say? You said C. C. I think everyone said C. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with C. Oh, okay. I, I, was, didn't, I didn't see where I was. I was kind of flirting with the idea of, like, should it belong with Doctor Who up there? Because, mm. I mean, I enjoy Jack and the characters and stuff a lot, too. But I'm okay with putting it in the C category. Um, 49% voted A to B, while 40% voted C. Gotcha. So. Okay. Next on the list is Vikings. Ooh, which is also right. another discussion that's gonna miss Calvin. It is. Uh, Viking said <laughs> he said B, but he spelled it B E E. You knows. son of a bitch, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Calvin. <laughs> oh man, Vikings. I have to split. I feel like okay. My feelings on it, like Ragnar and no Ragnar. Sure, because it's so different without him. And when they age those characters up and all that stuff, it's just so different. A time skip on a live action show. It's yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they it doesn't do. Happen often. And it happens a couple times, I think, in the yep. show. Um, and I didn't even finish it. This is one of the shows where, like, I was watching it. There was also I, I was getting to the point where I'm like, man, there's other things I'm wanting to try to get done, and I don't feel like I have time for. And I'm like, guys, I'm not gonna be in Vikings anymore. I'm done with it. You stayed in Titans to the end, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, <laughs> But well, Vikings like we were catching up, and there was a there was a good chunk of Vikings that we were going through, you know, and there was yeah. gonna be more coming and stuff too, and um, yeah, I don't know. I dropped out of it. There was some choices they made in the show that were kind of weird, and I'm like, I what the hell's going on? Um, I might, I don't know. There's things I really liked about it too. It but had some really good moments. Rick, remember when we did this last season? There was a thing where I was like, Rick, I saw, I just saw one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. Yep. That was an episode of Vikings. Nice. Like, I was, I've never been, like, there's been moments where I've just never been more proud of a character. Ragnar was so good. But I think the creator of that show is Michael Hurst, is his name? Is that okay. right? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that guy is really good and also up his own ass a little bit. Michael Hurst, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, he takes a little too artsy at it's times. A, he goes a little I, too like, man, this is good. I'm going to let people take my time and see how good it is. And I'm like, I think it's okay. I don't think it's that good. I do yeah. think... It would have been better if you hadn't shown me that much. I do think things kind of dragged a little bit. In yeah. It. I would. Lo I loved when they got into some of the fights and stuff too, but there were some moments like in between of what was going mm -hmm. on with like the, I don't know, drama element yeah. of it, I guess, that was just a little long... I guess for what I was wanting, and then there was like, well, th that's that's a choice they made, yep. <laughs> you know. And I'm like, is this how much of this is historically accurate? Is there any historically accurate stuff? Because it was like on History Channel, I think, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So like, I'm like, I imagine there's some history here, but I can't, <coughs> not all this can be true, a lot, you know. Real fast and loose with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, was that a historical thing they wanted to toss in? Because mm -hmm. if so, like, I guess that's why they did it, but it doesn't yeah. work for me. So, um. Dude, some of the the scale of some of those fights and stuff they had were crazy good. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love some of that stuff they did. I mean, Travis Fimmel as an actor, like he he got into the category of anytime I see him in anything, I'm like, oh, you know, the guy plays Ragnar. Yeah, sure. Like, I will always feel that way. Also, there's a wrestler in that show, right? The Edge. Edge is in it. Edge is Edge, in it. Yeah, yeah. Adam and Copeland. he's it's it's weird sometimes because he's really good. Yeah. And they make him do really weird shit. And you're like, I don't buy this. But he does that face. And I'm like, yeah, okay, he's just crazy. <laughs> and I buy it. Nice. Yeah. Um, For me, I think that I would probably put it somewhere in like the – I'd probably say C. I'm actually kind of flirting with D just because I, I just didn't yeah. enjoy it that much at all. Yeah. I just don't um, see you stopping watching a show that you think's average. Mm -hmm. Sure, I mean, I've continued more. It was it was a mixture of like if I didn't feel like I was pressed for time, maybe I would have continued. Although, yeah, you're right. I mean, Black Lightning we've stopped watching. American Gods we've kind of stopped watching. Like, uh, where's Legion? Legion on this list? It's in C. If we stop watching that. That's in C. 
<laughs> yeah, um, let me make sure. I probably vote to be Vikings C. to be D. I'm okay with that, I guess. I just it, it was longer. Some of the character stuff I really liked. I loved Ragnar, but then yeah. there was other stuff where I'm just like, I don't understand why they're doing this stuff. Mm-hmm. I would, I would do it that. It did have one of the, and, and we don't factor this into our rankings, but it had one of the craziest reaction <laughs> things that had ever happened, where a character that we all really liked was fine sure and then the doorbell rang while we were watching it yeah (laughs) yes aaron went to the door came back and in that 25 seconds this character had died from a bee sting sure and when he came back aaron goes what happened it's like he's fucking dead there's a bee sting he goes what it was one of the greatest moments of my life so the director who who you say sometimes spends too much time on things just that part was just so fast and done. And, and the time that's why I gone. think Calvin gave it a B, so he could do the pun. So, yeah, I'm going with D. Doing D. Oh, where, oh where, my God. Where are you um, going to put it, Eric? I'm uh, low C, maybe. I, I mean, there's moments where I'm like, man, I, I fucking loved that. I really liked Floki and and, and all that. Uh, some of the fighting was great. Some of it's nonsense. So. Some of the conversations and dialogue are fantastic. Some of it's nonsense. So yeah, it goes it goes middle of the road for me. I'll put it in C. Do you guys remember where that is? Some people want to watch the reaction. I don't know. Just watch all of them. Yeah, go to the Viking. Uh, just ask. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I put it in the metadata. Like died from a fucking bee. Just put that in Google. See if we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what chat say? Chat said Vikings 59% voted A to B. Interesting. 31% said C. Okay. I liked it, but I don't like it. Vikings is done, right? Yeah, Vikings finished this year. Um, (coughs) There were just parts I really liked, but honestly, the parts I didn't like, I really didn't like. So that's why it goes low for me. And low. I mean, it's average. C. That's middle of the road. Sure. No, I get you. I mean, it's not like it's... That guy kind of falls in like the. It's not a terrible, terrible yeah. show. It's not a great, great show. It's just. It's, it's, it's a Vikings show. five nine. The video is easy to find as well because whoever made the thumbnail has a B on it. All right, <laughs> this is what they say. Next show is Wandavision. Hmm. I think we all agree it goes below Falcon Winter Soldier. Oh. Right. Uh, I was interested in what no? you were going to say on that, Rick. I thought that's what we said when we were talking about Falcon Winter Soldier. Well, no, but like you specifically, because I felt like when you were wa- when we were talking about it before at one point, I thought you were like, you know, Falcon Winter Soldier was fun, and like it is kind of feels like a Marvel movie, whereas WandaVision was trying to do some other things, and yeah. I like that for it. So I wasn't sure if like in where you would be placing things if you were like, well, it did different stuff, and I like that, thus it's pushing it higher. I, mean, I did like that it did different stuff. The problem was I just never knew what to be invested by and who to be invested with. Because I didn't know what was real and what wasn't real. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And I understand that that's the point. But I just couldn't get invested. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I get that. I think... Uh, hmm. I just thought it was such a ballsy thing to do. I, mean, I love the idea. I love the difference of... It's different than any other thing we've watched, really, of, of MCU. I love Vision in it so much. And I love all the set design and work that went uh-huh. into recreating those sitcoms. Yeah. I just didn't feel like any of it was that funny, whereas those old sitcoms are. <clears throat> hmm. See, but I I think, too, like, I think looking at it for what you get to in the, in the end of everything, um, the reason you're going through that isn't always to be funny, too, but it's also – pairing well with the story and the characters they have and why is that there and i think there's a pretty good reason as to why to really dive back into like when depression or you know grief or whatever is hitting what is the comfort that you know a character might find and they Mm -hmm. go back to x you know and that's why you have these shows kind of this existence that's occurring with this not necessarily because it's meant to be like the show tries to make it a little funny and comedy and cheesy and stuff because that's how those shows were, you know? Yeah. Like, if you go back and watch I Love Lucy Now, it's probably not the most funniest thing you've ever seen. It has this campy cheesiness to it, you know? It has that, yeah, Eric's charm. It's charming. Yeah. So That's not a me thing. That's I, a thing. It's, that's an Eric thing. <laughs> so it, it is. You just um, need to read so more. So while, uh, while we have, like, 
it wasn't the most funniest and what whatever i think as far as character wise i think it really makes sense of the theme and to why and ties the story and the character together well for that i kind of get it but like i've seen other shows that deal with loss and depression and like they can still be very funny when they want to be like fruits basket gets way more sad than wandavision ever does Mm -hmm. as far as, as like depression or loss or anything goes but it also sometimes is just straight out straight up hilarious. It and maybe that's an easier thing to pull off in anime than it is in live action. Sure, but you're you're also it's it's the apples to oranges thing of like what are they when shooting it and going for these these shots in this feel of this show, what works and what doesn't work. And I think some of the later stuff is funnier than some of the earlier stuff. Sure. But I think that's because of the style they're going for, right? I laughed more, I think, during some of the office feeling moments than I did during like the I Love Lucy feeling moments. But I think I also laugh more watching The Office than I do watching I Love Lucy. Sure. And you know? I mean, maybe the solution there is just not spend quite so much time in those eras. Because it was really limited in its run. You only have so many episodes to work with. And like two full episodes, I think, take place in that. Older no, I mean, universe, they, right? they progress. They progress by decades through it, right? You start off in black and white. You go into the the color. Then you go into a little bit more modern. Then you go into like almost like current, you know. And then the you first st- two are black and white, right? Or am I misremembering? I'm pretty sure they go in. Do they go black and white in the second or? They go black and white in the second one. I I'm think. trying to remember when it changes out of black and white. But I, I mean, I think it might be one and two is black and white. They also release those two at the same time, maybe because mm-hmm. of that. Maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess that's true. But they, I mean, black and white went on for a long time. At least they weren't silent. (laughs) I don't know. Like they could have gone back really far. So, um, I think for what they were going for and the way the style they're shooting for and character wise and everything, I kind of agree though. Initially, uh, the idea that what did I have more fun and what did I like, like character wise and story wise and stuff more so was probably Falcon the Winter Soldier over WandaVision. But I still enjoyed WandaVision and the stories they were telling and the way they were doing it and being creative and different with it. Yeah. Which I'm looking forward to with Loki of being creative and different in that, where I don't expect that to feel like Wanda, but I don't feel like it should feel like Falcon. You know, I feel like it should feel like its own, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with it. Like, I like the character <laughs> of Wanda, and, you know, you weren't sure if she was a hero or a villain. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it was handled better with Captain America and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Mm. Where, like, with Wanda, I I never felt really on board with her and what was happening. Like, I always felt like she's a villain. And sure. But I think you're supposed to, right? Like, that's also what other characters are feeling, too. They are pinpointing her as the villain because she yeah. is causing this, right? I mean, yeah, I, and I guess, that's part yeah. of the... It's not as gr- I don't think it's as great as a mystery box as some other shows have done, mm-hmm. but I think there is that element there of like here's a mystery and we're slowly learning and unfolding some of the things that they're doing. You know, mm-hmm. um, I mean the thing that I liked about it, other than Agatha uh, and Captain or <laughs> Captain Falcon and the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, is that it's really hard to nail down the villain. <laughs> like Wanda, I think. There's a good case to be made that, like, she, you know, it's hard to, like, define them into heroes and villains in this show because Vision undoubtedly was a hero, but sure. Wanda is, she put an incredible, huge amount of people in absolute danger and kind of just got away with it. Yeah. You know? Agatha shouldn't, you know, yeah, I mean, that's, she's she's a, she was definitely a bad guy, you know, a bad person in there, um, but I don't know, it, it's... It's an interesting show, I think, to look back on as opposed to watching in the moment. I don't know. And it's really hard for me to grade. No, I get you, too. Because I think one thing that makes it harder is the fact that as you go through it, each episode has a different feeling because of, like, that TV show evolution that they're doing as they go on up through it. So, like, and as it gets closer and closer and you're learning more and more, like, it's just adding each time. So, yeah. like, I don't know. The the ideas, too, of what they do with who's who, what's in their mind. Do these people know what they're doing? Is this person part of this world? Is this person not part of this world? Um, 
I, I, I really enjoy some of the mystery box thing. And I think it's similar to some shows where like, you know, maybe a second watch through, you might notice more things and you're like, oh, that's why they did this. That's why they did this. But it's also a different viewing than the first time you watch it when you watch it the second time just because of those elements, right? Yeah. Like I'm sure like another watch through of Lost after you finish Lost, you would probably be like looking at things differently. Sure. As you've uncovered more of the mysteries of what's going on, you but, know? Like, uh, honestly, I think it might make it worse for me because I'm going to know the entire time her involvement in it. And, like, the thing about tragic villains is, like, you're watching them and you relate to them and you want to root for them even though you know you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. There was never a point where I wanted to root for Wanda. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, because at a certain point you're like, I, I, I agree, like, as, but I, I like this. Wanda is this force of nature that's so unpredictable like you want her to be okay but because she's not okay she's scary because she could do all of these things you know and like that's too much power for one person to have which I kind of like that about the show like when she comes out of the bubble and everybody has their guns up and she just oh. magnetos everything no yeah, that's great because you know like there's a there's something about that that i like where it's like who gives a shit about heroes and villains this that is interesting sure there's no you good know? and there's no no bad necessarily and you don't yeah. know who to pinpoint for this or that right because you could even easy, easily look at the people outside the bubble that yeah. one guy that guy could be the villain you mm -hmm. know like i don't like that guy sure. wanda could be the Hayward. villain though i don't know if i agree that there's no point in rooting like there's no point in time where i could not root for wanda because though I agree, like, what is she doing that's good or bad? And while I don't think that she could necessarily – I think it's like a mixture, right, of control, of, like, what is she controlling and what is she not controlling? And maybe we'll learn more as we go forward in the MCU, too, of, like, where her power base is and what she's doing. But when she's fighting to try to save this family that mm -hmm. you're, you're, look, you're looking and watching and you're like, is it real or is it not real, you know? And, like, yeah. I want her to have her family. I don't want her to be sad. But – maybe she should be sad and she shouldn't have this because look what's sure. happening you know i feel like there is a little bit of dilemma there of like i love my family i don't want to lose my family so yeah. i understand what she's going through i but definitely she got to this point because of this you know like that's awful so like i i have some feelings of like how she feels about it so i don't know yeah i mean i sympathize with wanda more than i ever rooted for her. i don't know it's a hard one I think but, I mean I I loved Vision in it. I loved this guy who eventually realizes he's not real, you know. Yeah, sure. sure. Uh trying to do the best he can for a person that he loves because he was created that way. And I love this idea that he's out there still. So, I don't know. I like that. Uh I didn't love <laughs> Monica, but I didn't hate her either. Um the sword stuff was okay. What about uh Jim? Jimmy Woo. Jimmy Woo was good. <laughs> I Green. really I, I, I was I root for Jimmy Woo more than most of everybody. <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy's great in that. Yeah. Um I don't know. I, I, I I'm trying to think about like all this stuff in it. Like I do think I enjoyed Falcon the Winter Soldier more, but it's also made because it was more traditional and yeah. less mystery boxy. So the whole time I was just it's almost like I was hype a lot of it because I'm like, oh what new fights are we gonna get? And it's a lot more confrontational of like Falcon fighting bad guys or Bucky fighting this or yeah. that. And it's WandaVision is not necessarily that, you know, that's not what they're going for for the show. Yeah. Um, but I might say that I would put WandaVision, like if I put Falcon at like a high B, I would put WandaVision at like a middle or low B maybe, you know, like I think Falcon and Winter Soldier might beat out WandaVision for me a little bit as far as like what I enjoyed and what I thought was fun and whatnot. But mm hmm I still really enjoy the story and stuff that the WandaVision thing was going for and how they're trying to make you feel for, like, what is Wanda going through and what how strong is she? Like, those are, like, two of the big themes of, like, yeah. how do, how connected are those with emotions and powers and True. all that stuff. And Now that we're kind of far away from it, how do you feel now about the Pietro casting thing? I mean, I read the interview about it, mm -hmm. so I know it's not the intention. Yeah. But it, it really feels like they're – they were trying for the mystery box thing and then they wanted to just pull the carpet out from you. Mm -hmm. I didn't, it felt like an intentional let's fuck with them, which I kind of respect. I do like that. <laughs> I like, I mean, if it was though, b but the yeah. creator came out and said it wasn't Yeah, ever supposed to be that. Well, it, it can't not be. That guy's lying. That creator's a liar. 
I guess. <laughs> I like mean, I might fucking with you. I might have times where, like, I'd be like, "Hey, guys, let's do this," and people are gonna k- k- think this is going on, and we'll just fuck with them. And then, really, it's gonna be this. Mm-hmm. But then, like, if I got asked that, maybe I would be like, "No, it wasn't supposed to be that." What are you talking about? Oh, that was an accident. I don't know what you mean. You know, yeah, or whatever. Right? Like, maybe that's what he did there. Maybe. But, I mean, that's like us accidentally putting up <clears throat> Jujutsu Kaisen on that list. Oh, they fucked up. You guys didn't even catch up the. F- Catch the, the fuck up but for then Invisible. But then we're actually doing <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen. I know. Like, exactly. that's the difference. I know. I get you. <laughs> but no, yeah, the, uh, I don't know. That was, we, stuff, we, we didn't get a chance to talk about our best things of the week, but my best things of the week was the Invincible. We'll, have to, we'll have to talk about that next week maybe on podcast <laughs> okay. when we actually get a chance to be able to dive into all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, you yeah. have to. Because we're already over time now. No, and we fine. need to get through these. I'll be here another three hours. Let's do it. I, I, I will put WandaVision on B with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Let's I think production-wise is good. Calvin has that as a, as a B. I think the story and stuff they told was good. Yeah. Um, I liked a lot of what they did with it. I mean, if anything, I would probably say WandaVision's B, and maybe Falcon and Winter Soldier should go up to A, you know? like. But there's also some issues I have with Falcon and Winter Soldier that I feel like could, should bring it down. I think WandaVision was above average of most of the things that I have in C, as far as what I was wanting and seeing and stuff like that. But maybe it's a little bit of bias because of Marvel, but that, I think that's where I would put it as B. It would be a D for me. It's a Below s- average. It's a high C for me. It would be D for you? Yeah. Wow. I think it's a, it's a high C. It might be a B. Where do we have Falcon the Winter Soldier? B. It's B. I enjoyed both for different reasons. I'd put it at a high C. Hmm. High C. So two Bs, a C, and a D. How do we average out that? Uh, well, if we gave a D one point, a C two points, and B three points, and then what? I think. I don't know. Maybe a B? That's where I put it. Yeah, B. <laughs> I'll just change mine to B. Just I think put it for B? Yeah. Like, I think Falcon the Winter Soldier is above this one, but I think WandaVision is above everything in C for me. So, I mean, I, I definitely don't think it belongs with American Gods or... I mean, I, I've only seen one show in there. Blood of B, Zeus. And or... It's Blood of Zeus, and I would... I mean, I like Blood of Zeus better than I like WandaVision. It's just, it's weird because for a show that by its creation only has one season, I, f- I just feel, I don't feel like there's anything f- final about it or it, like, you know, I mean, but it's part of the MCU. So that's, it's going to be like that. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, I like it just not, I don't dislike it or like it so much that it would be anywhere higher or lower than it be. I mean, especially if you look at it as a standalone show, I think it, fa- it fares very poorly. Yeah. Oh, you mean as if, if you watch in isolation from yeah. the MCU? Yeah, if you just watch Agreed, it by itself. but it's never meant to... I don't think it's ever meant to be looked at that way, you know? So, I, But I, I understand. Like, we're trying to... We're, that's what we're trying to do is put these all as one thing. So I get you. That makes sense. I'd put it up. Yeah, I'm happy with B. Yeah. B, if you want, if you wanted to drop it to C, we could drop it to C. But I think, like... And I, I lower on the B ring. I think that's also a problem with Falcon and the Winter Soldier as well. It's not unique to one division. Yeah, but I think you could. I think you could do I it more so that. with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right? You could probably, yeah, yeah. I think I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier could be but, I mean, on its own. That's, honestly, it can be true of a lot of things. Like, well, what's Dragon Ball Super without having seen Z? You know, like. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. maybe. What's, the, what's the Clone Wars without having seen Star Wars? Better. No, Rick, it's not. <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut up. You said, shut up. You said it's better to watch that before you watch any Star Wars. Uh, no. Yeah. I mean, for kids, not for me who's putting it on a thing. It was your words, Eric. I mean, those are like, yeah, kids, so I, like getting them into Star Wars, I think it's easier to get them into cartoons than it is to get mm-hmm. them watching. Get them to watch a 20-minute episode of a cartoon than it is to like watch this two-hour movie, you know? WandaVision was voted 65% for A to B, 20% for C. Gotcha. Okay. Watchmen. Ooh. The TV show. 
Watchmen was really good. Aaron, that might have been one of the best things we watched last season. Last year? <sighs> yeah, we watched that while you guys watched The Witcher. Yep. Yeah, that's why I didn't watch The Witcher. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, I think it was, un, I mean, I, I don't, liked The Witcher, but I think it was undoubtedly better than The Witcher. I don't regret it. I don't oh. regret I would forsake Witcher for Watchmen to watch it because it was good. Yeah. Watchmen I watched one good. episode of The Witcher so far, and that's all I've gotten, but Watchmen was really good. I have um, not seen The Watchmen. I've, I've read the original graphic novel. I love it. No. I, I mean, need to watch it. I, th- I think this one is based more on the novel than it is the movie, right? Like, it's, like, it's not continuing the movie side of things, is it? I mean, the movie is pretty close. The, the movie only changed one thing, really, yeah. except it's, for, it, like, some costumes. It's as close as you can be for a movie, yeah. Okay, I feel like. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, the story elements they had there, too, and there's lots of stuff they kind of had, like, what was that? That I don't know the stuff they did with the uh, freaking blue guy was good. Yes, Aaron, <laughs> it was. <laughs> Mister Manhattan or Doctor Doctor Manhattan? Yes. Yeah, because I can tell all kinds of stuff. There's Doctor Manhattan stuff. Whew. There's I mean, good he... stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, um. Dang man. Looking Glass. Looking Glass was you know, cool. Like that's a guy from Holes. It really felt <laughs> like it. <laughs> I think the biggest praise I could give it, because I love The Watchmen, the biggest praise I could give it is it felt like a continuation of that story. It did. Damon, which, Damon Lindelof, who is one of the guys that did Lost, did that. Which is impressive. Yeah, it's very impressive. Man, I like, don't know. The thing forever was Watchmen's unfilmable, mm-hmm. and then having to take that and continue it. Yeah. I feel like it's pretty tough. Dude, it had a uh, uh, Jeremy... Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons was in this movie, you know? Like, that was good. That was great, too. That was in Mendez. That, that's perfect. Uh huh. It, it was, Dude, those those scenes with him, you won't believe it. No, you're watching <laughs> you're like, I don't know what the hell's Rick going on. I would really like Watchmen. I think he would love Watchmen. You should watch Watchmen. If only for the Jeremy Irons scenes. Because remember, there'd be plays where we were like, what the, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what are we and doing? You get to the end, you're like, oh. And that did it really well. I like Watchmen. Watchmen's an A for me. Jeremy Easily. Irons in Justice League took it up a whole thing for me. He did. Now, this one might, I don't know, this one might fall in that same kind of category. Like you said, like it works so well as a continuation from like where it was before. Yep. I, I wonder, if, how do you think this fits if you watch it just by itself? I don't know. Do I don't you think really it, care. Do you think it falls off a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's asking you to watch it out by no, no, no. I know. either. You know? We, we discussed that with WandaVision. Sure. I'm asking the question still. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess. Do you I think mean, you're it, watching a sequel series? You have to have known, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think this one loses something too, right? So that it was just one of the things that we brought up before. I'm like, you know, well, what? I, I mean, think the this- thing with WandaVision is that there's no Wanda or Vision movie. Like you've got to watch a few movies that barely have anything to do with them. I oh like no! You have first. to watch one of the greatest cultural <laughs> phenomenons in the last decade. Shit, you know. Deal with it. Watch good movies. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a silly question. Um. Should it be – I have no problem with it being A. Yeah. Like, no problem with that. Mm-hmm. Like, it easily, I think, reaches A for me based on the story, the characters, every week I was looking forward to. Damn, that one episode. That one I episode mean, was just so, like – I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, Aaron, what's keeping it out of S? Is it just because it's a sequel series and it's not standalone? Hmm. I mean, everything else in there except for, what, Mandalorian – and Agents of Shield is something that you have to, you can watch that and you're good. You know? Like what keeps it out of S? I don't know. I'm just I'm more hesitant to put things into S and F. I know. Because I feel like that <laughs> I guess deserves that deserves the best of the best or the but worst like, of the worst, what you know? Keeps it out. What was was it just because it was really good but I never got super hype? Because everything else in there, I got super hype about. Sure. I enjoyed it a lot, but there wasn't – I wasn't like – yeah, you're right. But I wasn't super of, hype about is it. Is the lack of super hype Less enough hype. to keep it out of S? I mean, I've mm. gotten super hype over Breaking Bad. That's probably the closest other one to it. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely really close. I, I don't know what keeps, keeps out it S. out. You think nothing keeps it out of S? So your vote is S, S then? I might go S. Hmm. Like, just as in, like, like, 
as a fucking intellectual. I'm, I'm trying I to go through. I can't think of anything that keeps it out of S. I'm it's trying to go through good. some of the stuff that occurred, and if there's any like moments where I'm like, this makes no sense, is ridiculous. I mean, I haven't seen it, but like for what it has to follow, I think that makes it harder yeah. and um, more amazing. The fact that it was able to, and it works pretty well. You know, like there's not like I don't I, I can't be like you know what was stupid is remember this. It actually does some stuff pretty well. I mean, Dude, it's also got a. In... It's got what's his name in it? Um, Nash Bridges, right? Wasn't he in it? Oh, yeah. Nash Bridges was in. Yeah. It. You know, like he, uh, yeah, that was an interesting story Ed, too with I him and stuff. Currently, you know? everything that's an A, I'm just looking through it, has a reason why I don't have an S, mm. except for Watchmen. Mm-hmm. Maybe Mob Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Watchmen more than Mob Psycho. Yeah. Why is Punisher not an S? Um, because right. I mean, it has some fluff in it that's not the greatest. Okay, okay. All right. Um, like what's fluff in Watchmen? I don't know. I mean, it, it I didn't mean, have episodes, it didn't have right? room. It only had eight yeah. episodes to go through. <laughs> and I I want to encourage people to do shorter seasons. <laughs> no, yeah, I get you there. I don't know why, but like looking at like S and A and what all is in there, I'm like Watchmen was really good. And I really enjoyed it, but I'd be more inclined to put Cobra Kai in S than I am Watchmen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But is that just an enjoyment thing? It might be. Like, yeah, I haven't seen it, but I imagine Watchmen that's the thing. is a better The story show. for Watchmen is probably better overall. The characters are probably really good, too. Cobra Kai is just a fun, nostalgic, ridiculous stuff. So, sure. let's. I'll, we'll put Watchmen in S. Let's, I think it should be S. That. Maybe we'll re- revisit it. But I think that it deserves to be S more than My Hero does. And I love My Hero. So... Let's move on. Well, we've only got two left. Yep. <coughs> only got two. Two. I will say 57% voted for S for Watchmen. Okay. The, oh, yeah. The other thing about Watchmen is that people are like, are you going to do a season two? And Damon Lindelof said, no. I've done what I need to do. Nice. And I respect that because it was super well received. That's cool. <coughs> Westworld. Where hmm. is Westworld? Rick, you haven't seen Westworld, right? Nope. Have not. <sighs> Man. Uh, Westworld. Man, Westworld season one was the perfect what theory can we come up with show, in my opinion. It's similar it's to... It's not tied to the movie, right? No. No. Okay. Well, it's no, I mean, it's, it's not. I think it's similar ideas, yeah. maybe. I've never seen the movie, but it's not... There's no connection. Okay. Like, it's not like a continuation or nothing like that. Um, I think that... Man, I don't know. The, the first season of that was definitely my favorite of the of the seasons they had. Um, some of the later stuff was okay, too. But the first scene was just so good. And that's when I think of Westworld, that's what I think of. But I gotta try, I'm trying to think of, like, where do I put the other two seasons and the story and the characters and where they've gone versus where I think season yeah. one is, you know? No, I get you. It's just that, like, Anthony Hopkins and Ed Harris in season one... That season one. That's what I'm saying. Uh, season damn. one's great. Yep. If it was There's just, just those two names, if it was just season one, I'd probably say S. But because the other two seasons, I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know if it deserves an S. No, it doesn't deserve an S. No way. If I was hesitating that much on Watchmen, there's no way Westworld deserves. Well, yeah, an S. Watchmen. I'd probably leave it an A if it wasn't for you trying to talk me and push me into making an S. You're welcome. So, if, if anything, I'm, put I'm that glad back that down. I convince to, you how much you liked it. If anything, <laughs> put Watchmen back down to A, and then we can put this somewhere lower. <laughs> no. <laughs> Because this has reasons why it shouldn't be an S, like off the bat. I couldn't think of a single one for Watchmen. Watchmen's a really good TV. I just, I don't have it at S. You didn't give me a reason. You know what? I, I, I loved it. I probably wouldn't rewatch it. Yeah. And a lot of the other shows in S tier, I probably would rewatch. Sure. So, there's my I don't, know it, I don't know. I vote A. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, for Westworld. Man, season one's so good. It is, but I mean, it is drugged down by some questionable stuff in season two, definitely in season three. It had some fantastic performances th- throughout all three seasons, but its writing to me felt like here's the idea and let's write to that idea as opposed to let's write it so that the idea forms in front of you, if that makes sense. I'm kind of leaning towards the idea of it going into. B, but even then I'm like I feel like it's because I really enjoyed the first season for that whereas the later two seasons are still okay like those other two seasons I might kind of put like well they're okay and they might go more of like a 
a C for those. Mm-hmm. But the first season I just enjoyed so much. If everything stayed – and I don't know if you can keep that. That's one of the things. Like season one was so good. I don't – even us watching it too, it was like how are you going to continue this into the next season? Because like yeah. you can't keep this – like you sure. can't do this again. There's no way you can do that, you know. So I absolutely loved its covers. Sure, yeah, the That's piano so covers of uh, what was it? Painted, painted black. Is that one of the ones they did so and good. stuff, right? Like Seven Nation Army, but in that Indian theme. Yeah, like some of that stuff was really cool. <laughs> as good as, as Bridgerton. Oh, better. Like for me, for me, I mean, like, I, I listen to some of the Bridgerton stuff, but it's. It's because Literally of this, to me twenty times better. It's because musicians. of the songs they chose, is what yeah. it is. Okay. Uh, Eric probably like recognizing those songs right off the bat, like mm-hmm. they were more modern. Yeah. But these were like, you know, Metallica and sure. Uh, you know, it, it was it was more older stuff when we were younger too. So, I think I would put Westworld at maybe a B. Me too. Calvin said B. First season was A. Second was C, and third was B, is what he said. So he's like averaging them yeah, out as so far I'm, as like where he puts them. Honestly, yeah, I'm at, <laughs> I'm comfortable at a B. If um, it, if it was just season one, I would be very tempted to go just straight up A. But I think two and three weaknesses, though it also had strengths, two and three's weaknesses bring it down to a low B for see, me. See, for me, for just season one, I'm almost tempted for an S for that one. Just because I, I really enjoyed it, yeah. and I love the, the mystery of everything they Me had too. there and everything. The later seasons just aren't quite as good. And I don't know if you can ever achieve what you did mm-hmm. in the first season again, but no, it's really good. Yep. I would agree with you with that. Be um, all the way. Calvin's a B. B B B B B. All right. Viewer wise, we had Westworld A to B by 54%. 34% said C. Gotcha. Okay. Well, last one before we re rank. Everything. <laughs> Last one is Young Justice. Young Justice. Hmm. Which I have not seen. Yeah. So this is me, Calvin, and Aaron. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Dude, Young Justice. I feel like I almost feel the same way. Maybe not to the same extent, but as I did with Westworld. I feel like the first season was really good. And I really liked the first season. The next season was a little different, but they also do some time jump stuff. And I think what it is is like you're losing some of the characters you build up before mm-hmm. because you're time jumping and you're being introduced to new people and it, yeah. it's changed. It's different, you know? Is it just called Justice after the time jump? No. No, because okay. you're go- you're going with the Young Justice characters because aren't there anymore. you have these people older. This is Young Justice. There's these younger people now. Gotcha. Whereas you're not following the people gotcha. that you followed okay. the first time necessarily. And the thing is, is like, I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's <clears> interesting. But, it made me fall in love with season one's team so much that I didn't like the other seasons as much. Yeah, I wanted I like, that you know team, what? right? Cool, but I miss the others. Where you know? are those guys? Yeah. And it also, you talk about shows where, like, if you just watch this on its own, would you understand what's going on? It mm-hmm. does not necessarily hold your hand for, like, you better know who these characters are. Yeah. Or, you're like, you're like, there's not like, well, here's who this is. How did they get these powers? How do they become who they are? Here you go. You know, I mean, it's they just, just like here's a new character. It's you better the way know who DC they are. animated works. Like, I think that like if I'm if it's one to ten, trying to grade me as a DC fan, I think I'm like a six or a seven. I know some shit, but I'll, but I'd watch some of those episodes. And I'm like, I don't know the fuck this is. I don't know why they're doing anything. <laughs> I you do. Know? I do think that some episodes, not all, but some. Season one didn't have as many characters, so mm-hmm. when you get to season two. I think it was too many characters. Yeah. And there's one character specifically where I'm like, I really liked that character story. Yeah. And a lot of the other characters, I kind of don't really remember. Agreed. You know? I um, stealth mode so much in season one. Stealth mode? Yeah. Superboy Connor is like, all right, Connor, stealth mode. He's like, all right. Ah! He just fucking takes off. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. Like season one, yeah, all that stuff. The stealth mode, we had fun so with that. Whenever the, the he story would do like a good. berserker thing, we were always like, stealth mode! <laughs> Uh, like, that's magic. Season two, my, my favorite thing in season two is kind of like the uh, Jaime storyline, mm-hmm. I think. Like, that's the, that's the only character where I'm like, I like what they really yeah. do with this. Of course, I, I like like I like Dick Grayson and stuff, too. But you don't get as much – you don't get as much Superboy. You don't get as much Dick. You don't get as much – I said what I said. Whatever, But whatever else you got from season one, you know, thing. you lose some of that stuff. Just so. clip that for me, please. Yeah, um, I get you. I think I enjoyed season two and season one – much more than I enjoyed season three. Mm-hmm. I just think season two had a lot going on. Yeah. And then 
you have so many characters in season two that when you get to season three, they toss in some more too, and then there's just there's definitely too much, you know. Season one is like a low A for me, but factoring in two and three, it's like a C. We'll start with Calvin said D. The tone shift between season one and two didn't do any favors, so he goes he's going D. Was it one and two that had a tone a shift? I feel like two and three had a tone shift, didn't it? Well, is it one and two that had a tone shift? Yeah, I, I mean, they had the time jump between one and two. I mean, all three had a time jump. True, but I don't know. I feel like the difference of the of the team stuff kind of. I don't know. I can't think of a tonal shift between two and three that's as drastic, or how, at least how I felt about it. Gotcha. I think season one, I I probably would give an A. Yeah. Season two. I think the overall story for that, I'd probably look at B or C just because like I really liked Jaime and the story there and some of the new stuff, but they just added too much that it just got messier. You know what yeah. I mean? Where season three, I'd probably put much lower. Um, I don't think it's a D. Like I don't. It's not on the level of American Gods and no Resistance. Not at all. No way. I think I'd put it at a B, maybe overall. Okay. Like, I might, like, where Calvin was talking about, like, the seasons and stuff, and, like, Westworld, he was, like, A, B, C. I probably would almost do that with, like, with this, where it might be, like, A, B, and then, like, season two might have been mm. C or D, maybe. I'm at a high C. No, Eric, you're just thirsty. I am. I could go for some high C right now. Um, <laughs> Man, that D. Okay. I, I'll... I'm still going to say B. Gotcha. Um, so if we're going to go with that, we're probably going to end up in the C category because Calvin gave it a D. So I mean, I would put it up there with, like, Agent Carter, Chuck, Supernatural. Like, I liked I liked parts of those shows. I don't like parts of those shows. So I'm good with it. Sure. So it's All in right. the right place? Um, if it's in C, I guess. Okay. Make a little more room in B, although don't know why, because that's it. I believe that is it. All right, so that is the almost 100 shows that we've reacted to. Some of them that you're like, why is that in there again? But like, like the crown. But you know, um, <laughs> we wanted to have a good long list here of shows. So sure. Anyway, um, where do we go from here? Like, does anybody? Do you just like kind of look and see if you have buyer's remorse for anything? I mean, is there anything that stands out? What stands out? I mean, to hmm. me, I think MHA is too high. Okay. I could bring MHA down just by one. Yeah. Like, uh, I look at Hunter Hunter. I look at Fate Zero. I look at Berserk. Obviously, I look at Mob Psycho. I don't think it's a tier better than those. I think removing how important some of those scenes of things are to me personally, I could see what you're saying. Like, I just... If you just want to talk about enjoyment, like, My Hero's way up there. Yeah. Sure. Which is that hero. what the point is of shows? Well, I mean, entertainment enjoyment is the main factor, but yeah. we also enjoyed in humans a lot. You mean watching it? Yeah. Well, but that's not a good show. And right? it's real far down there. I, I don't think enjoyment should be the primary thing because, like, mm -hmm. I don't enjoy watching a Clockwork Orange, but I love a Clockwork Orange. Hmm. You know. I think we'd have to define enjoyment, but I get you. I'm not. I wouldn't like be kicking and screaming with my hero goes down to a high A because Cobra Kai is in high A, and I love. Cobra I love Kai. Cobra Kai. Cobra, Cobra Kai is really one of the good. most fun. It's, sir, it's it's probably the most fun live action <clears throat> yeah. reaction I've ever done. But it's not without its flaws. But goddamn. Mm. Goddamn Cobra yeah. Kai. Uh yeah, you know, if we're wanting to like if you say Eric, you gotta pick one, my hero or Watchmen. Watchmen like I said, I can't think of any reason it shouldn't be there. My hero, I can see reasons it shouldn't be there. So I would go my hero other than Watchmen. I can't talk about Haikyuu, you know? I cannot, no. So <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, I trust Rick feeling the way he did, you know? So, but you would end that with Berserk without us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would. Where did I vote for Expanse? Where did I put that? Did I put that at S? I think you did. 
Because um, my my biggest worry is like that and Attack on Titan. Like, is all the rest of these done now? Uh, except for My Hero, which if we're moving that down, all the rest of these are done. And I'm just trying to think of like, do I feel like Expanse should be there? I don't know. I really enjoy Expanse a lot. But I guess since I haven't seen it all, maybe I should just leave it. I don't know. I think My Hero is fine putting it in A. I don't have buyer's remorse for anything else in S myself. You, you're saying The Expanse? And I also think The Expanse... It, it's the one in there that I've, I've... The ones I've seen that I'm like... Is the lowest of all those for me. Definitely. See, of the lowest ones for there, I don't, I don't have anything to say for Q. Sure. The lower ones on the list of here for S for me would be... Expanse just because I'm not too sure because I don't know where the sh- season's going to go. Um, I, Black Sails, I already said before, I was like, I feel like it should be like a high A. I don't think it should be an S, but that was just kind of my, my initial thoughts of where I felt like it should go. Um, and then uh, I think Cowboy Bebop was the other one that I was kind of like, I feel like that should be a high A rather than an S. Yeah, you, I think you those, weren't as high on Cowboy Bebop. I think those are my three in S that I'm like, those ones maybe I would bop down just a little bit. Cowboy Bebop has to be an S for me. It, like, I think Gurren Lagan has some problems, and it definitely has one bad episode. Yeah. Sure. No, I agree there. No, I mean, as far as what it does. But what it's able to do with the craziness. I mean, it, does the show itself, like, talking about, like, hype and enjoyment and stuff like that. The whole point of that show, I feel like, is hype. That's it all is. it is. It's and you hype. think that they can't keep that going and take it to another level, and they always do. No. It, it, it's hype. They always do. Hype, hope, and willpower is what pushes that thing where it goes, you it know? It is. Spiral Dude, power. Whenever so. it started doing, like, whenever a show starts playing, it's opening. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I'm... I yep. have no remorse over that. Uh, I mean, I can see what you guys are saying about Expanse, especially because we haven't finished it, but I'm, I don't know. I, I, I got really affected a couple times by that show. And I, you know, it's, it surprised me how hype it makes it for myself. But again, using I mean, Watchmen as a barrier, I have no reason. Like, you guys, you have some reasons to take it out, so I wouldn't be opposed, but I like it. Well, I, I, it. I like it, S. I don't think the Expanse should move on a tie. So. Yeah. Calvin can't say anything, so we have to assume he keeps it in S. Yeah. And if you want to keep it in S, then I think it should stay in S. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I get you there. Um, I still, at this point, going down the next tier, mm-hmm. maybe finishing Berserk, I would put it A. Oh. But I, I I forget where I put it initially. I think you put it in like C. I, I might have. It's definitely, out of some of the animes I've watched, it's not up there as the top of my animes, you know? Like, I've been, it's, it's okay. It's fun. Yeah. But it's not the top yet. I mean, Maybe the, the is, ending of it and how it ends will be higher. It's yeah. the story and the characters. Like sure. I, I am on board with you with the animation. Mm-hmm. It's very limited. It's a product of its time. But even so, it's not that far removed from Bebop. And Bebop's animation holds up with anything today. Um, but the characters are the the best ever. Like Guts and Griffith are <laughs> philosophical concepts yeah. made human. Mm-hmm. And that makes them so fascinating. Yeah. Like it takes fate and it takes um, the opposite of fate. I can't think of what it is right now. Um, not, not fate. <laughs> free will. <laughs> yeah. Fate and free will. And it examines them as, as concepts, but then it also puts them in humans that have flaws and have doubts. See, I think maybe after like after we finish it, probably whatever the last episode of Berserk we watch, we'll probably have a long conversation and maybe we can touch on it then too. And it might be something, too, that maybe I would feel like, you know what, I think it deserves an A after I finish it the next time we reevaluate this kind of stuff. But for me right now, as far as, like, some of the animes and stuff like that we've watched, like, I've enjoyed uh, trying to look at what all we have here. Like, Hunter Hunter, I've definitely enjoyed more than Berserk. Dragon Ball Z, a bridge I did. Mob Psycho. One Punch Man, which you have down in C. I enjoyed much more than Berserk. Well, he wanted to put it in D. I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> See, the thing is, I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous, <laughs> but... There are no right answers to no. Any that's of these, a thing, and we could you know? go back and forth on a lot of these for a while. I feel yeah. like, like even looking at this, I'm like, man, did Jessica Jones should it be that high? Maybe it should be dropped down a little bit. But mm-hmm. then it's with Luke Cage. Is it equal to Luke Cage? I don't think so. Maybe Luke Cage should drop down too. Is this good for this part here? Like I don't know. 
So like those are some of the things I'm kind of looking at of like some of these shows and where they go. And maybe one of the things that we should do in the future is like, like maybe I should have my own and here's where I put mine and here's where Rick puts his and like what of ours maybe. match? Because probably the ones that match are probably the true ones, you know, like for, for there's no true for Blind Wave, you know what I mean? Not like yet. as a whole, well, yeah, of like but what that's we what look this at. Is. We're, we're doing that, right? Uh, kind of. We've been doing that since the beginning. Kind What's your know. letter, and then we average it. Sure, yeah, which is kind of what we're doing, too. Yeah. But, and, like, I definitely have a bias for anime. So, like, a lot of the anime would rise for me compared to some of the others. Mm-hmm. And I definitely know some people, too, have been like, oh, no, this goes higher. And like we said, everyone's someone's favorite show. I know a lot of people are like, Chernobyl does not deserve a B. But I don't, I don't know what, for me... I enjoyed it. It was good. The characters were great. But I don't I don't I don't know how high I want to I would push that one myself, you know? Like an A maybe, but I don't know if I'd go as far as S. And I know some people are like, "Oh, Chernobyl's an S tier one." And I'm like, "For you it might be. For me, I I don't know if I I don't know if I hit that point, you know?" I'm personally okay with where Chernobyl is. I, I mean, I can see people saying like, "Well, these other shows shouldn't be a B if Chernobyl's out here." I'm like, "I get you, but Sure. Like, like, like you say, there's no wrong answers here. Like, is Chernobyl, This Is Us, and Doctor Who, do those all belong in the same tier? And for me, Doctor Who's probably higher. Chernobyl's probably good, you know? Like, But for someone else, it's all different. And while, where someone else would put Chernobyl, probably yes. Mm-hmm. Someone else would put Doctor Who, S, you know? Yeah. So it's really hard to kind of rank these around and move them around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the tough. one thing that I would do at some point, maybe, is like looking at these and judging just these shows try not to take into account any other shows or animes that we've ever seen that we haven't reacted to taking just those 100 and not comparing it to anything else where do these ones rank and i think that might alter it a little bit in that fashion when you're not trying to compare things to like other shows that you've seen and Mm -hmm. the other normal like movie kind of or tv show kind of uh thoughts and metas and all that kind of stuff so is there any other thing that anyone looks at that they're like, this one really should move, they think? I mean, there are things that I just have no opinion on. Like, I can't sure. speak to Peaky Blinders or Haiku. Sure. Or Fruits I, Basket. I, Crown, Witcher, I don't really yeah. have any thoughts on or anything for that. Like, um, looking around B tier, like, I don't feel as excited to watch Lucifer as I do those other shows that I've seen in that list. Yeah. But I also don't think Lucifer is average. Sure. Mm-hmm. Is the thing. Like, I would put Lucifer below Doom Patrol and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And See, there's almost... Lovecraft Country. You know how we only had, what, we had A to D or something like that before? You almost need more than to F. That way you can kind of, like, start to rank within the B tier of where these ones go more so, you know? Man, I gotta but I gotta be honest. Like, I've seen tiers done like this, but I've always been a 1 through 10 man myself. Sure, like you have more <laughs> categories, right? Like yeah, like I, I've always, and there's never been a confusion like, between one through ten. Five like, is average. Like even just looking at like E, right? Yeah. Like E, I'm like, man, Batwoman, Iron Fist, and Titans. All three of those, I feel differently about, and I don't know that they all belong in the same tier. Yeah. Mm. You know, um. But, but it's also it's a this is an amalgamation of this is Blind Waves tier, not just Aaron's or Eric's. Sure, yeah, America. this is what we're trying to do for all of us, and what we think. And uh, I think for the most part, it is raining. Sorry, I'm probably pretty okay with where things are sitting. I'm trying to look through and trying to see, like, is there something that I mean? Hmm. Like I mean, the, uh, Superman and Lois and B. Like, I feel like I like it more than B, but I just haven't seen enough. I guess no. But, well, I mean, so we have a too early to call category over here, right? With true. Jutsu, ReZero, Invincible. Yeah. Like, should we? we have seen just as many episodes of some of those as we have Superman and Lois. Yeah, we have Superman and Lois one year. Well, just because of what we feel but for But we've already. also seen those characters before. Sure. You know? Uh, also, and those actors playing those characters before. One of the reasons I wanted the too early to call was I didn't want to spoil reactions. True. And That's like, true. Jujutsu and Re- ReZero, like a few of those has been out. Yeah, people can watch if they... If, like, if we wanted to rank those, I might feel comfortable ranking them as they are now. But I, I wouldn't want to rank Invincible yet. Sure. Mm-hmm. I get you. Because also, it's like, what are, what are our thoughts in the reactions and what do we talk about there yeah. and stuff? And we'll get to that later rather than talking about it now. So, um, like, 
I don't think I would move anything more than one tier for me. Other than maybe Code Geass. Like, I liked Code Geass a lot. Although yeah. I admit it has a lot of problems. Sure. No, I mean, I think I enjoyed it too. I know Eric didn't as much. Um... I, I mean, we're... Elements. I enjoyed Elements, but I didn't enjoy Elements. Like, it's not like the whole show. Yeah. I mean, for me, C is... I mean, it's the middle of the road, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think I enjoyed it more than the middle of the road, I guess, because I did have problems. But if we, as Blind Wave, put it up to B, I wouldn't be like, this is fucking bullshit, and flip over the table, you know? Oh. Well, then why don't we do that? I mean, you guys, <laughs> if, you, if you care about it that much... All right, well, we put Watchmen in S. Let's put Code Geass in B. That's fine with me. I actually just... Uh, yeah? There's a, uh, I'm have to watch it again. There's a podcast that I'll be <laughs> on here in the future, and we'll probably have a thing, but it's about Code Geass gotcha. with uh, another podcast called Mecha Nations. Mm -hmm. So uh, that covered more Code Geass and Gurren Lagan in that as well. To I mean, extent. I like Fate Stay Night more than Code Geass, but I get you. Yeah, but didn't we have Fate like Zero higher, but we had Unlimited Blade Works lower? Fate that would happen? Fate Zero's in an A. Unlimited's at a C. Like, Fate Zero we enjoyed much more, I thought, right? Yeah. Unlimited Blade Works is still pretty good, too. Mm-hmm. Like, those two together, I'd probably put at a B. You think? Like, Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works I mean, it's together? it's anime. I'm not going to fight too hard. No, I mean, those those two together. Like, as one story, I'd probably put them at the B level. Oh, I got you. Uh, like, I thought you meant it in Code Geass. No, so I think that's why, like, it's anime. I'll just move it up. Move all the anime up one tier. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... The other thing, too, is, like, Stay Night might change for us once we watch the Heaven's Feel movies. Sure. Yeah. Well, what's maybe. the? Uh, is it Fate that has another series that I was talking to you about, Rick? Well, uh, Fate. Apoca. Apoca. Something. It has uh, Apocaryphica. Apocaryphary. It, it also has Fate. I think it's just called Stay Night. Gotcha. Which doesn't have a nom, like a subtitle, and I think there's at least one other one too. Uh, Apocryph. Apocrypha. Apocrypha. I don't even know how to say that word. So. Mm. And Grand Order. So there's a few. I'm looking at most of these, trying to see. There may be a few in C that I may... See, if it was my list, there may be a few where, like, I would... C would probably be my biggest chunk as a whole. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're kind of heavier in the A, B area than what we are in C. But... That's also us all. Di that's us C. discussing and talking and you know trying to figure out where we rank everything and making them work and whatnot. But there's probably some things in C that I would drop and allow A and B to kind of like filter down a little bit. Yeah. But that would be my version of it, not sure. necessarily our version of it. So I think for the most part, where we're at with a lot of these things. I mean, they got like I think they had the same amount B and C, right? But they shouldn't. That's the point. Right, it should. Should, should they not? It should slowly get less and less as you go up or down, and C should have like the biggest chunk. But we also essentially. just watch the best shows. That's one of our problems too. I think. Like, too, if I know? took every show I've ever watched and put on this <laughs> list, would a lot of these still stay where they are because of people voting and choosing polls, and they're picking the best and their favorites that they want us to cover? So we are watching the best and the favorites yeah. that we would probably have too. You know. Like, there's not, I don't think there's been, like, I'm trying to think of a poll where I I'm mean, like. we only have three fucking stinkers, you know? Sure. And, <laughs> but honestly, I feel like that should be the general idea for F. None of those are poll winners, right? F should be kind of on the lowest no. end of, like, the fewest, while S should be on the lowest end of the fewest as well, right? Like, you're probably looking at three to five Fs and three to five Ss. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to get that just because the poll thing may actually sway where, like, we're watching some of the best things because people are voting on some of the best things. Well, then, I mean, it might not move anything, but what would you say would be in your your top three S tier? Like if I was making like a three to five S tier ranking? Yeah. Um, probably um, one, two, three, four. I'd probably go Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Mandalorian. Those may be biased. They may not be. I think I would put Avatar up there. I think I would put Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood there. That's three. I'm surprised that's, there's that's, enemy. That's four. That's four. Oh, that's four. That's two, one too many. Take one off. <laughs> well, I was saying three to five. <laughs> <laughs> if I was doing three, I mean, I might take off Full Metal Alchemist maybe and go Shield, Mandalorian, and Avatar. But 
if I was picking like three to five, I'd probably pick those four. And my fifth one might be either either Breaking Bad or Attack on Titan. I'm not sure. I, I have to say, too, to some people, like, when you're picking your absolute S tier, bias is the only thing you have. Sure, right? <laughs> like, it's, it's a trying mix- to be objective to art is a, f- is a fallacy. <laughs> it's really hard. I, I enjoy the Marvel Universe and Star Wars Universe. Yeah. Probably some of my favorite stuff. Though, I feel like Mandalorian's story, characters, mm-hmm. production, music, all of that, I feel like is top tier on almost every rung of the ladder, you know, where, like, it's doing well on all of those. Yeah. And while, yes, I am biased, I also put, you know, Star Wars Resistance way down in yeah. D because People. I don't feel like it meets some of the quality of some of the other stuff. Yeah, like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I think the first season is a little lacking. And there's one season later on, too, but I think the characters, the story, the production value they have, yeah. even though they don't have that great of production value as a whole, they do some amazing stuff having low budget, you know? And I think that that's really amazing and speaks for how creative they are in the way they can work around their limitations. So I think mine, my three, do I go three or five? Which, how pick, many did you end up I with? I picked three to five, somewhere in that range. If you were going to pick three to five of those, what would my you do? My three to five are Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Avatar, Black Sails, The Mandalorian, And fuck, uh, I know it's hard, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah, I'm trying to go think about my like, what shows of here have I rewatched? I've rewatched Agents of Shield, Avatar, Breaking Bad, The Mandalorian, Black Sails, mm-hmm. and and Full Metal Alchemist. I, I feel like that's one of the things that I look at when I'm looking at the S tiers. Like, what are shows that I would rewatch or that I have rewatched? Like, we're pretty much playing Desert Island. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, what if you were on Desert Island, which three shows would you pick to take yeah. with you, you know? Like, Rick, where are you at? Are you probably like, oh, it's tough. I imagine like, you're Steins, Cowboy, and Gurren Lagann, mm-hmm. you know? Like, well, I mean, Berserk is number one. Oh, uh, well, damn it, Rick. I wasn't yeah. looking down there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's tough for me because... Like, I would probably also put Fruits Basket in S tier if it was just me. Sure. I felt bad about putting two in S tier that were just me. Mm. So you had to pick one? Yeah, and if I, if I had to pick one, I would pick High Q. Yeah. Because um, it's probably Berserk, Bebop, Gurren, Steins, <coughs> and High Q. Cowboy, what, Bebop, Steins, High Q, and what? Berserk. Berserk. And Gurren. And Gurren. So, the so anime. all animes. Yeah. No, no black sales or nothing, huh? Black sales is above Breaking Bad for me. So if I had to pick one, it would be Black Sales. But Black Sales is not better than any of those shows, for me. Gotcha. So I was wondering if you would have, if it would all be anime, if you'd have any live action in there. It was the opposite for you, where you were like, he's not gonna have any anime in there. Well, if you had Seinfeld I did. in here, <laughs> maybe it might take yeah, over one of those. That's different, but yes. But. Uh, all right. You can just watch it for a minute. Yeah, you're right. We, none of us disagree on the F tier, right? <laughs> well, I've seen that. any of those. So all right. <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. Like none of the shows that we had. Really no, no changed. way. There's I'm, no way. Those I'm are fine changing. with F tier. All right. I love that we couldn't, in good conscience, put Titans in it. <laughs> <laughs> like there's something like that. It's like Titans beat me. It did <laughs> you know? It's like it won at the end of the day. <laughs> in spite of itself. <laughs> yeah. It's any. Uh. All right. Um, I never saw Ratchet. Yeah, no. That's one of the things too. Is like some of these shows, like we haven't all seen. It's you know, tough. and it makes it, it tough. It's to also be able the to thing too. It. Like you know, just because I place this in an arbitrary list doesn't mean I don't enjoy things. Like you know, I've seen a couple of people in the comments being like, "Oh wow, can't believe uh, you don't really like this show as much." It's like no, I like everything. That I've watched almost, you know, sure. except for those three things at the bottom. Probably the ones in F tier are the ones that <laughs> I know? don't really like. It's, you know? it's that old adage of like, just because you're ranking something doesn't mean I'm tearing this thing down. I'm raising this thing up. You know, I'm not being like, well, this one sucked more. You know, no, yeah, it's like this one I enjoyed more. Doesn't no. mean I don't enjoy the others. Like Hunter Hunter, we have an A, but I don't hate Hunter Hunter. Yeah, or like it less than. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I enjoy watching Hunter Hunter every, mm-hmm. like every week. You know, it's a really good, really fun show. It's a highlight. But yeah. 
that's just kind of Especially where right now where it fell and where we're looking to see like maybe maybe and, you know, next well, year we, we only come back said to that because we, we hadn't finished right is what we said well we haven't finished but also we talked about like there's some characters and stuff too that two you of don't the main characters to... have not been around forever if well, they are the main characters and, well you say and you I say that quote unquote strength. main characters right like there's some of the things we're like well where where is this and yeah. I really want I want to know this but they're not there and I think that's the strength of the show like I haven't missed them though I love them. I definitely miss him. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's why we have it at A, too. Is like, I think there was some, like, discussions as to, like, if you were going to say why, and I think you're right. I think most of these shows in A tier, I could say, like, here's my reason why yeah. they don't belong in S. And there's some, some some in S tier where I could probably, like, go through, like, here's why I think it doesn't belong in S tier. But and other than, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I think this shows that the longer show is, I was just the less likely that. it's going to like, be Hunter Hunter were up there. Well over a hundred episodes yeah. and it's that high. I feel like that's high praise. Absolutely. No, it is. You know? It is. The show also so. is over a hundred episodes, but you know, it's our less fuck you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's also people that are upset with like Naruto being C tier, because I know people love Naruto. Oh, I feel super fair about that. I think it's a fair, especially considering yeah. where we are in the show right now. Uh, given you know, yeah. everyone says, "Oh, pacing's not great with that show." You guys got to watch more each yeah. week. Well, then that is a flaw of the That's show. That's a flaw of the show. That is a flaw yeah. by definition. You sure, know, yeah. so you can't I, handicap your show and it makes it better. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know? think you'd be like, "Well, it deserves more because you yeah. got to binge it." That's why it's good. It's like, well, exactly. I don't have to binge all these shows. You know, why do I got to binge that one? Yeah. So I, I think it would, be, it would be like getting a handicap in the golf and then saying like like a huge one and saying you beat Tiger Woods and you're better than him. <laughs> you know, it's like no. Yeah, <laughs> so I definitely think it being C, especially considering where we are right now, it, it yeah. might it might go up. We have a lot more episodes to watch and, and see where they go. And if there's ever a so. Naruto Kai, you mm-hmm. know, like maybe that would help too. Maybe it would. What That's is true. the shortest S tier show? Is it <laughs> the shortest? Um, Watch- Watchmen. Bebop? Watchmen. 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 Yeah. Eight episodes, Watchmen. right? Yeah. Yeah. That is the shortest one that's up there right now. Mm-hmm. How many episodes was Cowboy Bebop? Twenty-four. Uh, Twenty-four. 20, I, I think it's okay. right around the same as Garen Lagan. Like that was twenty four, twenty six episodes. So. so Watchmen, and then what? Mandalorian. I mean, that's only two seasons right now. Yeah. What eight or ten okay. a season? So. I guess that's yeah. a that's a thing. I was like, Cowboy Bebop. Oh man, it was so brief. That's why I liked it so much. I guess because I was like, oh yeah, that's a small amount of episodes, doesn't it? But now you're like twenty four. My twenty four. Well, and that's one of the things. Hey. Movie. Yeah. When you that's have shorter great. things, you can. Here's the story I want to tell. I'm gonna tell it, get yep. to the point, and it's done, and that's it. Well, mm-hmm. and it's more likely that the entire crew sticks on the whole time. Yeah, sure. You don't have a change in cast. You don't have director, whether, writers. Yeah. yeah, and when you change up directors for new seasons and stuff, sometimes that affects the show and yeah. can bring it down. You know, so. So what in here is a travesty that it's at? Uh, I can't think of anything else. I don't necessarily feel too strongly about anything from where it's at currently. You know, no, I feel pretty good. There's there's a few things where I'm like, honestly, probably probably the one is that Rick and I will never, as of right now, won't agree on is like Berserk should be higher or lower. So I think it being at A is is good because of that exact reasoning, right? Yeah. Yeah, Well, and you know, if if I was being a hundred percent objective, like maybe you can't, you can't. It's not how it works. Maybe ninety seven Berserk doesn't go in S. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Oh my goodness. But it's the best show I've ever seen. Do you think it? and, if, it's t- and it's ten percent as good as the manga? Do you think if Death Note didn't have its last half, it would go in S? Yeah. Yes. I think yeah. it would. Hell yes. Okay. I think the last half pulls it down enough where yeah. I probably would say it would go in S gotcha. had it not been for that. Okay. I, I I agree the same with like Dexter. I think had it not been for some of the later seasons of Dexter, that would definitely be higher than a C as well. So I think some of the earlier stuff in that is really good. I don't know what's stopping Mob Psycho from being an S. Now that I'm looking at this. I felt I said that earlier. God damn. <laughs> no, I mean <laughs> it does have some. It's because of Aaron, isn't it? He ruins it, everything. N- well, what? yes, but it Mob Psycho. You could cut stuff out of it, and it might be better. Like, it's it's not like yeah, it's right. not a tight efficient right. show. It's just a really good show. You're right. Which is a you know. Sure. Like, I can't cut anything out of Fruits Basket. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not going to put that I mean, could you cut stuff was, out of all the S tiers? I think you could. You could definitely cut something out of Gurren. Yeah. But. Episode four. 
Um, Mob Psycho had... I mean, look, out of all of the shows on A tier, you have to pick one to go to S tier. I'm between Mob Psycho and My Hero Academia. Oh, I'm between Fruits Basket. I mean, Berserk in my mind is already in S. Sure. I love Cobra Kai. Like, I love Lost. <laughs> I love Lost, but... I recognize, just like the prequels, the prequels have a lot of problems. You can't put them S tier, you know? Sure, sure. But I can fight for them to go high because sure. I love them. So I'm the same way with Loss. But I, I feel like Mob Psycho and My Hero, if I'm making my personal list or whatever, I'm going S. But I'm perfectly fine with these being on the Blind Wave one. I think if I was going to take any, like if looking at A, anything I would try to push towards S, it would mm-hmm. probably either be Rebels or Cobra Kai. Cobra really? Kai. Well, out of everything else that's on that list, I think everything is fine in A where it is. Like even talking about Punisher, I'm like, yeah, you're right. I, I looked I, at Daredevil for a second. I'm like, you know yeah. what? Daredevil has its problems too. But I really enjoy the stories and stuff I get from Rebels. They need it, to put it, us in Cobra. And Cobra Kai is the hype, I think, for me. Yeah, Aaron, <laughs> I think that if we were all able to talk about Rebels as much as we wanted to, I could be there with you. But just because it would be unfair to put it there, sure. With with these guys having seen some of it, sure. As uh, opposed to like IQ, none of us have seen any of it. So yeah, we can't have any. Opinion, it's it's why I'm excited though Rick. to get like say next year we come around, you like, guys. You know what? It's been seven years. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna reevaluate this and add on to whatever we have sure. from before. I'll be interested to see if things maneuver and adjust, mm-hmm. and maybe if we make it up to one through ten, you know, rather than being yeah. uh, S through F. We could do one through ten. So next time. It'd be interesting to see uh, how things go. No, I mean, that's, Cody, you're right. That's one of the things that, me personally, like, it's not, I, I don't know if I'd put it in S, but I probably would put Doctor Who in A. I mean, but I understand hurts, it having some, some drops. The and thing stuff. that hurts Who is its length, right? It's like, exactly like Supernatural. It's just it, so long, and there's, it, it, but, but it unlike is. Supernatural, some of it's so different. It is. Um, and there's definitely some seasons that I think are less than other seasons. Yeah. But for me, a lot of the seasons that I don't have problems with yeah. promote it a little, like they push it a little higher than, yeah, I, I think you. B. It, I don't think it deserves S tier. Yeah, because of some problems I have with various episodes and seasons. Mm-hmm. But I think A to B is, I think, fair for it. I would probably push a little higher. So there's no middle tier in a in a one through ten. I like the pinball machine. What? Oh, for Doctor Who? Yeah, gotcha. I do. Ah, <sighs> all right. Do we have any other things we need to change, or is that is that where we're going to sit for? I feel pretty for good. the next year on our tier listing for TV shows. I feel like we gave a lot of good information as why we put things where they are that no one will listen to, and they'll see yeah. this and they'll be very angry. I mean, the only <laughs> thing that I'm not worried about, but the only thing that I feel weird about is like when I got to play something by myself. But I, I think I kind of naturally went like, well, I'll put The Crown here and Dragon Ball Super here. I mean, Super is good, but like, if someone was like, I think it should be a C, I might be convinced. But I'll be like, no, you know what? I enjoyed it, so I'm putting it here. <laughs> is it is it between Z and Dragon Ball for you? What? Hmm? Is, is, is Super between Z and just vanilla Dragon Ball? Hmm... I don't know. They're so long. That's true. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. The ones that I did, I think I was probably, like, anything that I was on my own for, I probably, I mean, if we were all talking about it, I might rank them a little higher, too. But yeah. on my own, I'm like, eh. Sure. I'm going to try to be as, I don't know, as, I guess, critical on them as I can. And, like, yeah. I might not push. Like, like, I'm trying to think, which ones did I rank on my own? I mean, and also, uh, any of the ones I ranked on my own, I would not put an S either. So Sure. Yeah. You know, like, whereas Rick was like, I got two that I want to put an S, <laughs> you well, know? Yeah, like, for me, I tried to imagine you guys watching it and where yeah. I think you would put it. Sure. Yeah, sure. And so I think you guys would be there with me with IQ. Mm-hmm. But with Fruits Basket, I'm not sure you would be, yeah. even yeah. though I think it's an S. So that's why I put it an A. No. Yeah. Well, like, I had the haunting shows. I think the one haunting is fair putting it C. I think A is pretty fair for that. But when talking about like when talking about like Watchmen and stuff, like what keeps it out of S, I'm not 100% sure for Hill House what keeps it out of S cuz I think story, cinematography, music, the themes and stuff are all really good for it. But in my mind I'm like, you know what? I'm just not going to I don't think I should push it to an S necessarily. But I think from a show perspective of what all they accomplish, 
is pretty good and it does a lot of good stuff you know yeah. like i have no problems with it by the end of it and it was like a year and a half later i was reading some stuff about the ending and stuff like that too that just kind of changes some perspectives of the rest of the show and i'm like huh that's interesting and that was like a year and a half later i'm like that just some points with what they're saying here and i it just kind of pushes it a little further too for it you know so it'd be real good to see where this list is in a year yeah i feel like too um i think too like people looking at this like being like okay you know what they put this at my favorite show is hunter hunter they put it at an a i've never seen i don't know black sales or something like that yeah. why would they put that one higher maybe i should check that out you know sure like just because yours is ranked a little lower on our listing all these are some pretty good shows and people have voted for some really great stuff so if there's some stuff that you guys haven't like seen and you're like why is this ranked higher than this maybe give it a chance if you haven't seen it and check it out and well, see yeah. like like i think anything c or above could easily be a lot of people's favorite show mm -hmm. i i agree yeah definitely i mean i definitely i mean i don't know how yeah, yeah, I agree. I was looking at like what was D and E and F. I'm like, I'm sure some stuff down there is S's too. But I'm like, <laughs> some people I don't know how really like American Gods. I'm I not sure how that. some of these are down here. Like, I don't think anyone's like, you know what? Inhuman is my favorite show I've ever watched. You know, <laughs> but but no, yeah, I think from S to C, there are some great shows there. And yeah, definitely. Easily, you could say like, you know what? I think this show for me is an S. Prison Break, you know, it's mm -hmm. on C. But I guarantee some people are like, that's an S ranked show for me. Yeah. And it is. It's fun. It's good. There's some great stuff in there. But when you're trying to look at it from like a, I don't want to be biased and what is good and what's not, like it's it's hard and that's what yep. you got to do, you know? Yeah. Well, you know what I would say is that people that are watching this either here live on Twitch or on YouTube, if you haven't seen any of the shows that are in S tier, uh, go have a look. And by the nature of what we're doing, all of these shows have reactions to them. So if you're ever like, oh, man, I like Blind Wave, but they don't watch any shows that I if, – if you haven't seen any of those and you haven't seen our reactions, go do it. You got some, you got some entertainment in your future because, man, some of those are good. Also watch really the reactions for the F tiers as well. <laughs> uh, I would skip Sword Art Online. Yeah. <laughs> and Heroes well. are Born, but Honestly, I would watch Inhumans. <laughs> <laughs> Inhumans was a good one. Watch that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I agree. And hopefully, if you guys like this too, um, especially if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you let mm -hmm. us know because maybe we, we've talked about like maybe this is something we should look at, like with movies that we've watched mm -hmm. and reviewed and stuff or reacted to, yeah, um, games and stuff like that. Maybe this is some things that we should touch on every Board once in a while games. too. With like, yeah, like what has been some of our favorite things that, especially that we've done on the channel that we've had videos of, and maybe we can kind of talk and set them up as like, well, here's some of my favorite stuff. Here's some of yeah. my not so favorite stuff, and. Uh, yeah, it might be something else that we might look into in the future. But mm -hmm. this has been a three-part journey, and we even we've, we've done three like, and a half. This has been like two podcasts in yeah. this one right here of just yeah. getting this all fin finalized, finished out, and yep, uh, getting everything placed for now. And we still have more shows that we're covering and doing. We have a too early to call section of shows we weren't even like. We better hold off on these. We don't know. <laughs> so. If you're like, hey, I wish I really could have seen how you guys felt about Invincible. Well, you got to wait till Monday. Hmm. Then you can drops. find out half of it <laughs> yeah. on Monday. Like, yeah, <laughs> almost the whole show. <laughs> we are going to be back tomorrow playing Pokemon Snap. Yes. Yep. It's be. just Pokemon Snap, right? It's Pokemon. Not, I think all it's called is Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. Snap. Comes right. out tomorrow on the Switch, brand new. I'm so excited! I can't wait. And then I'll be continuing that on my Monday streams with mm -hmm. some Pokemon Monday. Nice. It's gonna be great. That'll be 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday. Yeah. If uh, if you are watching this, by the way, on YouTube later, and you want some more opinions about the stuff we talked about, there is a uh, Twitch. Ar uh, you could go on Twitch and check out the live chat that was happening as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. Also, um, if you guys have your own tier listings, I don't imagine everyone has seen all these shows. Yeah. Not like us, you know. So, I mean, we haven't even seen all these shows. Mm -hmm. Each of us had different ones. But if you have your own tier listing, maybe tweet at us or something like that on Twitter and let us see like where you rank. Out of the shows that we've covered, yeah. like where you guys rank them, because I'm I'd be interested to see like what are some people's favorite shows, because everyone has a different favorite show. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anyone is wrong in the way they feel or think about shows, but it's it's very hard to try to look at it, especially without bias. Like I even said, like Mandalorian, Agents of Shield, I may be biased, but I think they do a good job with some of the stuff they do. But I'm I'm sure there's bias there, you know. So I'll be looking forward to seeing like what some other people tier list some of their shows out to being. We should release a, 
like felt or magnet thing that people yeah. could have this in their home and like <laughs> they can rank their own yeah. stuff. it's on fun. the refrigerator they just move things around so and stuff when we do this again whether it's like next year or whatever do we just start with this as the base don't have no. to, we don't have to redo this we don't look at this at all the we next time we do we it. do it another three episodes we do just all of it up. all over again and see where they sit then yep yeah and yeah. then we, compare and we, we waste all that this, time because it'll be the same and never look at it again well rick that sounds like fun that sounds stinkable <laughs> Guys, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.